But yes, uh, for what you all clicked on this uh, video or live stream for, we're going to be reacting to every single Honkai Star Rail trailer in on the Honkai Star Rail YouTube channel from all the way from beta, I think, to recent times. Like, yeah, all of these, all the way to, like, yeah, the, the most recent one, which is the 2.0 music video. Okay, so, disclaimer, the only trailers I've seen is, yeah, the 2.0 music video, which I did see during the 2.0 special program. And, uh, what else? Yeah, Kafka's demo, Kafka's trailer. That's it. I have not seen anything else. Just Kafka's trailer and, uh... Yeah, uh, the 2.0 trailer as well. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, I've, yeah, I've seen nothing else in Saria. None of the trailers. I know some of these uh, uh, YouTube videos have like a weird red line on them saying that I've watched them. But it's just, it's just kind of weird because I hovered over... Like, yeah, I hovered over this video right here. Like the... Uh, well, I'm not going to hover over it now because I don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> but yeah, it said I watched this animated short with uh, Dan Hung on it. But I... I have not actually. I just hovered over it and for some reason YouTube just counts it as me watching it. But yeah, that's it. All the Sario trailers I've seen is 2.0 and Kafka's trailer, which we will be watching it. And yeah, from the beginning, I'm going to be watching every single character demo uh, pretty much in existence from uh, the Honkai Sario YouTube channel. And yeah, we're just going to... We're just gonna go on a journey here to see, yeah, Staria from its very, very beginning all the way to present times. Um, okay, I did... Okay, so... I know I said I would watch every single trailer, but... Honestly, I think I'll skip some of these, because... If I actually do go ahead and watch every single trailer, we might be here for a good while. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll watch a few... Like, I'll watch these major trailers that, uh... Are definitely, I think, a must-see. But then maybe I'll ignore these EPs. Because, uh... I think they're just music. Like, yeah, these ones just play music and nothing else, so we'll, we'll skip those. And also, some of these, uh, like, super, super long ones, like, holy sh holy crap, 48 minutes. I, and it, judging by this, it seems to be like an orchestra, which is c cool and all, but I think I might skip this one for for a reaction for today. And, yeah, maybe do it some other time. Maybe you left the cursor over and it completed on its own. Yeah, maybe that happened, and then <laughs> it just counted as me watching the video. Also, letting you know, unlike Genshin, they do alternate uh, for Kalos and Cell in rotation for trailers and animations. I've seen that, yeah. I think I've seen somebody brought that up on uh, social media, where... Yeah, there's like an equal amount of Cell and Kalos representation. Unlike of Genshin, where it's like mostly Aether. <laughs> that was the launch special program. Oh, it, oh, the, sp oh, also the, like the 1.0 special program. Okay. But yeah, we're going to be skipping the special programs because, um, they're way too long. And honestly, I think they deserve to be like in a video of their own. But yeah, I'll be going through every single one of these trailers, uh, at least the ones I think are necessary to watch. Like, yeah, th these ones, I don't think it's necessary to watch because it's just music. But yeah, these ones, like uh, the Merit Celestia trailer, the animated shorts, the, um, yeah, the character demos, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'll be watching. I think I'll skip the Keeping Up with Star Rail ones, because um, those ones are pretty much the Danes Love trailers, right? Yeah. They're pretty much just summing up their kit and uh, summing up what they can do. So I think I may skip these ones, the Keeping Up with Star Rail ones. But yeah, that, other than that, I think I'll watch everything else. And how many videos are there? Um, okay, so it's like four. Uh, in a center row of four, so... Eight, twelve... Well, actually, yeah, since we're going to be skipping some of these, maybe it's not as long as I thought it would, but... Yeah, this is, what, like, uh, six months worth of videos that we're going to have to watch? Six months, right? Oh, wait, oh, oh, this one's two years. Oh, wait, no, this is the review trailer when it was, like, first debuted. We'll, we'll, we'll begin with that one, and then we'll work our way to, like, yeah, March 7th trailer, the closed beta trailer, because why not? Uh, the opening cut... Actually, no, the opening cutscene isn't that... Yeah, that's just the opening of Star Rail, so maybe maybe I'll skip this one as well. Or we'll watch it again just for old time's sake, who knows. But yeah, we're just gonna go all in order here, from like the earliest all the way to like, yeah, the 2.0 one. Okay, so... Uh, okay, now that I'm here, I'm kind of nervous actually, because that's a lot of videos to go through, but yeah. Let us go ahead and begin off with, uh, yeah, the Rio trailer 
for Honkai Star Rail. So this is like the very first time we've known of Star Rail. So this was like released two years ago. So that was what? During Sumeru or Inuzumo? Two years ago, that's 2022. So this was revealed around... I want to say the Sumeru arc, I think, or or the Inuzuma arc. I don't remember, but <laughs> yeah, enough stalling. Let's just go ahead and react to every single character demo or character demo trailer. Okay, uh, you want? I'll, I'll just have the Honkai Star Real YouTube channel just lingering here, just so we can go back on it, just so I don't have to go back every time. Anyway, we'll just close out uh, Gaming's character demo. Okay, let me just double check to see if everything's working fine. Okay, seems to be going well, but yeah. Here we go, the reveal trailer of Honkai Star Rail. So this was like, yeah, the very first reveal of it. Uh, let me just read chat here before we begin. Do the special program as a video, but you can skip over some events, but watch some interactions with the characters. Uh... Okay, so you're pretty much saying, yeah, skip the special programs. Yeah, I will. I think I may do that, like, in a separate video or separate live stream or something. But, yeah, if I include those, we may, we may be here for more than uh, six hours, which is, like, my allotted stream time. But, all right, here we go. First of all, reveal trailer. Next stop, the stars. So, this is the very first look we got at Star Rail. Uh, yeah, ever. All right, let's see this. Galaxies. Oh, the wait, oh! Is that what the <laughs> Axel Specs look like? <laughs> whoa, 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 Okay, pause. Go back. Okay, I'm gonna be pausing a lot because I do want to, like, analyze the trailer in my own way because I'm an analyst at heart. Okay, that's what the Axel Express look like. Huh. It's all gray and everything. Okay, isn't the current Axel Express, like, gold? And like reddish and brownish, man, it looks super different. In my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> also, yeah, March's voice sounds drastically different than it is right now. Is this what Yurilo Six has become? Oh yeah, and a first look at Yurilo Six. Yeah, I'm the underground as well. Blazing expedition since joining the crew. Okay, so yeah, this is all stuff I've Let's seen. Because I, yeah, I have uh, caught up with the current Star Rail. Okay, see, okay, seems that the enemy's designs are mostly the same. Well, is there as well. Still, still waiting to get him in on my, uh, on my poles. Okay, Hook is here as well. Asta's here as well, even though she, this is not her home planet. Hey, Sapo here as well, is here as well. One of them is carrying a seed of ruin. Oh, they also had Cocolia in the trailer as well. Yeah, how many trailers or how many characters did they make before the trailer was even out? Dude, this music though! Holy shit! Oh yeah, Clarence Farag. Sila as well? Dude, how many characters did they get ready for just the beta? Jeez, because that's a that's a, that's almost a whole roster right there. I think. Humans never conceal their desires. Oh yeah, and the reveal of Himiko. So why would I? I know a lot of Honkai third players were like creaming their pants when they saw Himiko in the the Star Rail trailer. Just like, oh holy shit, she's alive! Uh, <laughs> spoilers for Honkai third, but that might be the biggest spoiler in Honkai third. But yeah, Himiko's like famous in Honkai Impact third for dying. Uh, I think super early on <laughs> and then yeah I can just imagine like a uh, yeah the Honkai third player is just like holy shit she's alive in this game I gotta play it or something but yeah that's like almost the entire cast for just the first trailer like holy shit Himiko stay on the train yeah I know a lot of people are like concerned that Himiko might they might freaking kill Himiko again in Star Rail because yeah <laughs> But honestly, if they do, like, holy shit, then, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's gonna be riots in the streets if Himiko dies. <laughs> yeah, never let you go. That's, like, the song that plays, uh, yeah, that's one of the songs in Hawkeye and Back Third that plays, um, during a pivotal moment, I, I was, uh, to say the least. 
Chapter 9 PTSD. Not sure if I'll play Honkai 3rd, honestly, but I'm very, very curious. But <laughs> since I have Genshin and Star Rail on my plate, I'm not sure if I'll check it out. But uh, I do want to. I do really, really want to check out Honkai 3rd. All right, but yeah, that's the f very first reveal trailer of Honkai 3rd. Holy shit. It's, it's really interesting to see that a lot of the stuff in beta like made it to the final product like with all their like ultimates all the character designs i say the only thing that's changed is the design of the star rail train and march 7th's voice in my body are you trying to catch the stars like yeah did you hear her there she sounds so so much more i guess mature than how she actually is like yeah other than march 7th we got who's like super super cheerful I fought Branya variants in Honkai 3rd. Uh, I just tuned in for the story. I'm not interested in the game. Uh, oh, I guess I guess you mean, yeah, you don't actually play uh, uh, Honkai Star Rail. Or Honkai 3rd. I don't think everyone is going to make it out of Pinakani alive and kill. And the kill is going to be done by the Annihilation Gang. The Annihilation Gang? Who's that? Okay, just, if it's something that the trailers reveal, then just, yeah, don't answer, don't actually answer that question. It's a rhetorical question. But yeah, if the trailers do answer that question for me, then yeah, I'll go back and do it. But yeah, that is the, uh, yeah, end for the first reveal trailer for Honkai Star Rail. Honestly, it's, yeah, this was released two years ago, and, uh, what, the game released, like, yeah, when was the game released? Seven months ago at this point, was it? Yeah, it's super interesting to see that, like, yeah, a lot of the, uh, beta stuff actually did make it to the, to the final product. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> like, as, as someone who's very interested in game design, that's just very, very, like, yeah, cool to see. That they really didn't, really didn't need to change much. It's kind of like the Paimon voice who got thinner and thinner over time. True, but I don't think it's like it March's voice changed over time. I think they just kind of changed the voice direction uh, when it was, like, officially released. Eight months ago, okay. So wow, okay. So between, so between two years ago and eight months ago, really nothing much has changed, huh? That's super cool. Okay, but uh, now that we're done with the reveal trailer, let us go ahead and uh, go on to the next trailer, which is our, I think our very first character demo, March seventh trailer. Let's take a photo, Honkai Star Rail. So yeah, I think March was like the very first revealed character, uh, like original character in Star Rail, I think. Because uh, I know Star Rail have, like, has a lot of like copies of characters between Honkai 3rd and Honkai Star Rail, like Himiko, Branya, Sila, and whatnot. But I believe March 7 is completely original to Star Rail. But hey, hey, welcome guys. Oh, oh my god, 20 viewers now. Holy shit. <laughs> Never gotten this high before, but hey, welcome to stream, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> right now, we're in the process of going through every single Star Rail trailer and yeah, reacting to them all uh, from beta all the way to current times to the 2.0 uh, trailer. But yeah, welcome, welcome, people. Alrighty, so next up we have uh, March 7th trailer. Let's take a photo in Honkai Star Rail. So I believe this is the very first character demo um, in Star Rail. At least I think so. <laughs> The, yeah, this is essentially like the Kaya trailer for for Genshin Impact. I don't, I'm not expecting too much from it, but hey, at least we get to see more of March Seven, right? Her look and uh, changed drastically. Oh, you mean March Seventh's, or do you, do you mean somebody else's? Because yeah, I would love to see what March Seven looked like in like initially in like in like the alpha or beta or whatever. I remember everyone in Hawkeye Third is losing their minds about March because we lost. Uh, how do you say that, Elysia? Elysia at this point in time. I'm guessing that's the Hawkeye Impact Third character that that I don't know about. These trailers are gonna be a real fun ride. Yeah, I know. I cannot wait to like watch all of them. Okay, but I'm gonna pause reading chat for now because if I do continue to read chat, we might just be here all day. But yeah, let's uh watch uh. The next trailer, March 7th trailer, let's take a photo. Uh, yeah, for Mankai Star Rail. 
But alrighty, uh, 1 minute and 49 seconds. Watching in 3, 2, 1, let's go. And yeah, pretty much no March as is, because uh, I did play it for the Sienja arc. Yep, there she is. <laughs> I'm gonna take pictures of everything that's new to me. That way I won't forget about them. Okay, so her voice does it has changed a bit. <laughs> a bit more similar to the march we're familiar with. <laughs> yep, classic uh, photo girl. God, how much film space can fit in a tiny ass camera? Oh. Oh, this is like. Oh, yeah, her past when she was. Oh, yeah, she gets to see her frozen in ice. Interesting. Uh. <laughs> oh, what the? Where did these guys come from? Oh, they're just fighting in the middle of the street. Okay, that's that's oddly uh, that's 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 super weird. <laughs> Cause yeah, you never battle in this place in the uh, Yurilo. Oh wait. Oh, is that her alt animation initially? Okay, so they changed it uh, in in the live version. I see. Let me just go ahead and take a photo of these frozen enemies <laughs> against their peril. Hey, focus! Smile! Take a let's take a selfie. Our first photo, all right? Ah, that's adorable. That's a, that's an adorable trailer. But yeah, since I played like up to like the um. Well, almost the most recent trailers mission. I pretty much uh, know March Seventh's character, but still, that was a pretty, that was a pretty, pretty cute trailer. Also, uh, I did notice something earlier. Uh, wait, hang on. What do you think? Um, wait, this is Popon's design different, or does it just look weird from this angle? Yeah, this, yeah. Is Popon's design different here, or? Hold on, let me let me look at the uh, pom pom in the part of the car. Let me just bring up uh, Star Rail here and check it out. Yeah, yeah, she was rescued from the Six Face Ice, and then uh, she forgot about her name, and then they decided to name her on the day they found her, which was March seventh. That's uh, pretty much yeah, the, all the lore I know of uh, March seventh. At, at least I think so. But yeah, is is pom pom's design different? I could have sworn I yeah I'm looking at him right now in the game. He doesn't have that huge ass collar or whatever that is on him. Like yeah, like yeah, this is Pom Pom in this trailer and uh, hold up, yeah here we go. Here's Pom Pom. Hang on, let me just bring up photo fo mode here. Oops, wrong button. Oh wait, yeah, audio's not on because I forgot to turn it on. But don't don't worry about that for now. And yeah, this is Pom Pom in game. Yeah, he doesn't have that huge ass collar like he does in the in the trailer here. S yeah, super weird. Yeah, I guess he just decided to change Pom Pom's design like uh, in the live version. He has a bellboy jacket <laughs> with a turtleneck. I guess uh, yeah, that is like kind of a turtleneck in a way. Yeah. So yeah, Pom Pom just had like a, a yeah very different design as compared to his live self. And yeah, he also, uh, March 7 also has a red. Hey, hang on, I'm stuttering on my, stuttering on my words here. Yeah, March has had a, also a very different alt animation I see here. Well, it's not, well, it's not that different. It's just like, it's angled different. Because yeah, this stuff still happens. But, but I guess the alt animation itself is like, yeah, changed slightly in this uh, trailer. But yeah, this was this was an adorable character teaser, or character trailer for March seventh. I, I like it. I I really like it. And yeah, it definitely fits fits the character of March seventh uh, super super well. <laughs> yeah, I like that trailer. I I really do. But alrighty, that's it for March seventh trailer, and that's our like a uh, second trailer out of the way. We got like <laughs> like a hundred left for all we know. Okay, um, okay, guys, uh, do let me know, um, should I watch these next two trailers? Like, the second close beta trailer and the, 
uh, opening cutscene because, um, yeah, are these trailers worth watching? Because because this this is the opening cutscene of Star Rail, right? Yeah, it, it's basically what plays at the beginning of the game. I remember it pretty well. So I'm not sure if there's a need to watch this, but yeah, what's the second close beta trailer? Um, do you guys think I think I should watch that? March seven is cute. I'll admit that that she's cute. Uh, the, that cute extrovert friend you have. Yeah, that's exactly what she reminds me of. But yeah, that one adorable extrovert friend who just like <laughs> tries to bring you out into all the social events. We can skip those. Okay, so. Like both of them, right? Both the uh, close beta and the opening cutscene. Skip both properly. Okay, then yeah. In that case, we'll go ahead and just march. Uh, march. <laughs> I was gonna say we, we're gonna march over to Serval's uh, trailer. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, we're, we're we're choosing to skip the second close beta trailer and the opening cutscene, right? Yeah, I, I guess we'll do that then. Yeah, because the opening cutscene is just the same stuff that it plays at the beginning of the game, anyways. And your choice, I think, is just pretty much showing that you can change between, like, the male and female MC, which is, uh, Kalos and Cell. Only the characters and, uh, version trailers are fine, I say. Alright. Did you watch Reburn? It was the very first HSR video. Reburn? What's that? Hold up. Let me, uh, look that up, actually. HSR Reburn. <laughs> okay, why is Dora being used in an ad here? A Honkai third reburn? Because, yeah, uh, I was only watching. Oh, wait. Oh, here. Honkai reburn 2. Oh. Th is, is this a trailer you're referring to? Honkai Saria Prologue and Teaser. Honkai reburn 2. Is that the trailer you're referring to? Huh. Oh, the concept animation. Sh should I watch this? Yeah, should I watch this or uh, and then watch the other ones later? Interesting. So, so this was an animation for Honkai 3rd that teased Star Rail. I, I, am I am I uh is that right? The space comedy trailer is also peak. I do want to watch that one too, yeah, because I, I've heard a lot of people say good things about that one. Yes, okay. Um, this is the one, right? Reburn 2. I should be watching this one from the... Yeah, I think I would just watch it from the original. Uh, yeah, which one is it? Uh, this one up here or the one with uh, uh, Kiana on it? You'll see March before the redesign. Oh, okay. I'm going to watch that now. I want to see what March looks like before her redesign. Oh, uh, yeah. Do, uh, do let me know. Which, which one is it? Uh, this one up here or this one or the bottom one? Yeah, do, do let me know before we actually begin watching. I mean, it could be both of them for all I know. Oh, wait, no, this was the animation. So maybe it's not this one. The top one? Okay, then, then yeah, we'll watch this one real quick as well. Yeah, I was gonna limit the ones to only the Star Rail YouTube channel, but if this one, like, teases Star Rail, then I'm kinda curious to see what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll watch this before we get back to the Star Rail YouTube channel. The Cityscape one, alright, alright, yeah, we'll watch this one. Honkai Impact 3rd, Reburn 2, Concept Animated Short. Okay, I'm excited. Alright, but yeah, let's begin in 3, 2, one, let's uh, give it a watch. Mihoyo Anime. I've never heard of that studio before. Mihoyo, obviously. Who are you? Is it, wait, is that March? <laughs> Looks nothing like her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> disclaimer, I know nothing about Honkai Impact 3rd in terms of story. Uh, yeah, I know next to nothing about Honkai 3rd, so a lot of this stuff is probably going to fly over my head. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa! 
one. Ha ha, one. What the, is that, is that a tank? Wait, that, is that the Astro Express? Oh no, it's just a regular train. <laughs> I was gonna say, nah, it seems like a regular train that just looks like the Astro Express. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who this character is. Holy, that's one big ass tower. Oh wait, that that's Welt, right? Okay, I think the one thing I do know is that Welt is from the... Welt and Star Rail is the same one from the Honkai 3rd um, universe, right? Wait, it is the Astro Express because it's going upwards. Prepare for liftoff. <laughs> Gravity control on. Yeah, that is the same welt. He, he looks the same in everything. <laughs> it's a concept for HSR. Oh. How long ago... I, I gotta go look at how long ago this trailer was released after I'm done watching. <laughs> <laughs> Slurping that boba tea. <laughs> yeah, that's not March. <laughs> she looks way too different from March. Wait. Is, is this March? Who the heck? <laughs> or it could be another kick from Honkai 3rd. For all I know. <laughs> Classic anime pushing the glasses up to their to their face. <laughs> huh. Is is that it? Yeah, was was this the March's initial design? Yeah, cause cause the eyes are the same and the hair is uh the same, I think. How long ago was this trailer released? Also two years ago. Okay, so wait. This one released October 8th, 2021. Hold up. Uh, let me bring it up here. Honkai Star Rail. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the initial trailer for it. When was that released? Hold up. Okay, also two years ago, but what's the specific date? Hang on. Let me scroll. YouTube. Oh, just two days within each other? Okay, so that so this is directly like a teaser for Star Rail. These two were released within two days of each other. Okay, so yeah, that then, then, then yeah, this is officially like a yeah, concept for Honkai Star Rail. Like yeah, you, you saw the Astro Express, you see like a prototype version of March, and then you also see Welt there as well. I'm not sure who that um who the girl of the golden eyes are. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't recognize her. Yeah, maybe she's like a character I don't. Yeah, that we haven't met yet or something. And yeah, a lot of people are saying, "Yep, <laughs> Honkai Star Rail." Yeah, I wonder what we'll see in Honkai Star Rail. Guess I should have expected this. <laughs> so yeah, that that was the. Uh, yeah, uh, hang on. Let me read chat here for a bit, just just so I know a bit more. If you want to know about Welts, the video right there, the story of Welt Yang, uh, is pretty good, but maybe on a later day. Yeah, maybe I'll watch this. Yeah, the, everything you need to know about Welt Yang. Maybe, maybe on a different day. Not today, though. Yeah, right now we'll, we'll focus on Star Rail. The girl with the golden eyes is Carol. Okay. This is only concept, not canon. Oh, okay, so it's not canon to the main story. It's just a... Uh. Go oh, with gray hair, gold eyes. Hmm. Wanna get hope this version of March shows up again? Yeah, honestly, this version of March looks so darn pretty. Like what's heck with the long hair and everything? 
yeah I, I hope we get this like march 7th design like like a five star version of march like down the line because yeah you know how we got like a five star version of don hung now but yeah let's let's uh let's get a five star version of march going on here hoyo like come on come on damn though okay yeah this was a super interesting trailer and yeah two days later they release the review uh, yeah the review trailer for honkai star rail very very interesting Again, I know nothing about Honkai Third, so I don't know the implications of that. But yeah, it's cool to see that they, yeah, just kind of made this whole game just based off that one, uh, like concept animated short. Super, super interesting. Her full name is Carol Pepper, and she punches people to death. I'm guessing she's a playable character in Honkai Third. Yeah, she's gonna get stabbed just like Don Hung. Uh, this. In the real Star Rail, the Star Rail was found by Himiko, and she repaired it, and then welts, and then someone else made their way to the Express. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I may need to know about Star Rail to fully grasp what's happening. Oh, I need to know more about Honkai Third to fully grasp what's going on there. But yeah, super, super interesting trailer. Yeah, thanks for recommending that trailer to me, guys. I never would have seen it if you never you uh, like yeah have told me about it. Yeah, that, yeah, thanks for that, by the way. Okay, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're super different, because March has pink hair, and the March we saw, I'm assuming that was March anyways, has white hair. <laughs> yeah, maybe she needs to get stabbed to unlock her true potential and get to the five-star version of her. <laughs> okay, but I think, uh, yeah, I think it's about time we go back on track and uh, go back to the Star Real YouTube channel. Uh, and yeah, the next trailer we're gonna watch is a uh, Servals trailer, uh, and then yeah, we'll just work our way down. Yeah, with the Star Rail trailer, so not. Oops, I didn't mean to scroll down that far. Yeah, this uh, space comedy one has like 60 million views. I want to see like how good it is. And also, for some reason, by this trailer is like the most viewed one. So yeah, I do want to watch that one as well. A very very dangerous individual will have to fight him at some point in the story. Hmm. As in, I hope I don't know. Hmm. She's gonna remember her past and that will be her 5-star version? I'm guessing that's where it's leading up to. Like, yeah, March will unlock her 5-star version when she remembers her past. We don't know when that will be. It could be in Pinaconi for all we know. Or maybe like uh, another planet in the near future. But yeah, here's hoping we get a five star version of March like soon, because I will pull for the yeah, five star March in a heartbeat, honestly. But uh, all right, to the next Star Rail trailer, Saval's trailer, Cusp of Ign Ignition. I hope I hope I said that right. Okay, one minute, uh, twelve uh, second trailer, another sh uh, super short one. Okay, uh. Okay, so Star Saval was, I believe, like one of the characters you get for free. So, I guess yeah, just kind of made it, made a trailer based on the free character you get. But yeah, let's go ahead and watch a yeah Serval's trailer now. The Cusp of Ignition again. Uh, I've already met Serval, so I pretty much I think I know most of the stuff about her. I don't think I played her companionship quest if she has one. So maybe this uh, will give me more insight into her as a character. But yeah, Serval's trailer beginning in three, two, one. Play. Hoyoverse. Con a continent development. Okay, so this is still in beta. I guess. Yeah, we got all the so many guards there. There she is. Whoa, what the heck? What the? This is giving me like Spider Verse vibes. Keep up. I move at my own tempo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, of course, the rocket girl has got to begin with the rock intro. Wait, she's actually sings? There's actually lyrics in this? Holy shit! Hold. Okay, heavy Spider Verse vibes here. Let me turn up the volume here, holy shit! Oh yeah, and that's her ultimate. Holy shit, I did not expect seeing this! Oh my, what? 
They went that hard with just Serval's trailer? I, th I thought they would go that hard for like the five star characters, but holy shit. The f I did not expect the fucking lyrics to come in. Hold on, let me play it again. Keep up. I move my yeah, own this intro is cool and all, but the fucking singing though. That's her, that's her actual English VA singing, right? Yeah, that is her VA, right? Holy shit, this is what... 10 out of 10 trailer right here just for the, for the singing. Oh my god, I need this on my Spotify now. <laughs> this is too fucking fire for just a 4-star character demo. <laughs> And here I thought Gaming's and Fush and Farazad's trailers were awesome. Holy shit, okay. Fuck. A round of applause for that trailer, oh my god. Oh, uh, now, okay, now I want to build Serval now, shit. <laughs> That's what I've come to learn for all these trailers. It's just like, after watching the trailer, I'm kind of tempted to build them now, even though I'm like very limited on resources. Shit, now I want to build Serval now. <laughs> But, but I gotta finish up my herd up first. I definitely gotta do that one first, but yeah. Holy shit, really, really good trailer for Serval there. My goodness. That, yeah, that's a super, super fucking good trailer. Oh my god. Never looked up a full version, not sure if there is one. Dude, if there is a full version, I'm gonna look it up and just probably blast it like all week, all day long. Holy shit, that was such a good, good uh, demo. All right. Okay, but moving on to the next trailer. Um. Okay, so uh, do let me know, guys. Should I play the Summer Games Fest trailer? And I think I'll skip these EPs because I'm pretty sure that they're just music. But uh, should I watch the Summer Games Fest or should I just jump immediately to Nightmare? Because yeah, I'm relying on you guys to tell me which trailers are worth watching and which ones I should just avoid. Did you know Sarah has a PhD as well? Yeah, I do know. That yeah, she yeah, then she obtained the PhD, but then got kicked out by Kakolia. That's why she turned to rock. Cause yeah, she was like one of the uh, architects of uh, Bellabog, right? If I if I'm remembering her lore correctly, let's watch your parts. Uh, there's a reason for it for a cute Easter egg. Skip those. S uh, skip the Summer Games Fest and the EPs. Yeah, should I jump immediately to Nightmare? Or, or should I just avoid this too? Like, yeah, uh, which trailer should I jump to next? Like, which, which one which one next you, you would you say is the next one worth watching? I know I should watch the uh, space comedy one, but uh, yeah, how many should I skip here? Also, um, uh, real quick, uh, is the uh, audio okay for you guys? Like, is the audio for... For like both the music and my uh, mic audio good? Like, yeah, is a uh, video too loud or is my mic too soft or anything like that? Uh, do let me know before we continue on with these uh, demos. Nightmare, Japard. After Japard, we can go back and watch them in order. Okay, then here's what I'll do. Since you guys are saying I should watch Japard's next, we'll go Japard, then jump to Nightmare. Uh, I think he yeah, will do that. Yeah, Japard's trailer, the, in the name of Landau. Right? Uh, audio's good? Okay. Okay, yeah, then, then I'll do that then. Yeah, I'll go to Japard's trailer, then go to uh, the Nightmare trailer, and then resume watching them in order. Is that, is that good with you guys? Because, yeah, some of you guys seem to really, really want me to watch Japard's trailer. For, like, a cute Easter egg, apparently. Okay, yeah, then, yeah, we'll, we'll jump to Japard's uh, trailer here, and then, yeah, continue in order from Nightmare after we do this one. I'm assuming, that, yeah, this is, this is related to the fact that Japard and Sarah are brother and sister. Okay, then, yeah. Alright, so now we'll be watching Japard's trailer in the name of Landau. Alright, and, uh, yeah, my fans here, or my viewers here say uh, to watch, uh, this one after the um, survival trailer because apparently it's a cute Easter egg. But alrighty, beginning watching Japard's trailer in three, two, one, let's -a go. Oh, you verse. 
Ooh, okay. I'm the captain of the Silver Main Guards to serve the Supreme Guardian. Kind of like the uh, drum roll going on here. Oh, Branya. I mean, of course she'd be here. Bellabog is this planet's last bastion. And the silver I like the like the royal music in the background. Indestructible shield. Japart Landau. You will know justice. This oh yeah, beat here. the shit out of the enemies. I wish he had had that attack. <laughs> hey, come on, that's that's his. That's not fair. That's his boss version's attack, <laughs> not the actual the playable Jepard. <laughs> Whoa! Becoming a shield for the people is one worthy of the title architect. Trust must never be betrayed. Hope must Ultima. never be squandered. Okay, that was a pretty good trailer, I'd say. Oh. Ah, is she? Is he listening to Serval's music? Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Oh, uh, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's really, really cute. Because, yeah, that, that is Serval's music, no? Hang on, yeah, let, let me just listen to it again. Yeah, that, that is her music. <laughs> I love how that he's just, like, humming along to it. That's, that's a super, super adorable detail. Yeah. Also, I will say this, uh, <laughs> this trailer is kind of clickbait because Jepar does not do this. That's his boss version's attack, where he, like, slams down his, uh... Yeah, that, that's his boss attack, not when he, he's actually playable. Like, come on, Jepar, why can't you have that move? <laughs> we got clickbaited. We got clickbaited. And yeah, I, I do know his, one of his out animations is trying to sing along with Serval. Yeah, I do have Jepar on my account. And yeah, he does do that sometimes when I idle with him. That's his sister's guitar case? Oh, I never realized that! I, I never realized this, this here is, is a guitar case. Hold on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, now I see it. Okay, that, okay so that totally is supposed to be, yeah, for Savral's guitar. I never noticed that before. That I thought this was just like a, a giant battering ram that uh, Japart just carries around. I never noticed that was a that, that was his guitar case or uh, yeah, uh, Savral's guitar case. Huh? Yeah, I never noticed that detail before. Holy shit, that's a that's a really really cool detail. I'm surprised I haven't noticed it till now. I guess I just kind of accepted it as, a, as just a giant battering ram and just saw it that way until now. But yeah, thanks for pointing that out. I don't think I, I would have ever noticed it. If, it. if not for you guys, holy shit. But yeah, Jeopard's trailer was freaking awesome. Well, it, it was okay. Nothing too, like, be, like uh, great happened there. Well, l like, it was a good character demo, but I don't think it was, like, as awesome as Serval's. <laughs> then again, Serval's is, yeah, has her just plain singing throughout the whole thing, so... Yeah, who knows if any of these character demos will surpass that. Savral so modified her guitar case for him. Ah, I see, I see. Some animes use darts as weapons, so why not? I mean, sure. I guess, yeah, sure, why not? I get, like, a, a guitar case as a freaking battering ram. Why not, right? Okay, but now, we are done with Jepard's trailer. And now we're gonna go back, uh, yeah, a bit for a few steps and go to Nightmare with a blade on the thumbnail here. Okay, so this is this is the Gamescom 2022 um, trailer. I believe this is still also before the game came out. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll watch uh, the Gamescom trailer and then. Um, okay, should we? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll 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 cover this later. Yeah, let's watch the Nightmare trailer first. I'm assuming this is like when Blade was first revealed to everybody. Like, yeah, to the Star Rail community. Hang on, let me drink some water first because my throat's getting a bit dry. Stay hydrated, folks.
<laughs> okay, but yeah, now beginning Nightmare, the Gamescom 2022 trailer for Honkai Star Rail, beginning in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Oh, you us. Yeah, the Astro Express. Oh, wait, it's back to black now. What the? Oh, this is the... Isn't this the cutscene that plays? In a story? Yeah. Oh, but I've never seen this stuff before, though. Five people. Three, Three must pay, pay the price. price. Yep. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. Yeah, this is almost like the exact cutscene from the from the game. Yeah, I'm guessing that's our first introduction to Blade. Uh. is in danger. This man, he. Yeah, the, like the first time anybody ever saw him. Hold on, everyone. Oh yeah, I'm guessing also the introduction of the of the Sienjo as well. Yeah, we've I've already seen that because that's the exact cutscene that plays in game. But that's still a pretty cool trailer nonetheless. <laughs> I can just imagine the fangirls going wild over the, like the appearance of both Jing Yuan and Blade. Because honestly, Blade, yeah, he, he's super cool. I honestly do want to get him, but uh, with all the reruns and all the new characters coming out, I barely have any like gems left for him. Like goddamn. Not sure how far you got into the main game, but if you haven't finished your main storyline, you may see spoilers as you go. That's okay, but um, uh, okay, I should probably like refresh you guys and uh, catch you guys up, but um, oh wait, I'm still on pom pom here. Uh, my story progress is up to uh, the Ruan May um, uh, um, Trailblaze mission. I almost forgot the name there, but. Yeah, I have not done any companionship missions. Zero, surprisingly. And uh, the only missions I've done are yeah, the, the trailblaze missions up to the one with Ruan Mei, where you unlock the uh, the new weekly boss. Um, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the the giant blue bug, essentially. <laughs> yeah, I've only done up to there uh, in terms of yeah, that's my story progress as of right now in terms of uh, yeah. Star Rail progress. Sorry on my words here, but yeah, that's uh, that's how much progress I've made in Star Rail story as of right now. So can't have wrap my head around that Blade and Linnea share the same VA. I know the the freaking vocal range of uh, what's his name, Damon Millis. Yeah, his vocal range is insane. To go from <laughs> from cute magician boy twink to Edge Lord. <laughs> Like, yeah, that vocal range is insane, honestly. You got to the main parts then. Okay, then hopefully I should be spoiled too much of uh, what to see here. Fun fact, uh, story-wise, the Ruan May event is right after we deal with the Doomsday Beast. Yeah, I found that kind of weird. Because the Ruan May, like, in terms of release, it comes out after the Sienjo arc. But, in, but canonically... We do that after we deal with the Doomsday Beast and before we set off for Yurilo 6, right? Yeah, that, that, that's super, super weird. <laughs> I, I'm glad that they're making like a timeline, like a thing in 2.0, just so I know like the order of events and everything. But yeah, that was a uh, Blades trailer, <laughs> aka Gamescom uh, Nightmare uh, trailer. Um, should we? Okay, what trailer should we watch next? The Tokyo Game Show one, or should I just skip to the space comedy trailer? Uh, yeah. What, what? What's our next one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should I watch the Tokyo Game Show 2022 trailer, or is that stuff I've already seen in the game? Because yeah, if it's stuff I've already seen in the game, then I'll skip it. Is it saying how consistent he keeps a voice for both? I know, right? Like, he, he keeps his, like, yeah, Blade and, and Lenny voices, like, super consistent. If you do companion missions, I recommend Lynx, Lucas, and Yukonks. Okay. I'll keep those in mind, then. 
I'm not sure why specifically those ones, but yeah, I'll keep those in mind. Space comedy, skip the Tokyo Game Show one. Okay, then yeah, we'll, we'll jump to space comedy next, and then we'll work our way down. Yeah, Baidu's trailer, Yanching's trailer, Himiko's trailer, and just all the standard better characters uh, trailers. All right, space comedy. This is probably the one you guys probably uh, are looking forward to me reacting the most. And yeah, this has 16 million views, so I wonder what's so good about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and watch the final close beta uh, trailer. So this is still before the game came out. Uh, yeah, just being chat real quick. Okay, but yeah. So yeah, this is the last trailer before the game comes out, I think. Uh, space comedy. And yeah, this has 16 million views. And apparently, yeah, a lot of people really, really like it. So I can't wait to see what's so good about this trailer. But yeah, let us begin watching it in 3, 2, 1, begin. Oh god, what's, what's gonna be in this trailer? Oh god, freaking <laughs> opening trash again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we're escaping Yuri 6, I see. The jet part. Oh, is this like an introduction to like all the characters? Kayla. <laughs> Hurts. Up, <laughs> oh, Kafka, of course, and Silver Wolf. Okay, so this is, this is like our overall introduction to like the whole cast of uh, Star Rail. I see. Oh yeah, and the freaking Sienjo. Lucha, Sushang. <laughs> Rise Phoenix. Ching Chui. The <laughs> Fushi <laughs> Fushuan. <laughs> he, he just took a picture of him sucking off. Hey, my boy Yan Ching. Hey, and our boy Jing Yuan. What the? How many births does this man have? <laughs> Ting Yun. Wait, the, is he selling? Is, is, is she selling photos of Jing Yuan? What the hell? <laughs> Bai Lu. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is going on? Why is everybody running, chasing out the Bai Lu? <laughs> Wait, I wanted to see what's going on there. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, everybody's just chasing out the Bai Lu for some reason. <laughs> I guess she stole some photos of uh, Jing Yuan. Okay, I can see why most people like this trailer. Oh wait. Oh, and of course Pom Pom. And here we go. And Walt. The ship myself. <laughs> Patience. I think you're in for a surprise. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole cast of a uh, Star Rail in 1.0, right? Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, Ting is like selling photos of Jing Yuan or something. Like, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> like, bro, how, how many people on the fucking Sanjo want a picture of Jing Yuan? And then Baidu just fucking comes in and wrecks everything. <laughs> okay, I don't. This is what I don't get. Why are we running after Baidu? <laughs> also, I think I. Wait. Hold on, let me go back here. Well, yeah, look, look up here. Stell's just on her phone this whole time. Just chasing at... <laughs> Wait, I, I do really want to, like, yeah, see if this from the beginning, but... <laughs> the trailer begins with Stell fucking looking for trash, because of course she does. <laughs> and then they're just escaping the freaking Silver May guards, because this, like, during the time Kakolia sent us to hunt them. Sample's hiding in the, in the trash for some reason. <laughs> Jappard uh, is is going after us. Serval is like messing up with a, uh, is messing with Jappard. Hey, it's like playing games on her phone, <laughs> and then her phone gets launched to all hell. Like, what was she watching? Were she watching some what? <laughs> some video with like a uh, Sila and Branya together? Like, what the hell's going on there? But yeah, I will say this is a pretty cool trailer. Just, yeah, a simple introduction to, like, every single character in the game. Well, not every single one, but most of them. Hey, cool man Blade here, walking into the darkness. <laughs> okay, then, this was a pretty chill and pretty funny trailer, honestly. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely, like, a, one of the 10 out of 10 trailers. Absolute peak trailers.
<laughs> oh yeah, and also yeah, I I do remember like yeah the poorly drawn posters that uh, Jepard did make. <laughs> I do gotta say though, Stell looks absolutely adorable here, <laughs> and Don Hung being done with our shit as always. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just go ahead and take a photo of like all our wanted posters because that's a good idea apparently. <laughs> yeah, I do remember these. Yeah, these badly drawn ones are from Jeppard. Meanwhile, the the ones that are like super well drawn are from uh, Pela. Bronzy the fanfic, I guess. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> Love to leave Easter egg for some Horio games. There's a few tears of themes references, and I love it. Oh yeah, isn't Pela's phone cover like like actually? Let me go to her if I can find her. Yeah, isn't our phone cover here uh, Tears of Themis? Like the Th Tears of Themis characters? I never played Tears of Themis, obviously. But yeah, I do like the little references like to their other games that they do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I, got, I do gotta say I like this trailer. I, I, I do like this fucking part where Fushuan's like taking a picture of Ching Chui just freaking slacking off and then Ching Chui goes to like delete the photo or something. Yeah, that, 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 that's funny. Oh yeah, Jing being surrounded by birds for some reason. <laughs> Not sure why, but uh... But hey, I guess everybody on the Sientra Lofu just kind of sips with Jing apparently. <laughs> they just like me for real. <laughs> yes, all the male leads. Yeah, I guess I guess Pela is like somewhat of a automato. Otome? Like okay, what genre of games do you call that? Like those kinds of games with just yeah, just all males on it. I forget what he called those games, but yeah, I guess Pela's just a super fan of those types of games. But alrighty, that is the space comedy trailer uh, done. And I believe that is the like the last trailer that come that came out before um the game officially came out. I think because yes, yeah, it's, it's the final closed beta trailer, and then after this we have Bailus, Yanchings, Himikos. We already seen Jeopards, so we'll pass his. Uh, okay, this, these are only six. Oh, this is just a. Okay, I think I can skip this one. This, this just seems like a simple trailer. I think I'll skip this one too. Zila trailer. Oh, interesting. Wait, does Welt not get a trailer? Huh. Yeah, does Welt and Clara not get a trailer? Because, yeah, it's like most of the Sandbag characters, but not those two for some reason. So, yeah, we got Baidu, we got Yanching, we got Himiko, we got Jepard. And for some reason, Welt, Clara, and Bronya don't get trailers? Interesting. Weird. Silas is unique. I, I I assume so because Silas like the first limited time character. So yeah, we'll go in order here. We'll go Bailu, Yanching, Himiko, and then we'll go to Silas trailer. And then we'll also watch this Interstellar Journey trailer because uh, I've seen a lot of people talk good things about this one as well. So I should definitely watch that too. But yeah, let's watch Bailu's trailer first, which somehow has the most amount of views with twenty three million. And yeah, we'll go we'll go in order from here. Uh, just to clarify, the Fates Atlas timeline is segregated by worlds, so Ruan may event this isn't actually... Okay. <laughs> so it's not directly after the Doomsday Beast fight. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just look at the timeline that uh, 2.0 gives us and just d discern the timeline from there. Well, the, the whole second eruption for himself? Hmm. Interstellar Journey, that one's very good. Yeah, I'll definitely be sure to watch the Interstellar Journey trailer. Cause yeah, I think that one, <laughs> that one might be uh, pretty good. It's a music video. Oh, you mean like the 2.0 music video? Ooh, I'm kind of excited for that one actually. But yeah, let, let's get through these trailers first before we get up to the ones uh, we really want to watch. But yeah, buy loose trailer. Let's watch that one first. The torrid, you know, in torrid heat. It's hard to stay cool in this dry weather. And for some reason, yeah, Bylus just has the most amount of views like Chi Chi sells for Genshin. Bailu, how can we commission healer lady? Oh, what the, did, she, did she just spray water at them? Bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, she's just a little brat, isn't she? <laughs> Whoa, what is all this? Oh yeah, she, she's Electro, obviously. What the heck? Baidu can't do these attacks! What the heck? <laughs> Oh no, Baidu, what, what are you doing? Oh, she's gonna revive them. <laughs> yeah, don't remember her being able to attack with her bottle. <laughs> okay, that was an adorable little trailer there. But yeah, I, I, I can't say I remember Bailey being able to attack with her bottle. Aww, I, I, do, I do like that idol from her, though, where she like chases her own tail. That, that's absolutely adorable. I don't know too much about Bailey as a character. Probably because I haven't played her um, Trailblaze mission yet. But yeah, she strikes me like, yeah, as, as like someone who's like very much immature. <laughs> yet she's entrusted with like healing the whole commission for some reason. Yeah, I also like the music for this demo as well. Yeah, the music here was super, super good. Fake new Bailu heals one per battle. Bailu's infamous for skipping work. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I don't think I I know about that because she didn't strike me as the lazy type when I met her in the Trailblaze mission. But maybe I'll learn a bit more because uh, like yeah, through the um, uh, like her. Companionship quests, yeah. All right, but that's by this trailer. That's a pretty, that's a pretty uh, good trailer. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to yeah, Yanqing's, which I think is up next, and then yeah, we'll do Himiko's as well. All right, Yanqing's character trailer, Temper Chill. Yeah, let's watch this one now. And yeah, Yanchik's like my very first five-star character. Swordsmanship isn't just about maintaining your skills. Oh, uh, you have to put them to the test if you want to learn something new. Yeah, that's the idol I hear from him like all the time. Well, if you're not busy today, want to go a few rounds? Oh boy, <laughs> getting into fights as always. I see. Reporting for duty. Ooh, okay. Clash of swords is all I need to get ahead. Music is going in. Strong adversaries make. Oh damn! I wish he could do that. Well, no, he well he can with his ultimate, but yeah, I wish we just saw more of the multiple blades like in in his battle. Oh damn! He killed everybody. Not bad. You did better than most. Swords descend. Oh yeah, I think I I think I've seen parts and bits of Yanjing's trailer because I keep getting recommended like Honkai Cell Rail ads back in the day. Okay, that was a that was a decent trailer. I don't think it's uh super super good in any ways, but yeah. I like I like the music of that trailer. He's way more broken than D. Oh yeah, right, because yeah, he shares the same VA as D. I almost forgot that Yanching's voiced by yeah <laughs> uh <laughs> a woman. Cause he he sounds so much like a boy, it's 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 kind of insane on it, actually. Yeah, 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 I keep forgetting, yeah, they uh, and Yanching sh shared the same VA. Poor Yanching, he was bullied multiple times in past versions from Blade, Jing Liu, and Dan Hung. But yeah. Wait, I know Blade and Jing and Blade and Dan Hung fought him, but Jing Liu? Okay, that might be a spoiler for one of the companionship quests, but... Hopefully I'll forget by the time I played that uh, the companionship quest then. Okay, yeah, we'll also watch Himikos as well, and then, yeah, we'll move on to Sila's uh, trailer, and then, yeah, this one right here. Alright, but yeah, let's watch Himiko's trailer now. Star Chaser. I'm surprised this doesn't have more views, honestly, because, uh, I know a lot of, uh, Honkai third players, like, miss, uh, Himiko. Yeah, I know Arlen and Nilu's, like, share the same VA as well, like, yeah, there's a lot of similar VAs within Genshin and, uh, Star Rail. Okay, hang on, let me drink some water here, because my throat's getting dry again. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, but now, yeah, Himiko's trailer, Star Chaser. Let's uh, watch this one as well. 
Oh, your verse. Wonder what they're gonna show in this one. There are endless possibilities. And the Whoa. Okay. Stars. Our journey is the process of pulling apart the threads of possibility to seek the final truth. I am Fire. Kimiko. Ooh, this music though. The express doesn't have a clear destination because every passenger's destination is unique. I'm sure Whoa. I'm to embark on Hold this music though. I feel like I'm in heaven. What the hell? I have something for you. Oh, this okay, this is a banger. Combat is a series of precise machinations. One at a time. I like this music. Holy shit, it, why is it so why is it so chill? Oh, holy. Okay. Okay, Hoya. We know who's your favorite character. All right. <laughs> I'm no exception. Trailblazing means that every step we take is a step closer to the stars. Oh, my God. Hoya, oh, you, you gotta stop killing me with these bangers. Trailblazing journey has just begun. Okay, that was a good trailer for the music. Yeah, I think all these trailers are just basically super basic but only because like they're like the first trailers that come out like it's same with genshin like the first few trailers for genshin were super super like i guess well not basic like they're okay they're just basically showing off the gameplay but they go really really hard with like the later, later trailers at least that's what i think so yeah her giant her giant freaking pizza cutter honestly i do want himiko now i do want to pull for himiko but or get her uh on a Santa banner if possible because she's apparently like super super good in the pure fiction game mode. And of course, you know, I I do want to like have more characters on my account as well. Yeah. But yeah, that Himiko's trailer was pretty pretty good, honestly. Liked it for the music, and I <laughs> probably should yeah add it to my Spotify playlist as soon as I can before I forget about it. But yeah. Uh I think that does it for all these Santa banner character um trailers and now we're gonna move on to Sela's demo uh, so you guys said it gets a bit more a, a bit uh, yeah a bit better from here because yeah because these are limited time characters and I'm, I'm assuming if it's the same as genshin they get like the special treatment and like their trailers just gradually go up in quality over time i have an e1 i don't use her um Damn, give me a Himiko, damn. Himiko's alt has to be the biggest flex ever. I know, right? She just sits there just drinking her little teacup. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, like the enemies are just getting blasted by like a Death Star laser. Like, yeah, honestly, that, yeah, that's probably like one of my favorite ultimates in the game. Just, just because Himiko's just chilling while the enemies are just b being blown up. Yeah. Okay, but next up, Sila's uh, trailer, Uneventful Nights. Let's watch this one now. So, Sila's the very first limited character in Honkai Star Rail, if I'm remembering correctly. I believe she sold super, super well, like her first banner. I Correct me if I'm wrong, but she outsold Ryan Shogun's banner, uh, didn't she? Like her, Ryan Shogun's initial banner, That that is. Yeah, so, I guess maybe this trailer did something that made a lot, a lot of people pull for her. So, I guess hopefully we'll see, uh, yeah, see what makes, uh, Sila so pullable. You'll lose your mind if you see Honkai 3rd trailer music? Maybe I'll get to that, yeah, maybe I'll watch Honkai 3rd, like, music videos, like, or trailers once I, uh, like, in a different live stream or at a different date. Who knows? But yeah, let's go ahead and watch Sila's trailer, Uneventful Nights, beginning in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Also, I do notice most of these trailers are like less than two minutes, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Huh. Here they come again. Oh, shit. So yeah, see, it's like the venti of, uh, of Sorrel. Whoa, okay, music going in already. Oh, they're dead already, okay. <laughs> Oh no, never mind. Combat's not over. Oh yeah, right. She yeah, she can turn invisible for her technique. Yeah. Sometimes a sharp blade is the only way to get people to come to this. Dude, I love Sila and her animations. I honestly wish I pulled for her at, at, like at the beginning. Did I ask for your help? 
Oh. Looks like you could use it. Of course you are here. <laughs> of course Bronya is here. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. There's always a weakness. The shippers just went insane with this trailer, I can already tell. <laughs> now for the one that slipped through the net. Okay, so it's it's like both their trailers. That's probably why Bronya's not here. Or she doesn't have her own trailer. Oh, yep, there we go. Illusions of the past. Yep. <laughs> the famous quote. Okay, that was a pretty good trailer. I'd say that's definitely better than the, uh, than the previous three that we've seen. Bronzeela never changes for even between three games. Yeah, honestly, that's it's like a canon event, right? It's like in every universe, Bronny and Sila always find a way to end up together. It's yeah, it's like it's like the canon event of the Hoyoverse. Yeah, Bronny and Sila just always ha somehow find each other. But yeah, that was a pretty good. That, yeah, that was a pretty good demo. I like the music of that, and yeah, as well as the visuals, and Sila just kicking ass as usual. I love Sila and her animations, honestly. I, I did wish I pulled for her at, at, the, be at the beginning. I, I did try to pull for a rerun, but, you know, uh, as you can see, I'm not successful with, uh, with that pulse. Yeah, being F2P in Star Air can be tough sometimes. Not because the game is difficult, but because there's so many good characters that you want to pull for them all. <laughs> like, damn. The red eyes are a special nod to her, her alter ego in Honkai 3rd. Good detail. Oh. Huh. To her alter ego in Honkai 3rd. Hmm. Again, okay. So, <laughs> I know nothing about Star Rail, so I'm not- I didn't even know Brawny had like an alter ego, but hmm. Let's go reference then. You can watch Azure water to see why people ship Bronny and Sila. I'm guessing that's a Honkai third uh, video. But yeah, maybe not now. Maybe some other time when I'm uh, not watching the Star Rio trailers. Do you do the daily stuff online as well in game? Wait, what do you mean the daily stuff online? What? Sila has the alter ego. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, Sila is the one with the alter ego, not Bronya. <laughs> and yeah, this is pretty much also Bronya's trailer too, because she kind of just appears halfway. I'm guessing, yeah, like after this, they're just like, yeah, we don't really need to make a Bronya trailer. This is basically where she is, and yeah, that's her trailer. I don't know why they didn't make one for Clara and Welt, though. I guess Welt, because we already know him, or like the Honkai 3rd fans already know him. But Clara, I'm pretty sure Clara's... Original to Star Rail, so I'm not sure what's up with that. A special log on the Hoyo page? Oh, you mean the daily... You mean the daily login stuff on Hoyo Lab? Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do the, yeah, the daily logins on uh, Hoyo Lab, yeah. I'm kind of pissed that uh, Bronya doesn't have a standalone trailer, as she is my favorite character. Yeah, I do. I do wish they made a few more trailers, like for Bronya, Clara, and Welt. But eh, it is what it is. If I leave a link, will you, as the stream, will be able to click? No, I don't think I can click on links um, in the uh, live chat. I'm pretty sure YouTube doesn't allow that. Or maybe there's some settings that don't allow that in my live stream. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't link you um, or click any links that you post in the in the chat. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, that's uh oh my god, like how many trailers have we been through so far? We've been through like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's that was just our tenth video that we'd watch, and we got like a whole plethora of of, of ones we gotta go through next. But yeah, next up is official release trailer, Interstellar Journey. So you guys said this is a music video, so I'm really, really hyped for this one, because, yeah, if it's anything like the 2.0 music video, then holy shit, this one's gonna slap. If I'm, yeah, if I'm right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, did, oh, the English VAs also sang this as well. Oh. Oh, then I'm super, super hyped for this one. If this is, the, yeah, like a music video, like the 2.0 uh, trailer. 
Oh, all righty. Oh, also, this is the release trailer. Okay, so this is when the game's out at this point. Opening one for Star Rail. Ooh, like an anime opening. Oh, I can't wait actually. Okay, so again, it's like less than two minutes, but hopefully it's it's a banger. Alrighty, I'm excited. Alright, beginning Interstellar Journey in three, two, one, play. Hoyaverse. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, Kafka! This music, though! Whoa! Oh, singing as well! Hang on, maybe I want to turn on the lyrics. Oh yeah, this is like an anime opening, yeah. Oh my, they, they, they tease everything in version 1. Oh shit, this music though! Wait, Yanchik wasn't here, what the hell? <laughs> so yeah, they pretty much tease everything in version 1 in this trailer. Yeah, the deer freaking... I think it's saw Shui there. This music is slapping, holy shit! <laughs> Oh my god, this is- okay. Favorite trailer. This is my favorite trailer, okay. Honkai Star Rail, available. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good trailer. And yeah, they pretty much teased everything that's in version 1. Like, yeah, from- Yeah. Because Lynx wasn't a thing in 1.0. I don't think Yukon was either. Yeah, Jingyu and Luca were released like later on, right? And they also teased Imbibur Luna. <laughs> and the deer as well. Oh, this music. I like this rhythm. Yeah, this is like an anime opening, and also, yeah, you see Shui right there. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> Holy shit, this is hype! <laughs> okay, Hoyo. Okay. You you fucking outdone yourself with this trailer. And also the 2.01, obviously, but... Holy shit, this was, this was a really, really good trailer. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, yep. I think I, I, think I have a new fa uh, favorite trailer, guys. Yep, I'm leaving a like on that one. Holy shit, that was good. Yeah, that was a whole ass anime opening for like, yeah, the first uh, arc of, like I guess, Honkai Star Rail. And then, yeah, we have another one for, yeah, the version 2.0. Tingy was shushing, uh, was there all along, being sus and made it sense uh, in the later versions. Oh, did that, like, tease that Tingyun was actually Fantelia? They teased that that early on? If, if that was intentional, then holy shit. That's some fucking expert planning there. Oh my god. Yeah, th th okay, this, this is probably like my next favorite trailer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, okay. As of right now, I'm gonna conclude this one my favorite. The 2.0 wasn't... Actually, no, it's between this one and a 2.0 trailer. Because both music videos are so, so good. Oh my god. Yeah, holy shit, that's badass. Holy shit. And yeah, it teased everything from, yeah, 1.0 to 1.6. Except for Ruanme and Dr. Ratio. I don't think we saw them. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, I guess it's like 1.0 to 1.5, yeah. It was Fantili's shadow when uh, Tingyun showed up. Hold up, where, uh, where's Tingyun? Oh, there she is. Uh, oh, there she is. Uh, right here. That is Fantilia Shadow. Hold up. Play. 
Play. That is Fantilly's shadow, like the crescent and the giant thing on her head. That is Fantilly's shadow. Oh my god, it was right there all along and nobody saw it. Holy shit, that is some insane foreshadowing. Holy shit. Yeah, Hanya wasn't here either, so I'm guessing their like character models weren't finished for this trailer or something. Yeah, Topaz is not there either, so I guess they teased most of the characters that were finished, but... Uh, they, they they like finished designing, but not all of them. Yeah. I saw you on the Fikestro Garden. Have you finished the Hua Hua Gui Knife event? Yes, I have. Um, also, yeah, another thing I should probably bring up. Uh, this is super kind of weird, but yes. I did finish up uh, these events. The uh, Foxy and Tail of the Haunted with Hua Hua. And yeah, I did finish up Ethereum Wars. Uh, just the other stream, actually. Uh, I finished the museum events. I finished the Bullet Time Super Leagues. These ones I have not done yet. I have not done these ones yet. Uh, in terms of events. Uh, yeah. Those are the only uh, yeah events I have not finished. But yeah, I was there for the, yeah, the Hua Hua um, event. Hanya wasn't there, but Shrey was there. Yeah, I'm guessing they were finished for like... Like a Shrey's model first, and then Hanya's model was like still in work in progress, so... Maybe she just never showed up because, yeah, she was like un unfinished or something. Hmm. Yeah, Ethereum Wars was fun. It was super, super fun. I like the whole like Pokemon references that they like throw here and there. And what spectacular timing, too, because of uh, the whole Pal World stuff and whatnot. There are two theories. Remember when Tingyun was showing us how to use the D Ting to search for. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think I've heard that theory. Um, the theory is, um, the, when we first met Tingyun, that was the real Tingyun. And then when we went to look for the D-Ting, the original Tingyun was killed, quote-unquote, and then replaced with Fantilia. I think, yeah, one of my viewers told me about that theory. Shui shows up in Don Hung's story, so they finished her model first. Ah, okay. Remember how we lost tracks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's the same theory that I'm thinking about, that you're saying, yeah. But yeah, holy shit, the, the freaking foreshadowing super in advance. Yeah, holy shit. This is more planning than, than Star Wars did for the sequel trilogy. Holy shit. Alright, but yeah, that's Interstellar Journey done. And now we'll move on to the next uh, trailers in our Star Wars lineup. How long has it been? How long have we been live for? Holy shit, we've been live for like almost two hours now, and we're barely at the surface of the Star Wars trailers. Uh, okay, um, I think I, I can skip these like short 15 second trailers and also the... Yeah, I think I'll, I'll skip the Keeping Up with Star Wars trailers too, because they're just explaining their kits. So if we go in order here, we're at Myriad Celestia trailer. Celestia? Genshin? Huh? Fables about the stars. Oh, wait, that isn't that. Yeah, that's a black swan on the on the thumbnail, right? She was teased this early on. Huh. Since the Heliobus shows solutions and we defeated Fantasia, she showed up as a Heliobus. Oh, yeah, I think, yeah, the Fikestro Garden event. Pretty much told us that yeah, Fantilia was a Heliobus. Mirror Celestia, let's go. Okay, you guys seem excited about this trailer. It has 4 million views. A fable about the stars part 1. Part 1? Are we getting a part 2 something down the line? Hmm. If I had to guess... If I had to guess, it's... I'm guessing this might be the equivalent of the uh, the Tevat um, chapter trails trailer for Genshin, where it like shows off all the the regions, and maybe this one will show off all the planets. Maybe uh, I'm just throwing out the predictions here, where I could just watch the video right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and watch yeah Myriad Celestia uh, trailer Fables about the Stars Part One. This is almost four minutes long, so. Okay, we might be getting some deep dank lore in this one. Yeah, and judging by the thumbnail, I'm guessing Black Swan is a part of this, and maybe yeah, she was teased this early on before being playable in 2.0. Hmm. 
Hmm. But alrighty, let's, uh, yeah, let's begin watching. Let's make an exchange, shall we? Oh. Exchange of memories. I dreamed of a is, is that Black Swan talking? Of a crystal oh, yeah, oh, this place. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen. It's, wait. To the parable of the stars. The light from my crystal showed me. A Celeron? One, the pathless oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Tear cards and, yep, yeah, that is Black Swan. Clad in stellar radiance. Go now. March unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace, but march towards the light. Nano the, the destruction. Oh! Yet that oh, they're showing off all the eons! Piercing through the clouds as a golden death. The nano the destruction. And the people fled. He has a but sick design, I'll say. Yeah, and our, and our whole goal is to kill him? Land the hunts. Oh, the, the eon of the Sienshaw. Will to ah, the so yeah, all the eons. The he has a cool-looking design. I like the giant bow. Yes, the erudition. Oh, I don't think I saw this the eon. Their secrets, out the roots that connect all things. Oh, aren't these they all the the genius society guys? The oh, the wait, that's the. the silence. That's an Eon? I thought that was just a thing for Golden Gears. Okay. Yaoshi the Abundance. Oh, oh, right. The Pretty much the one we were going against in the Sienjo arc. Yeah, the Lady of All the Hands. Dude, they, they kill it with these Eon designs, honestly. They look so, so good. IX the Nayeli. Oh, yeah, the giant purple ball. I should probably pay attention to what Black Swan is saying. I'm sorry, but I. Yeah, okay, that is a Nayeli. Wait, are those his eyes? What? <laughs> Clip off the preservation. Okay, uh... Yuri the Six is Eon. Yeah, this is like the Danes of, uh, Tevat Trio's chapter trailer. Shipe, the Harmony. Oh, that's the Eon for... Inakani. Oh. Oh, you who have reached the end. Enter into the paradise that envelops all. Whoa! The freaking puzzle pieces and everything. Oh my god, that's a killer design. The elation, yeah, oh yeah, aha. The veracity. Dude, we're getting all the eons, the beauty, the propagation, the agony mana, the equilibrium. Measure the world against yourself. Oh, isn't that the remembrance? To heart. This is the path you should walk, they say. Yeah, sorry, I'm not... Oh, yeah, Akavili, yeah, the one we follow. Oh, yep, and there she is, Black Swan. streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. Yeah, I felt like, yeah, that was just a whole ass lore dump right there. Okay, also I was too busy like looking at the Eon's design to not hear what Black Swan was saying about each one of them. So hope you guys don't mind me playing the trailer again. Yeah, I wanna see what Black Swan says about each and every one of them. Also, one thing, what what is this? Um, oh, it's a, his YouTube will let me pause. Uh, oh, let me go back a bit here. At the universe's core, like to fl oh, these are like the descriptions for each of the eons, I, I, I guess. Yeah, I want to see what Black Swan says about each one of them. Burn, piercing through the clouds as a golden death. Towers crumbled and the people fled, for the sun was soon to set and meet with vicious destruction. Oh. Yeah, sorry, uh, I didn't pay attention to her words and was just sipping for the eons, I guess. 
You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. Yeah, this is exactly like that uh, the Tevat Trio's um, trailer. Secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. But they are silent, like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Hmm. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. And you will know where the stars are resting. Hmm. So do all the members of the Genius Society follow the erudition? The earth, they say. Once and again. The tender sprouts will grow to the sky, and the dew that falls from their branches will rid you of sickness and poison. <laughs> and get you Mara struck. Blindfold your eyes, they say. That the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. Huh. Let it not. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. It is a black hole. Nor numb. Yes, yeah, like drunk planets into it and everything. Holy shit. This is like a sentient black hole. That's cool. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls foundations be known. Yes, the genius society are selected by Nuos. Oh. Oh. You who have reached the end. Yeah, hey, what's the voice different here? Is the Eon speaking to us directly? Oh, and she has like multiple faces on her sides and everything. Dude, these Eon designs are so so cool. Look upon the courtesan's extravagance, the mariners and temperance. Yeah, is this like a a teaser for like all the Eons we're gonna encounter and maybe face? The shapeless prince, and finally measure the world against yourself and take all such things to heart. This is the path you should walk, they say. Lucky Vili, depart once more. Lucky Vili. Dude. Countless shooting that was a fucking whole ass lore dump. Oh my god. You are you telling me we're gonna face all or like meats? Or or I guess uh maybe not meats, but get regions based off every single one of these eons. Holy shit, if that's the case, then my god, how long is Tariel's story gonna last? Holy shit. The Veracity AK Swarm Disaster. Yeah, I, I recognize that. The propagation is pretty much the eon we met in Swarm Disaster. Or Boros, yeah. <laughs> it's a cute Galactus. <laughs> Swan is speaking in harmony. Yeah, what, what's up with that? Why is she speaking in harmony? Like with the Harmony Eon. I know we get um, Black Swan in Pia Connie. I'm pretty sure Pia Connie follows Shipei, the Harmony Arch uh, Archon. Eon. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder Yeah, why, why is she speaking through... Like, Unless maybe Black Swan follows the, the Harmony. At least that's what I'm getting. Although she is a naively character, so not sure what's up with that. Finally calling it Elios and Eon. Yeah, I've heard about Elio, like, like yeah, doesn't Kafka and like the gang or the Celeron just talk a lot about uh Elio? I, I really wonder who that yeah, who this Elio guy is. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll find out if I continue watching these trailers, but holy shit, that was a lord dumb and a half. Oh my god. Yeah, so many of the Eon designs look so, so cool. Like, don't get me wrong, the Archons of Genshin are super cool. And they're, like, much more humanized and empathetic. Meanwhile, these Eons, I don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. <laughs> like, yeah, they're essentially like demigods out there. And with, like, wacky, super unique designs. Yeah, holy shit. And yeah, if we get a region for, like, every single one of these Eons... Yeah, this story is going to be long. This story is going to be super, super long. But yeah, get, there you guys have it. The Myriad Celestia trailer. Okay, so keep in notes. These Celestia trailers are essentially huge lore dumps of the Star Rio universe. And yeah, the equivalent of the Dane's Lift uh, to that uh, chapter trailer. Holy shit.
Scroll up chat has tons of info. Oh my god, he, you guys said a lot while I was watching the trailer. Simon Universe actually is where we get information for most of the eons. Ah, okay. Yeah, I do remember like most of the eons that come from Simulated Universe, and the Remembrance was like one of them that was just for some reason not talked about in this trailer. There's like yeah, the Nihility, the Harmony, the Abundance, all those, and then yeah, a few more in this trailer that I don't know about. Holy shit! Only eight uh, eons are playable, I think. Isn't it seven? <coughs> Oh wait, no, eight, eight. If you if you count the propagation, yeah. Also, but don't we get the erudition in um, Golden Gears? Yeah, pretty sure we we do get them, right? Have you seen the Veracity Eon? Hot uh, as fuck. Um, wait, where's the Veracity? Hold up, let me just scroll through the Veracity. Yeah, what is that? I I don't even see a body. W yeah, who's the Veracity supposed to be? Like, I, I just assumed this was like just random space, but is is that a, is that a is that supposed to be the Veracity? Listen to the infant in the mirror, the waves and mariners. Look upon the oh wait no, it's the mariners and temperance. Listen to the infant in the mirror, the waves as they then we have, then we got the beauty, the propagation. Okay, I don't think we're actually seeing the eons right now. I think they're just describing what the each of these eons are like. She may absorb Ina the Order. I'm not sure what Ina the Order is. Veracity appears in SC Swarm Disaster. Oh! Okay, then I'm definitely gonna have to progress Swarm Disaster if I want to learn a bit more about each of the eons. Some occurrences tell the story of some of the eons. Okay, well, then I gotta go back to Simi the Universe and, yeah, learn about all their lore. Definitely, well, yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that after this. The Veracity is an Eon... has an Eon art in Simi the Universe. Oh, do, do they now? Hold up, uh... Actually, yeah, you can see all the Eons if you pull up Simi the Universe, right? Hold up, yeah, let me... let me go pay uh, her to visit. And also, let me bring it up in uh, in game here. All right, there we go. The veracity. Also, yes, I did make a, a bit of progress in uh, Simi the Universe. Um. Wait. Okay. Where can you find out more about them? No, not that. Ability tree, is that where? No, 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 that's not it. Oh, wait, no, index, index, right. Eons. Okay, so yeah, we, we got the preservation, clip off, the remembrance fully, the elation, aha, the hunt. Yeah, all these guys we saw. The propagation and... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, the veracity and the order. Yeah, we see in the universe. Right, I forgot I came across these guys. Honestly, yeah, the veracity looks sick. The snakes... I'm assuming there's are snakes. And then the Order, Ina. He, yeah, these Eons look super, super cool in design. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing a few here and there. Maybe, yeah, maybe not all of them are available to see just yet, but... Oh, yeah, and also, yeah, the, the Propagation is right here. Dude, honestly... So, so cool designs. I'm surprised they're not like boss fights or anything like that. I mean, well, maybe not yet. <laughs> maybe we're not powerful enough right now to fight an Eon, but yeah. Cannot wait to see more of the Eon's designs like uh, in game. Because yeah, the Eons are like probably the, the most interesting part about Star Rail. Yeah, honestly. Like, yeah, if anything, I'm looking for I'm looking more forward to the eons or like new eons release than the characters at this point. I thought I hope Pecani adds more Ina lore. I hope so too. Yeah, I hope we also get yeah a lot more eons lore in the uh, Pecani as well. Any hall enough? Any hollow uh, life fans here? 
Unfortunately, I don't know who, who Enough is, so unfortunately, I don't know what you're talking about. You missed uh, what I said about the eons. Oh, yeah, let me scroll up. Sorry. <laughs> There's just a lot of messages going on right now. A drill of the eon of beauty is long dead. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, I do know some of the eons are are dead and deceased. And you can only see them again in Simian Universe. Um, Nuance is a supercomputer that got turned into an eon. Oh, so no wonder it looks like a robot. Really? Now, so... A a whole ass program got turned into an eon. That's scary to think about. Hmm. It's okay if you don't know it, and... Uh, you know if you don't... And you don't if you don't, that's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll get context to, like, all of these, like, down the line when I play some more of Star Rhea and, like, learn a bit more about the lore and whatnot, but... Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> this is a really, really good trailer. For, yeah, for both lore reasons, and also because, yeah, it pretty much teases what's ahead in the in Star Rail, essentially. Holy shit, 40 viewers. Hey, well, what's up, guys? Yeah, we're in the middle of watching pretty much all of the Star Rail uh, trailers from the beginning uh, till recent times. And yeah, we just finished watching the Myriad uh, Celestia trailer, Fables About the Stars Part 1. Holy shit, yeah. I kind of wait for more of these, like, Celestia trailers, because I do see there's another one here with Kafka in it, but I'll save watching that until we get up to that part uh, in uh, our watch through here. The first member of the Genius Society created Noose. Oh, the propagation is also long dead. Ah, okay, okay. So pretty much I have to, like, <laughs> like figure out which eons are dead and which ones are still living. I see. I just want to ask why you play with the dub? Oh, because I like the dub. I think the dub of Honkai Star Rail is really, really superb. That's why, yeah, that's why I stick with it. Okay, but yes, uh, what... Um, oh, there's another Mi uh, Myriad Celestia teaser or trailer. Sh should I watch this one next? I, I think we can... Or should I watch these ones? Yeah, should I watch uh, this one? Uh, I think I, I can skip the Express Travel Notes. Yeah, should I watch the Knowing the Universe, or should I skip straight to the next Myriad Celestia tra uh, yeah, trailer? I'm, I'm sorry, there's just a lot of messages going on right now that I can't read them all. Sorry, let, let me, like, scroll up. Eons being that follow the path so closely that they become an embodiment of that path. Okay, I, I know that much. There's, like, 17 of them. 17 eons, okay. And we have, like, what, 14 that are in the Simian universe? So there's, like, what, three we still don't know about. Skip this one? Uh, okay, should I skip knowing the universe and then just jump to, the, yeah, Myriad Celestia? Skip it? All right. So, yeah, I just jumped immediately to the next Myriad Celestia uh, trailer, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do just that then. Okay, this is another four minute uh, trailer, and I'm assuming we're going we're to get a bunch of lore dumps here as well. I'm excited for these ones, actually. But yeah, okay. Oh, let me pause right here. History of the Sienjo, Seven and the Arbiter Generals. Oh, oh, isn't, isn't this like a... Seven Arbiter Generals, that's like all the previous generals of the Sienjo, and Jing Yuan is like the current one, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're gonna learn a lot more about the Sienshu for this one. I'm excited, okay. All right, but yeah, let's play this uh, right now and uh, see what more lore dumps are gonna be dropping on us. The Sienjo oh. have very few legends. For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? Oh, there is one oh right, because yeah, they live pretty much forever. Still be recounted. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. Hmm. It began 8,000 years ago. Whoa, who is this? With the emperor of an ancient kingdom. Oh, the emperor, the emperor okay. Legacy and immortality. He sent our Sienjo ancestors into the astral seas. And through the boundless... Do you like his art style? Sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. Hey, this art is super cool looking. Oh, that's the, the oh, that's the abundance. Traces of the divine. The plagues often revealed themselves, 
and offered an immeasurable lifespan. Oh yeah, and so the was born was the uh, eons of abomination, or Those the abominations of abundance. Lifespan became the deathless doom. So that's how the tree got there, the Sienjo. Ah, and then they turned to Marstruck. The alliance's long and peaceful years were lost in sickness, treachery, blood, Jesus. and tears. At the very precipice of the Sien Oh yeah, existence, and Landa Hunt destroyed the, the tree. The Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling alliance. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos... Okay, so yeah, I know about the story because I played the Sienjo story. Mandate. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. <laughs> Dude, this storyteller is going hard, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Six Generals of Renown. I love how fucking deep his voice is. And swift. Is Fei Xiao. Fei Xiao. The Yaoqing. Oh. Strong and righteous is Hua Yen. The, the Zhuming. Heart. I'm guessing, are these the titles of like the previous generals? Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Guang. The, the Yuchui. Strategist. Hmm. Mighty and powerful is Xuan Quan. The Fangu. The Sage Queller. The Sage Queller. What does that mean? Serious and fair is your Wu, the Patina Justice. The Shuling. Hmm. Wise and brave is Jing Yuan. Oh, the Law Fu. Oh, foresight. okay. Now I get the it. Okay. I think I do, anyways. Wield extraordinary power. Oh, he like lightning lord. Intelligent and visionary Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by. Foes. Oh, the current generals for each ship. Okay. I thought it was like the previous ones, like Jing Yuan was talking about. Right. So there, there's a Law Fu and the other ships, the essentially. Soon, with crushing loss, were met. Oh uh, yep, <laughs> there's the man himself. One heart in mind, or skillful sleight of hand. Yeah, I'm really curious about Jing Wan's lion there. The we never see that lion in game. I'm assuming he has just like a pet lion just lying somewhere. Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Cool. Quite the story, Master Gong Shu. Master Gong Shu. Oh wait, isn't that where have I heard Gong Shu before? I, I'm sure I've heard of Gong Shu before, but I don't remember where I heard it from. Hmm. That was a yeah, that was a little interesting lore dump. The lion is dead? Aw. Really? Oh man. Really? The lion's dead? I thought. I thought the people on the Sea Entry live for a long time. Or oh, it does it only apply to people? Does it not apply to animals either? Or did it get killed in some way? Aww, that, that sucks. That's sad. <laughs> Pikani Arc in Saria will be written by Xiaoji, who wrote Honkai 3rd Part 1. Ah. Oh yeah, I think I've also heard that, um, that writer is infamous for killing off Himiko. In, uh... Yeah, in Honkai 3rd. So, yeah, 2.0 of HSR might be extremely, extremely dark, <laughs> is what you're saying. Line has the same story as Hachiko. I don't know who Hachiko is. That was Lorcha. Narrator was a guy from the Deer Boss area. Oh, right, right, right. Master Gongshu, right. <laughs> that guy, that guy. Xiaoji, do not get near Himiko. <laughs> You'd imagine how pissed off the fandom would be if they just decided to kill off Himiko again after bringing her back. Like, like yeah, if I was a fan of uh, Honkai 3rd, I would be pissed as well. <laughs> Not just 2.0, but maybe 2.2. Oh yeah, because yeah, the uh, Trailblaze quest is going from 2.0 to 2.2. And then 2.3 is like the epilogue, right? Yeah. 
All the characters in the Elysia arc, he killed them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so this guy doesn't mess around when it comes to storytelling, so we should be very much afraid for our characters in the Star Rail. And yeah, Star Rail has, like, killed off Ting Yun, so... Yeah, Star Rail doesn't have a problem like Genshin does, where, like, they kill off a playable character, and then you can still play said playable character. Yeah, they don't have a problem with that at all. So yeah, be very, very afraid for the characters in 2.0. Hey, Jesus has the, uh, the Avengers moment around the event, the anniversary. VTW, Hua is the Marshal of the Sienjo, which is Fu Hua XP on Honkai Impacts. Oh. I don't think I've met a, a character named Hua yet. Um, if so, then I'm struggling to remember them. 2.3 will be the equivalent of Ting Yun's funeral quest. Okay, I see. Oh god. <laughs> so let's hope we don't have to give another funeral in uh, in 2.3. Oh goodness. I'm already dreading that. But yeah, this was an interesting, very yeah, very interesting lore dump of uh the Sienjo. I mean I already know most of it because I did play the trailblaze mission. But yeah, it's interesting to see the other generals of the uh of the Sienjo. Yeah, very, very interesting. Hachiko was the pet of a Japanese old man. The dog... Oh, right, right, I have heard that story. So yeah, it's based off of real life. Yeah, and the dog wait there on the train, and then eventually it passed away. They actually have a statue about that dog in... um, Yeah, in, uh, in Japan, I think. I see. Plus, in assignment, you should check out the box material as a quote from Hua. Even the MC wasn't safe. More generals to be made playable in the future. Yeah, I hope we do get the other generals as playable characters. It will be interesting to see like what they are like as compared to Jing Yuan. But alrighty, that's uh, yeah, we're done with the Sienjo. Uh, yeah, Miri Celestia teaser. Um, next up, I think I'll, yeah, this, uh, animated short, and also Jing Yuan's trailer, I think I'll watch next. Yeah, this animated short, this is pretty, pretty much, um, like, yeah, they, they commissioned, like, their, uh, anime studio to, to make this, and it's, like, four and a half minutes long, so, I'm very curious to see what we'll, we'll see in this. Yes, yeah, in, in Shibuya, yeah. Lion waited for Jingyuan until, uh, until he returned like centuries later and then died. Oh, that's sad. Man, yeah, I could never abandon my pet like that. I, 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 just, I, I just could never. Yeah, that's... That's depressing, yeah. If you want to learn about the lion, ask Jingyuan's secretary about uh, gossips until she speaks of uh, the lion. Okay, then... Maybe I'll do that. Like, yeah, once we're once we're done not watching all these teasers and whatnot. But alrighty, let's watch this animated short now. A flash and has uh, Jing Yuan on, on the thumbnail. So I'm assuming this like may be a, like a flashback to his past or something. But yeah, since this is animated, I'm very very curious to see what the animation style is going to be like. But alrighty, yeah, let, let's go ahead and watch this in three, two. One, let's go. Behoyo anime. Or before they were known as Hoyoverse. <laughs> Whoa, what the f. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, oh those are bodies. Oh, Jing Liu. Wait, wait, is is it Jing Yuan versus Jing Liu? Oh my god, J Jing Liu, what the fuck did you do? <gasps> Heed this oath. As clouds that cover the heavens. Oh, what the, the Oh, flashback? Straw. Yes, master. Oh. Big <laughs> baby Jing Yuan? <laughs> Is oh yes, yeah, Jingle like corrupted or something? Oh shit! Oh shit, anime! Holy shit! Hold firm. A 
Cloud Knight must never let slip their way. Okay, so Jing Li must be extremely old then. Yes, Master! Like way older than Jing Yuan. Yeah, because she, she seems evil now, Jing Liu. Oh my god! This is like some MAPPA animation right here, holy shit! Whoa! Okay, that time. Master, he doesn't recognize us. Oh shit. With the to become stricken with Mara is to be a long life species. If I too become stricken in times hereafter, you must not hold back. Oh, is that what happened? Master. Oh, she became Mara struck. I, that makes sense. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, the fucking animation quality of this though. Holy shit, this this is a high fast fight. <laughs> uh, so it's yeah, it's master versus students, but the master's corrupted. Holy shit! Oh my god, the fucking music as well, it's still so good. Holy shit, that shot though! Aww. But then, Genie's still alive in the game, so... what happened? 9,996? 9,997? Aww, now here he is training... Yanching. A cloud knight must never let slip their weapon. That's sweet. Nor let slack in their form. <laughs> Though... You'll have to grow a little taller before the knights will have you. <laughs> I want to be like you, General. I want to be a famous Yanjo legend. <laughs> you do. It is a difficult road. But that's the road you took, right, General? Yeah, it's a very painful road. Don't think you want the same thing, Yancheng. <laughs> General? <laughs> Seeing as you're so full of fighting spirit. Yeah. I won't hold back. Man. Holy shit. That was a good ass freaking trailer. Holy shit. And this is what the Genshin anime is gonna look like. I am so, so hyped for it. But. Wait, no, 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 no. The, the, uh. Genshin anime is under MAPPA, right? And yeah, pretty much Hoyo themselves made this. That just makes me question, why doesn't Hoya just make the Genshin anime themselves? I guess maybe they needed a bigger company in order to make a full-ass anime, other than just, you know, an animated short, but still, their animation quality of that... Oh, it, it, it was so good. The fucking emotion, the music, the fucking animation, everything about this was so, so good. That's another like for me. That, that was a good, good-ass trailer, holy shit. Jingli found a way to control her Mara corruption? Okay, so I guess that's why she's still alive now. When you use the Japanese dub, the female MC is Mikasa, Yanching's Armin, Walter's Reiner, Jingmen's Erwin. Okay. <laughs> I know my friend uh, that loves Attack on Titan is definitely gonna love that. Get your anime's hand of Oh, you fought about, right? You fought about, not Mappa. <laughs> Mappa is in charge of like, a lot of other things right now. Right, sorry. I got too confused. Jingyuan's VA hopes that Yanqing will one day have to kill Jingyuan when he's Mashrak and bring us all full circle. I don't want that though. I don't want Jingyuan to die. Like, no, can we can we just not do this cycle again? Like, Jingyuan had to freaking down Jing Liu. Can we not have that happen again? Uh, but knowing Hoyo, they're just gonna make it sad somehow. Like they always do. <laughs>
You should go in game, assignments, character materials, roots, uh, root out turpide. You'll find Hua. Okay, then, yeah, I'll do that, like, much later on. You have to react to the Honkai Impact third animation short. I think we just did, like, earlier. The, um, the one that, uh, pretty much was, a. Uh, yeah, the, uh, that was pretty much like a prototype or like a concept for Honkai Star Rail, right? Yeah, we, we did watch that earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. I miss you. Glad you're playing Honkai Star Rail now. Still excited? I mean, I've always been playing Honkai Star Rail. I just prioritize Genshin over Star Rail because, uh, yeah, that's what my main channel's content's all about. But I'm slowly, slowly but surely moving towards Star Rail because... Yeah, I'm just having more fun with it, honestly. Not, not to say Genshin isn't fun, but Star Rail, I'm having a blast with it so far. Yeah, we already did watch a concept video earlier. Uh, I think the Genshin anime will be very long because the Fodable will be just announced that they will be working on the new Nasuverse anime. Namely, I don't know how you say those. I'm not going to pronounce those because... <laughs> That's a very long name to pronounce. Try to react to the uh, Thus Spoke Apocalypse. The Apocalypse? Okay, for, for one, like I, I kind of want to go through all the trailers on the Honkai Sorry YouTube channel first. And then anything after that, like after the 2.0, like after we get through all the Honkai Star Rail trailers, then, then yeah, I'll, I'll see what uh, videos you, you guys want me to react to. Yeah. Also, at this rate, um, yeah, I, I think uh, since at the at the rate we're going right now, this might take up the whole stream. Like earlier at the beginning of the stream, I said if we had time after watching all the videos, I would do the Doctor Ratio Trailblaze mission. It seems that <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to do it today because of how much we have left. So yeah, maybe I'll do the Doctor Ratio tra Trailblaze mission another time. Does a Honkai third stuff kick W? Yeah, I'll stick to Honkai Star Rail stuff for now. Anything Honkai third related, I think I'll do like on a different day or after I'm done watching all the Star Rail videos. But yeah. Okay, next trailer. Uh, next up, uh, yeah, it's Jing Yuan's trailer. So yeah, this is the second character demo after uh, Sila's, I believe. And yeah, of course, uh, Sayu did react to it, who is the VA of, uh, yeah, of uh, Jing Yuan. And also, yeah, I do know about the whole Monarch and Sayu rivalry, <laughs> so it's pretty much canon in the game as well. I kind of, like, enjoy that little detail. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick on Honkai Star Rail for now, and then, uh, yeah, do Honkai Third stuff maybe at a different day or something. But alrighty, Jing Yuan's trailer, Heaven and Earth as a chessboard. Two minutes, uh, same as all the other trailers. But yeah, let's go ahead and watch this trailer. And uh, well, I'm pretty much no Jing Yuan as a character, but yeah, we'll see what this trailer has to show more about him. Alrighty. Oh, your verse. Hmm. Oh, hey, Jing Yuan's uh, playing chess against Yan Cheng. <laughs> so, have you decided yet? Your turn, General. I'm assuming that's... Wait, no, that's, that's not chess. That must be like a different game or something. A little too naive. Oh. It is a warrior's game. Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> Starting off with a banger, I see. Oh, he sees this all as a chess game. <laughs> Like, under, like, all his battles, he sees them as a chess game. That's kind of cool. Depicting him as a general. <laughs> Ooh, his music, though. I like how heavy the freaking drums are. Oh, yeah, this, this animation, though. Holy shit. These visuals are... <laughs> Oh yeah, and the freaking deer. Time for the master stroke. Oh yeah. Oh my god, why can't we have this Jing Yuan in game? I mean we kinda do, but still. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. <laughs> Have 
Have you memorized all that? <laughs> Got it yes, memorized. Very good. But only when you've forgotten it will you be ready. What? What? So then... Huh? <laughs> Carol, you're stealing pieces again! <laughs> I'm also a bit confused on that. What? You got it memorized? Good. Once you forget it, you, you don't, you'll be, you'll be ready. Just like, what? Why, why you make a mem, why you make me memorize it if you just want me to forget it? Like, okay. Speaking of riddles, I see. Honestly, yeah, this does make me want to pull for Jing Yuan. Yeah, he's getting a rerun in 2.0, but there's also, uh, Black Swan and Sparkle that I also do really want to pull for. It's like, yeah, it's, being an F2P in this game is rough, I tell you. Axel reference, nice, yeah. As you can see, I get played, the yeah. A lot of Kingdom Hearts. But then we can't meme when Lightning Lord is just after the cycle limit. Oh yeah, true, I do know that's like one of the problems of Jing Yuan. <laughs> Yeah, remember? Yeah, the whole Helio by like cutscene here. I remember Jing Yuan freaking standing up against uh, Sierra. So that was super badass. Yeah, Don Hong IL is getting a rerun too, but I, I already have him, so I don't think I need to pull for him as well. But I know some other people are gonna be really struggling with the banners at 2.0. It's, it's just, yeah, the, the Hawkeye Star Rail cast is so, so cracked that you just want every single character, even though you don't need them. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, my current characters are good, but goddamn if I don't want Jing Liu. Like, yeah, I want everybody else. So I, I want Luocha, I want freaking Blade, I want, yeah, just everybody. <laughs> and it's hard to do that as an F2P. Okay, maybe next time. Maybe next time when I have enough Jades, I might pull for Jing Yuan. But alrighty, that was Jing Yuan's trailer. That was really, really good. Yeah, I can already tell these trailers are improving as quality as time goes by. Like yeah, like Genshin, e each trailer is like like, like more of a banger than the re than the uh, last. Okay, but uh, what's up next? Uh, Multi versus Vista trailer. Should I watch this one, guys? Um, I I'm gonna skip these two because uh. Oh yeah, and the special program too, because um, we, we're gonna be here all day if I uh, watch all those ones. But yeah, should I watch these multiverses? Multiverses? What? The, no, that game died. <laughs> what am I talking about? Hang on. Uh, Multiverse Vistas trailer. Should I watch this or should I skip straight to the 1.1 trailer? Holy shit, 53, <laughs> 53 viewers. Hi, where did you guys all come from? Holy shit. Hi, welcome to the stream. My name is Space Edge, and uh, you're going to see me play a lot more Genshin and uh, Star Rail from now on. So yeah, subscribe today if you want to see some more of uh, Yeah, some more of that for me. And also follow me on my Twitch channel if you want to see me play uh, Persona 3 Reload. That's coming out this week. No. Skip. Go to Civil Wolf trailer. 1.1. 1.1. The Civil Wolf trailer, there's a scene where Civil Wolf plays... Okay, don't spoil it for me now. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> mostly, these are mostly just 360 introductions to the area. 1.1, 1.1, 1.1. .1. More Genshin and Star Rail. Um, yeah, honestly, uh, yeah, when 4.4 does come out for Genshin, I will play that first. But then after I, I'm done with Genshin, I'll go back to Star Rail. As I always do, really. 1.1 trailer. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do the 1.1 trailer then. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip the multi uh, yeah, verse Vistas one. Alrighty, but yeah, this is the very, very first trailer, or the very first update of uh, Honkai Star Rail. Three minutes long, alright. Version 1.1. And yeah, keep in mind, I wasn't here for any of the special programs for Honkai Star Rail, and the only one I've captured so far, or caught up to, is uh, the 2.0 special program. So yeah, I've not seen 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, all of those until... Yeah, 2.0. But alrighty, let's watch, yeah, version 1.1's trailer, Galactic Roaming, in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Your fake ID info is ready. Oh, your verse. Oh, yeah, this is the update where Silver Wolf was released, right? <laughs> she, <laughs> she's vandalizing. Alright, let's get going. We have to move quickly. Not what we're looking for. 
Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, this is the update where Silver Wolf's released. <laughs> Time for a bug. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, hurts, huh? But challenge me? Good luck. Oh, what's that all about? <laughs> Do those who have a rivalry? Oh, yeah, the museum event was also live in this update as well. Oh, yeah, that's Skrullum, right? Is... Was this the first time we got introduced to Skrullum? Yeah, the museum event. I, I did this event. Yeah, that is Skrullum. I'm assuming this, that, that's like the first time you see him. Oh yeah, and Lawatcha as well. Hmm, so these are the suspects. <laughs> AKA Auto, as most people call him. Let's settle this. Enough talk. Have it. Oh yeah, there's the music drop I've been waiting for. Oh, oh. Oh, Wells here as well. Never let your guard down in front of your enemy. Oh yeah, Yukong was also released in this update too. Dude, this music though, holy shit. Oh wait, Jing, wait. Wait, Jing Lee wasn't in 1.1, was she? Oh yeah, pretty much all the events. Yeah, the museum events, which I found super fun. And a bunch of other mini games that I missed out on because I wasn't here. Uh, yeah, playing Star Rail when uh, 1.1 was live. That was a pretty good trailer, honestly. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that music just went hard there. <laughs> yeah, definitely not, not auto. Oh, yeah, and this freaking light cone. Apparently, this is like the best light cone for Silver Wolf, and I missed out on it because I wasn't here. Uh, yeah, for Star Rail when this event was live. Uh, unfortunate. If anything, it's gonna be like the festering desire, and we're never gonna see it again. Ugh. Had Jing Liu? Yanchi's companionship quest. Oh, okay. So she wasn't actually playable he here. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and click off before YouTube demonetizes me for that thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty good trailer. That's that's uh, yeah, super super good. It seemed mostly focused on Silver Wolf and Lorcha, which makes sense because they, yeah, they were like the newly released characters. I mean, we have seen Skrulum since 1.1 and we don't have him yet. Yeah, I wonder when Skrulum's going to be playable. I'm assuming he's going to be playable at some point because he has a killer freaking design. <laughs> yeah, he's like a robot in a trench coat. I, I don't know why, just something about him is just so cool looking. The reason why the character's name Silver Wolf is because Hoiverse used Bronya's design when she was 14 years old in Honkai 3rd, and Honkai 3rd Bronya was named Silver Wolf. Ah, I see. And yeah, and I do know uh, Bronya and Silver Wolf are pretty much, yeah, both Bronya's from Honkai 3rd, but for some reason the game just never brings that up. <laughs> yeah, not a Silver Wolf trailer. Yeah, we're going to go to that one next. 6.2 million views. And then, yeah, afterwards, uh,. And then, yeah, we'll, I think, yeah, we'll go Silver Wolf's trailer, Luocha's trailer, because I think we can skip the rest of these. And then version 1.2. Oh, okay, Yukong doesn't have her own trailer. I'm guessing because she's a four star. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go Silver Wolf's trailer now. Silver Wolf, got a date. Not a two minute trailer. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What the fuck? Wait, isn't this Hawkeye third? <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. Let's play this from the beginning now. Yeah, we can we can skip the rest of those trailers, uh, right? Yeah, well, I'll jump immediately to the Watch Us trailer after Silver Wolves, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, Silver Wolves trailer, got a date. Uh, watching right now. Yeah, that, isn't that Hawkeye 3rd? What the? What in the holy mother of... Fourth wall breaks is this. Oh wait, Kafka's trying to call her. <laughs> As for missions, I can do this in my sleep. Whoa, okay. Whatever. The fucking Let's bass drop though. The anti-matter legion. <laughs> okay, oh yeah. <laughs> Fan server shot. Just a couple of small fries. <laughs> 
<laughs> is this what she sees through her visor like all the time? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, yeah, I left this like super arcadey like trailer. Yeah, I guess it's a uh, really, really fit Silver Wolf. Oh my god, I wish it could inflict weakness bugs on like every enemy. <laughs> oh. Big horse man. Why do low levels make the most noise? <laughs> Full combo! Ultimate! Come back in a century. Bam! <laughs> Yeah, I'm so glad I pulled for several wall on us. She's she's awesome. Oh, what's this at the end here? Holy shit! Wanted for how much now? By the IPC? How many zeros is that? Okay, so that's million fifty-one billion? Is that am I counting that right? Holy shit, several, what the fuck did you do to get a fifty-one million bounty on your ass? Holy shit. Civil Wolf's uh, title was changed. It was interesting, but I like the hour. I like the one hour they changed to got a date. Hmm. You're gonna lose Elio told me. <laughs> She's playing herself in another universe. Yeah, what's with her playing Honkai third? <laughs> right there. Like that's that's a that's a massive like wall break right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are the lore implications of that? <laughs> Wait, what did Kafka say there? Hang on. You there, darling? You there? Nope. You're about to lose. Elio told me. Oh, bruh. <laughs> bruh, Kafka fucking trolling several holes. <laughs> okay, I, I I missed that the first time around, but I'm so glad I caught it. <laughs> yeah, back around. Yeah, 5.1 billion. Holy shit. Okay, I thought it was 51 billion, but yeah, 5.1 makes a bit more sense. What did she do? What did she do to get that amount of bounty? I mean, she's a Sauron hunter, sure, but... Yeah, what what else has she done to accumulate that bounty? By the way, the, the Hoyoverse CEO is also Bronya? I thought it was Dawei. Isn't Dawei the CEO of Hoyoverse? Sadly, she used to be able to add weaknesses to more than one enemy in the beta. Oh, oh. In the oh, so in the beta, she was, was able to add weaknesses to everybody? Not just one target? I guess they had to change it to, to, to nerf her. Otherwise, she'd be, like, literally the most busted 5-star in the game, but... Ah, that sucks. Well, she's a hacker, she did something sus. Kafka is the woman on her call address. Really? Wait, where can you see her call address? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, when she, like, hangs up on her. <laughs> yeah, I see that. The woman. <laughs> like, if you look at it backwards, that that's funny. No, he's just a psych character. <laughs> Kafka has the highest bounty so far. Don't know about Sam's worth, though. But yeah, Sam's uh, another part of the Silent Hunters that we have not seen, right? Yeah, he's a Salaman Hunter 2 that we'll meet in 2.0. He has a boss fight uh, in the 2.0 trailer, so I wonder what he's all about. Dawi got kicked out, now Bronya's is the CEO. What? <laughs> I can't tell if this is like an inside joke that I'm not getting, or if you guys are like being literal right now. <laughs> but alrighty, that about does it for Silver Wolf's uh, trailer. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and skip every other trailer here, because um, I think... Uh, I don't think we need to... Yeah, we don't need to watch the Keeping Up With Star Rail ones because they're just a summary of their kit. And... Yeah, these ones are just accolades and the... Yeah, just showing off Star Rail and, like, various other... Uh, like, game shows and whatnot. So, yeah. We're gonna quickly go ahead and skip to Luocha's trailer. Uh, A.K.A. Auto, as a lot of people refer to him as. I am. I'm honestly very interested in Luocha. We didn't see him much in the Trailblaze mission, and I have not started his companionship quest if he has one. So I'm very curious about him. He probably has like the most mysterious past, at least to me, out of all these Star Rail characters. So yeah, can we just see what he's all about? You can search CEO Branya. 
Sam's the only Sauron hunter that has been mentioned uh, by other Sauron hunters or their stories. In Civil Wars Quest, uh... Okay, I'm not gonna read that, uh, because I haven't played Civil Wars Quest yet. I don't, I don't want any spoilers for, like, any of the companionship quests, because I will remind you, I've not played a single companionship quest so far. I've only played the Trailblaze missions, and the, and the, uh, events, like Ethereum Wars, and, uh, Fikester Garden and whatnot. You should just save this and watch later. Okay, I'll, I will keep in mind, then, to, uh, search up C or Branya, um, after we're done here. Lord has a companionship quest, and Jing Liu's quest also includes him. Okay, can't wait to get to that then when I do get through all companionship quests. But yes, let's go ahead and watch Lorcha's trailer now. The Traveler and his Oath. Uh, two minutes long, like uh, all the other trailers, and uh, yeah, let's see what he's all about. I'm honestly super, super interested in him. Whoa. Animation. The days and years pass us like the wind. Okay, never mind, it's... Okay, I thought it was animation for a second there. The warning before the journey still Whoa. rings in my ears. What the heck? Guard your road. I still want to know who's in that coffin. Your oath. Lorcha. Out among the stars. The undercurrent swells beneath the tide. Huh. Yeah, super super ominous or mysterious music going on here. I do not believe for, for a second you're a traveling merchant. There's more to you than meets the eye. That which has been lost will be reclaimed. That which is seized must be repaid. Oh no! <laughs> not the fox girl! Fear not. <laughs> Okay, there's a bit of false advertising because Lordra's not a DPS. He's a healer, is he not? The dead will return! Yeah, I love using his ultimate from my friends. It's hard for a wanderer to find rest in this world. Hmm. But I still need a pair of eyes. Who's in the coffin? To witness your promise. <laughs> Who's in the box? Who's in the goddamn box? Okay, so I went in with the Lorcha trailer expecting answers and I just came out with more questions. Super, super mysterious. I do not believe for a second the Lorcha is a just, just a traveling merchant. Yeah, he's probably like the most mysterious character and like probably the one character in the game that I want to know more about. Honestly. Yeah, I can't wait to, until we get to this companionship quest, and maybe some of my questions will be answered. Obviously, he sucks because he's Otto's XP. Yeah, and isn't Otto like one of the main villains in the Honkai in Honkai Third? Yeah, I will say his trailer's beautiful, but it just kind of I don't know just made him a bit more mysterious. I'm guessing I had to play the game itself to in order to get those questions answered, obviously, but. Yeah, that's Lorcha's trailer for you guys. He gives me Knights of Beauty vibes. Honestly, he does. And I will say, he has a very, very pretty design. His ult dispels debuffs. Uh, good against Marstruck guys. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, honestly, I do want to get Lorcha as well. <laughs> Again, I want to get everybody, but Lorcha, I feel like, will be helpful to my account. Because, you know, he's an extremely good healer and a yeah, debuff, a debuff dispeller. But there you go, that's the Watcher's trailer for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> left me with more questions than answers, but uh, yeah, hopefully those questions get answered when I do play his uh, uh, companionship quest down the line. Yeah, I really wonder what his endgame is. Because he, at the end of the Sienjo, like the Sienjo epilogue, wasn't he teaming up with uh, Jing Liu? wonder what that's all about. But yeah, once again, play his companionship quest to find out, which I will do when I uh, have time for the head. Okay, but uh, who's the next trailer after Luochos? Uh, okay, the 1.2 trailer. Um, yeah, you know what? I I'm going to watch all these uh, version trailers just to see uh, what they're all about. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll skip over the uh, Keeping with Star Rail ones. And yeah, go immediately to version 1.2. I'm kind of excited for this one, actually, because I think a lot of people were super, super hyped for 1.2. Like, yeah, there was a lot of buzz about it, like, online. Uh, even even me, who was playing Genshin only, like, when 1.2 came out, like, even I heard about 1.2 and, like, about the hype all around it. The question's never going to be answered. Well, <laughs> well, uh, I guess maybe not, but hopefully I le at least learn a bit more about Luwacha. Blade? Uh, no, no we'll, we'll watch the version trailers, because I think, uh, I mean, even though they're going to show what I've already seen, I might as well, uh, yeah, give them a watch, just see how good they are. Because, yeah, usually these version trailers are, like, super, super good. So, yeah, I'll watch the version 1.2 trailer, and then, uh... And then, yeah, we'll, we'll do Blades right after. Um, yeah, this is the update where Blade and Kafka came out, right? Yeah, I believe so. Blade, Kafka, and I think Luca? Yeah, Luca came out in this update too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. People were waiting for Kafka ever since she first appeared. And yeah, I guess this, this is where she uh, finally appeared for all those uh, simps. But yeah, here we go. Watching the version 1.2 trailer, even immortality ends. The rules of this game are like reality. We all Speaking of Kafka. Yep. But when you really analyze it, every question and answer is constrained by previous choices. Relax. <laughs> Eat this SMG. And for a neutral special, she wields a gun. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Time to say bye. Okay, that, that's our boss attack. She doesn't, she, her playable itself doesn't do that. Oh yeah, I'm guessing this is like also an expansion of the Cien Show. <laughs> holy shit, Blade, how'd you get up there? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I would attack this man if I were you guys. Release your full potential. Oh, yeah. oh, in Biver Luna as well, right? Yeah. Actually, wait, no, wasn't in Biver Luna in 1.3? Oh, yeah, and also the yeah the new area and the Fantilia boss fight I think was in this update as well. All three of you are staying right here. Dude, this is such a hype trailer. Now, part, part of me was, would have liked to watch this before I did Star Rail. Yep, and there she is, Fantilia. Even immortality ends. Oh yeah, Lucas in this update as well. <laughs> okay, but he wasn't in the trailer. Yeah, th those are the three playable characters, right? Yeah, Luca, Kafka, Blade. To <laughs> the Yay line for Star Rail. Oh yeah, in Bible okay, in Bible Lune was in yeah, 1.3. But yeah, this is a pretty good trailer, honestly. I mean, yeah, I pretty much knew all the stuff going into this because I've already caught up with Star Rail in terms of story, but still. I still enjoyed it nonetheless. Okay, I'm assuming they're just gonna show like all the events that uh that was in this update. Oh yeah, the the new artifacts also came out as well. New relic sets, yada yada yada. Okay, but yeah, that was a pretty good trailer. Okay, but uh now as one of you guys have been looking forward to, yes, next up on our uh, watch list here is a uh, yeah Blades trailer, Death approaches, and then after that it's uh. Okay, yeah, then, then we'll go Blade's trailer, Kafka's trailer, with, even though I've already seen it. I'll still see it anyways. And then, ooh, another Myriad Celestia trailer. And then 1.3, and then, yeah, we'll just make our way down from here. But yes, let's go ahead and watch uh, Blade's trailer next, Death Approaches. Honestly, Blade is probably one of the coolest characters in this game, I gotta be honest. Like, he has, he has such a cool design and everything. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just very much interested in the Edge Lords. This is just like in most games. 
Even Immortality Land Blade, that's a goddamn lie. Argenti is the best trailer? Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, we're slowly making up the list of all the character trailers, but yeah, now we're gonna be watching Blade's trailer. Uh, also two minutes. Okay, I'm assuming all these trailers are gonna be like two minutes or so. Death approaches. And yeah, I can't wait to see him here, because honestly, Blade, I'm super interested in him. Like, both his design and also his uh, whole, like, aesthetic going on, and also <laughs> just his edgy personality. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see more Blade when I do play, like, yeah, more companionship quests. But yeah, here we go. Blade's trailer. Death approaches. Playing now. Oh. Oh, wow. He just kind of just leaves those flowers in his mist. Wanted. Dead or alive. Ooh. Yeah, no, I would not try and kill this man if I were you. My sword will be the last thing you see. Blade. Oh wait. Oh, My hang on. Sword will be the last thing. Bounty. Eight one eight point one three billion. Okay, so she's he's worth more than Silver Wolf. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Already liking this trailer. Also, yeah, Damon Mills just does such, does such a good job voicing him. I like, yeah, I like his voice very, very much. They've fallen too far for their luck. Yeah, this is <laughs> holy shit. This is like giving me vibes of like, yeah, this is like a uh, very similar to like Shao's uh, character demo from Genshin. Like it's like super, super edgy. Oh, but peaceful in a way. Wait, was that Blade with white hair? Oh, Imbira Luna. <laughs> Wait, no, um, Imbira Luna, that's how you say his name. Oh, shit! Wait, hold up, did Donald just freaking stab this man? Oh, he did, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! He just fucking thrust that sword into him! Oh my god, wait, they're fighting! <laughs> Until your sin is cleansed, my vengeance will pursue you. Holy, okay, I was not expecting Blade versus Don Hung. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's a cool fucking shot. <laughs> okay, Star Rail. God damn, okay. And here I thought Jing Yuan's trailer was good. This one's even better. Yeah, I was not expecting a whole ass fight scene with Don Hung here. Yeah, what was this? I'm guessing this fight happened like before Don Hung joined the Astro Express. Like it may so, so maybe Blade has been hunting Don Hung for a good while now. Look at this. He fucking stabs the spear into him. He just like, yeah, I'll take it. I don't care. This does not hurt at all. <laughs> just give me, give me the pain. <laughs> also, I lo fucking love his evil laugh here. Oh my god, that is that is so so good. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, this might be my new favorite trailer. <laughs> yeah, each one, is, each of these trailers is just gonna be my become my favorite trailer just progressively. Holy holy shit. Yeah, even Don Hung has to deal with it. Like, yeah. Did you see, like, as well, like, yeah, the, the, the insane look at in Don Hung's eyes. He, he's really, he's determined to kill this man. Like, holy shit. He wants Blade dead. <laughs> look at those eyes. Holy shit. Yeah, that's probably another new favorite trailer for me. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. That one's just super, super good. Blade has been hunting Don Hung for a while now. He hated Don Fung so much he hallucinates Don Hung. Oh wait, oh this is a hallucination? Oh. Okay, so maybe this fight never actually happened then. Hmm. What becoming Marstruck does to a motherfucker. <laughs> I mean I guess yeah. Like man, how many how many characters are Marstruck in this game? Cause it just it just seemed like a like, yeah, Mario Strike just happens a lot more than it should be doing. <laughs> but yeah, that's Blade's trailer for you all. And yep, yeah, super, super good freaking trailer. Hype as hell, honestly.
<laughs> and yeah, it might be my new favorite trailer until like <laughs> my next favorite comes out or something. Oh, yep, and I th and I think uh, my next favorite is uh, coming up right here. So I have seen Kafka's trailer, but we will watch it again. We will watch it just to. Uh, just for uh just to see just uh just 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 because just because it's cool yeah kafka's trailer a dramatic irony and you guys probably see me play this uh at the beginning of my live streams when i start star rail but yeah this this demo is like the only demo i've seen star rail like before this whole live stream and yeah it's it's kind of what it got me into star rail in the first place if i'm, if I'm not gonna lie i like, get yeah, this whole trailer I think two plates are Marstruck. Oh yeah, Jing Wen. Oh no, 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 Jing Liu and Blade. I think are the only Marstruck characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, might as well, might as well see because yeah, Kafka's trailer is is, is awesome. Yeah, it's too good not to watch again. But yeah, let's have let's give it a watch. Kafka's trailer, a dramatic irony. I've seen this before, but we'll watch it again. Oh yeah, she's like. Oh yeah, she's like killing IPC folks here, right? Yeah, look at look at the visuals here. Don't be afraid. That's just insane. Wasn't it you who invited me? And the violence as well. Ten billion. Holy shit! That's her bounty. I never even noticed that until now. Oh wait, I just realized. Is she? She's commanding the IPC fucks to shoot each other. I never noticed that till now. Yeah, she's like has them under control and then like they're killing each other. Holy shit, Kafka. What the hell? That is metal AF. Oh my god, they're, and they're all just dead. Unless you're more fragile than the silk. Case in point. Holy shit, Kafka. <laughs> Oh my god, nobody can kill this woman. Holy, I think she might be deadlier than Blade. What the hell? <laughs> Bang. Just zero respect. Just dead. Oh yeah, and the fucking... Like the spider webs, I think those are? To wear this one. Holy, whoa, what are the, what the hell? Now then, oh, yep. Where are you Time to say bye. Boom. Boom. Yep. And the violets are still going hard. Sooner or later, the curtain has to fall. As for the ending, <laughs> wanna take a guess? Wanna take a guess if you're a survivor or not? <laughs> oh, never mind, that gunshot says it all. Heads or tails? What's your answer? Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I've seen this trailer before, but it's still good every time I watch it. She's basically orchestrating their own demise. Oh yeah. Cause she does like Yeah, I think she's like a fan of like movies and like violent, judging by her idol animations. Yeah, that is a super, super good good trailer. Yeah, that's a power of her spirit whisper. That's right. Because she like gets into the minds of like whoever she she's trying to control. I guess, uh, yeah, I think that's what her spirit whisper basically is. That was a, like, yep, yeah, fucking 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10, million out of 10 trailer. That, yeah, and probably the trailer that got me into Star Rail in the first place. Yeah, that, that, that fucking violin, though. I'm gonna have to listen to that over and over again. You know, I, I, I've already listened to it like a hundred times before. Yeah, and Elio says that like she's good at creating fear, even though she does not know what what that is. That is frightening to to try and fight a woman who does not know fear at all. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and what brought in all the Sims to uh <laughs> to to pull for her? <laughs> and as most and as uh, one comment says, man, she <laughs> I can fix her, but honestly, she's better <laughs> as she is right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like one comment I see like a lot of people say about Kafka. It's just like, yeah, she I could fix her, but honestly, her being fucked up as is is much more entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Um, hold up. My PS5 turned off because I did not touch it for a while. Um, hold up. <laughs> Let me turn it back on. <laughs>
But yeah, 10 out of 10 trailer, super, super good. <laughs> and yeah, it's just good every time I watch it. Alrighty, but uh, let's see what's next up. <laughs> gatekeep, <laughs> Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> Kafka's a certified girl boss right here. <laughs> I plan most folks don't know what fear is, let alone understand what fear as a concept is. Really now? Okay, then I'm really interested to know where um, Kafka is from. Fix her? She's perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Why fix perfection, you know? And, or another comment. Then. <laughs> I can fix her, or I can just let her ruin me. <laughs> And honestly, I prefer it if she if she just went ahead and ruined me. <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of people said. Yeah, say about her. I do wish we get a male version of Kafka apparently, but doing so would piss off the Kafka community. I don't think it will, because I I think the, yeah most of the male characters in Honka are pretty sim for as is. They don't like Wanderer. I mean, true, but at the same time. <laughs> There's Blade, who's essentially a villain, and a lot of people like him as well. Oh yeah, and okay, next up we have a uh, Myriad Celestia trailer. The Japela Rebellion Scene 47. Okay, so we got another uh, Myriad Celestia teaser right here. Uh, read the description for a cool extra bits. Okay, I will read the description, like, maybe after um we watch the video, but yeah. The, yeah the, oops. Yeah, okay, let's pause right there. Yeah, so essentially the Myriad Celestia teasers are just giant lore dumps. And this one seems to be revolving around Kafka. So, hmm, curious. Curious to see what this one's all about. But yeah, what is the Japalia or Japala Rebellion? Hmm. I guess we'll see. All right, playing it now. Kafka, Stellaron Hunter. How do you plead? Wait. Did she get caught? The crimes you have committed are beyond pardon, but Whoa. the Jepela Brotherhood respects every individual's entitlement to the afterlife. Whoa. Admit your guilt and embrace. Who the fuck punishment. are these guys? Uh, I'm listening. How oh, this is like animated and everything to too. To the following accusations. Well, the other ones are animated too. What am I talking about? You breached the premises of the Atuin Universal Auction, manipulated the guests, decimated the artistic treasures under the gaze of a devout audience, inflicted monetary Holy damage shit. amounting to over 860 billion credits, <laughs> and absconded with the auction item. How did oh, she stole the seller on. Okay. Is charged, but not a devout audience. Oh, she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> the prison of Inupis, stole the Sigma Rod to deactivate the firewall, allowing a flood of data demons to enter reality. Consequently, Jesus. the world toward a judgment day, all in order to... A judgment? What? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so that's why her bounty's 10 billion. I admit it, but those data demons deserve a taste of freedom. And she, and she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> you violated the Ringworld Golconda, disseminated the Philosopher's Poison Virus across all colonies, causing 46 million inorganic entities to turn into rampant machines, what? and stole the steel core from Golconda's point of gravitational equilibrium, silencing the entire world. How do you plead? Oh? Sounds like a page out of the Japella Brothers. Yeah, she just doesn't give a fuck about all the crimes she committed. We took the thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that, that's a fucking goat. A fucking tiger? Who are these people, anyways? The beer point incursion. And so on. A total of 46 criminals. Holy shit. All these malicious incidents. Yeah, why are all these guys animals? <laughs> If you ask me, it seems like the Annihilation Gang has their fingers in quite The Annihilation the Gang? But I confess, it seems you forgot one though. The Japella Rebellion. Oh, what the hell? What does she do? What the f- Oh god, is she killing them? Holy shit, Kafka, what did you do? What the- Oh, she started a rebellion? Holy shit. Wait, that's... That's Please Sam, right? Stop playing with your food, Kafka. Oh, and that's Blade in the background. Oh, no. Okay, so Sam was teasing this trailer first. 
Holy shit, look at that outfit though. Look at the drip. Look at Blade in a suit. And, and Silverwolf holding a gun. And also that black cat. Okay, so I've seen this pointed out everywhere, but people have pointed out that this black cat seems to be everywhere involving the Sauron hunters. Because, yeah, isn't... Yeah, that the black cat is in Kafka's splash yard, and I think he's, I think he's also in a part of Silver Wolves and no, 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 I don't think they are actually. But, but yeah, this this black cat just seems to be appearing everywhere. So people, uh, yeah, from comments I read online, people speculate that this black cat is Elio. Like Elio is this black cat that's that's just follows him everywhere. And I think I seen like you know the light cones that we're getting in 2.0. In one of the light cones with Sam on it, there's also a black cat on it. So people are very much speculating that yeah, Elio is this black cat. Cause yeah, why is he appearing everywhere if he's not like super involved with the cell around? There's also I gotta say <laughs> Yeah, she's like dressing like Makima for from Chainsaw Man. Dude, holy shit, I would so pay for an outfit for Kafka to like wear an outfit like this. And I would also so pay for like Blade to like be wearing a suit. And yeah, Sam look there looking badass as always. So, okay, so here, I'm yeah, I'm assuming this is where he was first teased, uh, Sam, before like, yeah, his official reveal or he officially comes to the game in 2.0. But yeah, holy shit. <laughs> this whole trailer was essentially just listing out Kafka's crimes and how much shit she how much chaos she has caused like throughout the galaxy. <laughs> Which all leads up to the 10 billion bounty that she has. Holy shit. The cat in the window at the corner of the start. Oh wait, what's the cat at the start too? Oh wait, he is! Yeah. Yeah, the cat is here too, behind the judges. Oh, so hmm, that must be Elio then, or somebody, or some, yeah, something related heavily to Kafka. Because yeah, why is this black cat appearing everywhere uh, if it's not related to Kafka at all? Hmm. Either either the cat or possessing it. Yeah, that's what I. That's what a lot of people say too. Hmm. Silver Wolf looks like she's wearing those suits for toddlers. <laughs> yeah, she kind of It kind of does look like that, yeah. And also she's like wearing sunglasses and everything. <laughs> Instead of her usual visor. And I, I don't know why Silver Wolf is holding a gun when she has her technology, but alright. <laughs> Cat is in Kafa Splash Art, Sam's upcoming light cone, and this trailer. Yeah, considering that this black cat seems to be appearing everywhere, this has, has to be Elio or something involving him, right? But yeah, yeah I also can do that. Say this trailer is fucking awesome, and the music and everything, and just the entire Kafka's crime is just yeah, just insane to see. But yeah, this is easily a ten out of ten trailer. I'm gonna leave a like for that one as well. That one's that one was super super good. Scene 47 and the vid description. Oh, right, right. Fuck. Hold up. I'm so sorry. The video description. I forgot I forgot to read that. So thanks for reminding me. Kafka. Kafka. Uh, this is your trailer. Um Okay, so yeah, you guys have to read the description. So let me go ahead and read that. Scene 47. Japala Palace interior sunset destruction. The woman smiled and and looked towards the judge's seats, welcoming their verdict. Uh Oh, is that it? Cuz you guys told me to read the description. Yeah, what's scene 47? Reference script writing format. Hmm. So it seems to be Elio script. Oh, so as an Elio first foresaw this scene coming and basically told Kafka, "Yeah, you're going to escape out of this with no problem." Ah, I see. I love that the spirit whispers uh, to make the Brotherhood not notice their cities on fire. Oh, is that what they're called? The Brotherhood. Those animal-looking dudes. 46 crime and 47 crime. Hmm. Yeah, they even notice that they were under the spirit whispers, like, command until, like, yeah, this part. Rebellion. 
Yeah, and then they are released from the Spirit Whisper, and then just like, oh shit, our city's burning, and you've already won. Yeah, that Spirit Whisper at first is freaking powerful. And yeah, just all the citizens are kind of rebelling, essentially. You should really stop playing with your food. God, Sam's voice sounds freaking awesome. I can't, I cannot wait to see him in a 2.0. He, he seems super, super badass. But yeah, that does it for the Myriad Celestia teaser or trailer for Kafka. <laughs> and holy shit, yeah, this woman, uh, yeah, definitely deserves the 10 billion bounty that she has. Holy shit. But alrighty, uh, what's our next trailer? Okay, the version of 1.3 trailer. Uh, we'll watch this too, why not? Yeah, this is the update where Fushuan Imbiber Luna... Yeah, I think Fushuan Imbiber Luna uh, came into play. Yeah, excuse me. But yeah, we'll watch this one now. Uh, Celestial Eyes Above Mortal Ruins. And yeah, uh, Imbiber Luna came out in this update. Fushuan as well, and I'm... Um, I may be forgetting somebody else, but yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the only ones coming out in this update in, in 1.3. So yeah, let's go ahead and watch it then. We honor those who oh yeah, this is yeah, the funeral for uh we place items of the dead onto star skips. For Tingyun, yeah. And send them out to sail between the stars. To shine brightly among them. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. Yeah, and I think I started playing around here. Yeah, I think I pulled for Kafka and then Fushan was like my second five star. Yeah, I, I really love Fushuan. Her design and her animations are super sick. And also, I just love that she's somewhat of like, like a feisty, like short girl. Oh, yep, and Biber Lune as well. Secret strength, as March would call it. Rise! As you can see, we added a few things to this Oh yeah, isn't this where also Swarm Disaster Lloyd, was initially released? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Swarm Disaster. Simulated universe. The Swarm Disaster! AKA the update that brought in all these annoying ass bugs. Oh yeah, Lynx was also in this update too, I forgot about that. Okay, Luca, Luca, Pela, and Lynx. Okay, why those three? <laughs> why, why are those three facing the uh, swarm disaster? Celestia eyes above mortal ruins. Okay, Lynx was released in this update. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this update was a farewell to Tingyun and also the introduction of swarm disaster. Which I'm still going through, by the way. Uh, I'm currently in the process of uh, going through swarm disaster. I've only completed difficulty level 3 so far. Oh yeah, and it gives like massive lore drops about like the other eons and also the, the propagation. Oh yeah, and also a new Nihili light cone. And all these other events that I missed out on. Because I was busy with Genshin. Alright, that was a pretty cool trailer. Pretty cool. Not as great as the character demos, obviously, but I still found this... Yeah, this trailer enjoyable. Uh... Okay, let me go ahead and read the chat here for a bit. Companionship quests... Oh, no wonder they were in... Okay, so their companionship quests were released in this update. Okay. So that's why they were in the, in the trailer. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, that was a, that's a random trio to just throw in there for uh, Swarm Disaster. But no, yeah, it's because their companionship quests were released in this update. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. By the way, Fushuan's third eye was gifted to her by Noah C. Erudition. Oh, really now? You can still do the events? Oh yeah, I know some of the events are permanent, and I can do them any time, but... Uh, yes, yeah, so the other events... Uh, yeah, some of the other events are, like, limited time, and... Yeah, I can never play them again. Yeah, Swarm Disaster is pretty much similar to Universe DLC. Yeah, endgame stuff, no rush, playing with lore drops. Yeah, and I can't wait to get into that, and also start up Golden Gears as well to learn a bit more lore, a bit more lore about the Eons and whatnot. 
But okay, that does it for the 1.6 a uh, special program. Holy shit, it's been three hours already? It certainly hasn't felt like that. <laughs> Okay, but how much more do we have to go? Because <laughs> if we take way too long, I think we may have to like, resume this on a different day. Hopefully I can yeah, finish this all today, but... Alright, what's next? Oh, in Babylon the Lunay's trailer, okay. Oh, and then also another Myriad Celestia trailer. And then animated short with, with uh, in Babylon the Lunay. Yeah, I'm gonna watch all three of these in a row, so beginning with Don Hung in Babylon the uh, Lunay's trailer. Hold up. Pause, pause. Let me full screen YouTube. A scion. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so YouTube's buggy like that. Like, it just doesn't let me pause in time. But here we go. Don Hung in Biber Lunay's trailer. Also, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Because, yeah, I keep getting confused about the pronunciation of IL. Is it in Biber Lunay or in Biber Lunay? I, I keep, I keep uh, mispronouncing it. <laughs> You're only missing the on the debut rewards? Oh, okay, then. In that case, maybe I'm not missing too much, then. Yeah, we have three more updates. Uh, 1.4, 1 1.5, 1.6, which is the current update. We're almost done? Okay, then hopefully we should be able to finish this all in uh, all in due time. <laughs> Alright, Don Hung in Barbara Lunay's trailer, The Prodigal's Return. Alright, let's give it a watch. A scion of permanence? Hmm. Mbabada Lune, successor of the Azure Dragon, Ooh. commander of the clouds and the rain, tasked with watching over the Ambrosial Arbor. In Whoa. arrogance, invoked the transmutation Arcanum. Okay, so yeah, I know that Don Fung was... Guilty of unpardonable sins. Yeah, that. Punishable. What? By oh, Fantelius here, what? Didn't we already beat you? Okay. Holy shit, life. that fucking splash art though. Oh, and the music too. Fantilia, if you wish to obstruct me, you have to do better. Holy <laughs> shit. I really do love fucking Imbabra Lunay's design. Holy shit. He's so badass. Celestial Dragon. Break! Oh, I'm so glad I pulled for him. No, He's so so cool. Is within your grasp. Oh my god, the music. For a new life. Delve hidden moon, world cleansing dragon. World cleansing dragon, yeah. Oh my god, I love this ultimate so much. Get fucked, Fantilia. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we we do know Fantilli is still out there. Like, even though we beat her in the in the Sienna Lofu, she's still out there. She's not dead per se. So, I'm guessing maybe she comes back in some form uh, to haunt Don Hung or something. Im by Bitor Luni Lune. Okay, I'm guessing that's how. Okay, I'm guessing that's the, the, the correct pronunciation of it. All right. You can just call him Downhung IL if he, if he wants. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that instead. Or just call him Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I do I do know the Star Real community call him Daniel just because his name is so long. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just straight up call him Daniel <laughs> when he is uh, he's in dragon form. This is the director's cut where even Don Hung did some smack talk during the fight. Oh. I felt getting Luocha, so I'm saving my guaranteed for him. I see. Yeah, Don Hug's like my main DPS at the moment, as of right now. Other than uh, Kafka and my Topaz and Dr. Ratio team, uh, I think, um, yeah, Don Hug's pretty much my main DPS as of right now. I hope we get a Lord, uh, a trailer for all the Lord Ravagers, like with the Fatui. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, yeah, if we get like a Lord Ravagers trailer, because like this, what, how many of them? I don't remember actually, but yeah, it would, it would be cool if we just get a trailer with every single one. Oh yeah, and the trends of the booba window, yet. Yeah. <laughs> I do know, like, this is like pretty much a start of Hoyo, like putting like boob windows in the in the guys. Like at yeah, the whole like at yeah, the chest window. Yeah, that. 
Also, I never noticed how freaking jacked uh, in Bible Lune was. Holy shit, those muscles. Okay, <laughs> okay, enough simping for now. <laughs> we gotta move on to the next trailer before I get too distracted. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the next two uh, teasers or trailers should be also in Biver Lune related. So the next one, I think, is the Myriad Celestia teaser. Um, if I'm right. Yeah, that this one. The history of the Sienjo Exodius of the Five Dragons. Ooh, interesting title. All right. Uh, here we go <laughs> with another giant lore drop. Oh, there's seven uh, Lord Ravagers. Okay, seven. <laughs> so, like, seven Archons, but not really. <laughs> if you get Sparkle, your Biber Lune is going to be even better. Yeah, that's the thing, because in Biber Lune is so reliant on skill points that Sparkle might be the best support for him. But at the same time, I want um, Black Swan, because she would fit right in with my Kafka team. It's just, uh, I want them both. Uh, which is why I'm glad they're giving us 20 free pulls, because there's no way me as an F2B is, is going to get them both if I, if I just remain F2B. Uh, I'll put in videos in new tab to avoid having to scroll every time. Yeah, maybe I should do that. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I should probably save us some time by just yeah opening it, like, yeah, clicking open in a new tab. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and just prep this here, just so we're ready to like watch the next trailer. Just so, yeah, we don't have to go through the whole scroll all over again. Yeah, I was going to do that initially, but I, I guess I just kind of forgot about it. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Alright, but now we're watching Myriad Celestia trailer. History of Sienjo's Exodius of the Five Dragons. I didn't even know there were five dragons in the Sienjo. I thought it was just in Biber Lune. But yeah, here we go. Play it now. I have traversed great lengths seeking a piece of history. The history of long the permanence. I too the permanence. know little of mm. the progenitor of all dragons. Before the dawn of history, Whoa. long traversed the burgeoning chaos. Whoa! This this like Chinese like black and white art style. I'm digging it. The revelation of the permanence was unraveled. Then came our emergence, us long scions. Oh. I visited Liaris, a world encircled by five suns. The giant dragon. Whoa! The turning of day and night, the change of seasons. Does that dragon have like multiple heads? Like Cerberus? of the permanence signify the timeless nature of one's the permanence of power. The relentless pursuit of individual immortality will only breed an unending multitude of malevolent creatures. Whoa! Such is the fallacy of the plague's author. So then, does the permanence represent the continuance of the bloodline? I also journey to the ancestral home of the Infernalian people in the land of white embers. The undead dragon Typhon's breath showered flames on the land below, bringing forth Whoa. the Whoa! What the fuck? Scions are dispersed throughout countless worlds, living in solitude. That's a sick ass dragon design. The universe, the rise and fall of one race is of little consequence. It is said that the Vidyata formed an alliance with the Xianzhou. And that five elders descended upon the mortal realm to keep watch over the plague monsters. Oh, so then these are the five dragons, and I guess. This is the noble ambition that ensures the safety of the universe. <sighs> Alas, Imbibitor Lune forsook his oath. Uh, yep. Dan Feng did some terrible things. Their mortal frailties, their heavy burdens ultimately becoming the shackles which bind them. From your perspective, what does the permanence's revelation truly signify? Hmm. As the sun and moon rise and fall, the world <laughs> are they fucking bigger than that whole last planet? So the Calorum Venti. Oh, these are the five dragons. By and with the way of the world, Ardens Regeria. Or Regia. Glacier Marmus. Holy shit, Ice Dragon. This is the true teaching of the Mons Grandis. Within the cycle of life, any endpoint may mark the inception of a new journey. Hmm. And for him, it is no different. Oh, is this Don Fung? Oh, and that okay, then that's uh, Don Hung in Babylonia, right?
I'm not I'm not misreading that, am I? Okay. <laughs> Long depervience lore. Yeah, I've never even heard about like that there's more than uh than just Imbabar Lune as like dragons. I thought it was only Imbabar Lune as the only dragon for the longest time, but I had no idea that they were more. Because I guess the game never like taught me told me about any of them. Imbabar Lune is uh, is in the Ciencio Lofu. Gl Glacius Mac Marmus is in the Ciencio Fanghu. Kalorum Venti is in the Ciencio Yaoching. Okay, you gotta <laughs> forgive me if I'm mispronouncing any of these names. Um, Arden's Regeria is in the Ciencio Zhuming, and more and Mons Giandis is in the Ciencio Yutre. Okay, so each of the so each of these um ships have their own dragon. I see. I think Don Fo tried to resurrect a dead friend of his, Bai Hung. Correct both her and a certain someone. Oh. Okay, then maybe I'll find out who these people are. Like, yeah, during uh, Don Hung's um, companionship quest. When I do get around to playing it. But yeah, it, very interesting lore drops here. Like, holy shit. I also like, yeah, this, the, the little art style with them just drawing in, like, black and white. It's... Yeah, yeah, so, so cool looking. <laughs> I gotta really, really, really study up on my Honkai Star Rail or if I'm gonna, like, truly understand everything going forward, but... Yeah, that is the Myriad Celestia trailer. And actually, this one's the next one. The animated short, I Core of Two, which is the next uh, trailer we're gonna watch. It's 5 minutes and uh, 40 seconds long. And it's also animated like the Jing Liu and Jing Yuan one, so... I'm expecting some really high-quality animation from this one. Holy shit, 70 viewers. Holy shit, where do you guys come from? Hey, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're in the middle of um, watching all the Honkai Star Rail uh, trailers. And now we're up to the animated short of uh, the or the Icor of two dragons. Hmm, so are we going to see Don Hung fight another dragon per se? Hmm. Yeah, guys, don't spoil me. I haven't done any of the companionship quests. I've only done the um, the trail base mission up to the Ruan Mei uh, trail base uh, quest. I haven't done the Dr. Ratio one yet. And I've done Ethereum Wars and the Fikestro Garden Heliobi event. That's it. That's all the uh, stuff I've done. Sorry, stuff I've done in Star Rail. Yeah. More like he wants to change the video race fates who can't reproduce. Hmm. They protect the Plague's author, Yaoshi's gifts to the Ciencio, like the Arbor. Ah. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I will try and avoid spoilers in the chat. Um, or maybe, maybe I'll just forget about, like, it, like, by the time I play the quest, because I have a whole boatload <laughs> to play, like, on the side here. Because, yeah, I have truly just been piling up the companionship quests, and I just gotta, like, play them all at once when I do get the chance. I think Ufotable this, did this one? Did they? Or did Hoi themselves do this one? Yeah, but we're gonna go in order here. We're not gonna jump between all the trailers here. We're we're gonna go. We're gonna start from here. Yeah, we started from the very beginning. Uh, like yeah, the very the the I don't know how you describe it. The the earliest Star Rail trailer, and then we're going all the way back to like the latest Star Rail trailer, which is like the two point oh one. So yeah, we're, we're we're working in order here in like chronological order. Yeah. You probably forget about it since there's a lot of information. Yeah, like even if you guys tell me this stuff, I it's information overload. <laughs> like I, I've already been dumped a lot of lore in my brain as of right now within these past five hours. So I'm probably not gonna be able to retain it all. So hopefully I should be able to like remember it once I do play the trailer missions. But alrighty, let's watch the animated short of the Icor of Two Dragons. This one's also also related to Don Hung in Bible Lune, I think. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and hit play right now. Mihoyo Anime and Hoyoverse. And that animation studio, which I don't know about. Oh yeah, that's the Imbibri Lune statue, right? Yeah, the place. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what? Who? Who the fuck? Why the frown you sing? You too, Imbibri Lune. <laughs> let's see a smile. Who? Wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. Who are these guys? 
okay, so J- Jing Yuan and Jing Liu. I guess Jing Liu before she got Mara struck. I've never seen this white haired fox girl before, though. Who is this? Who the heck is this on the side? Looks like an old man. Like, like with all the wrinkles and everything. Yeah, I'll just play the trailer and see how it goes. Hey, why the frown you sing? And Don Hung's there, apparently. Or is he? <laughs> Let them off the hook, Bai Hung. Oh, Bai Hung. Oh, that's her. Okay. Want a rematch? I'm always available. Okay, so Bai Hung's a fox girl, I think. Oh, the Foxian, that's what they're called, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, I, I don't like the look of that. What the hell? Uh. Oh. How long? Oh, I'll shit. Running. I have to leave. Leave. You'll find no refuge among the stars. I'm. I'm guessing that's Don Fung, right? My elder succession is as eternal and unyielding as the ancient sea. That past is yours. No, you are my reincarnation. Oh, a yep, Don Fung. A past life sin must be repaid in this one. I feel like that's. Not you. For those who yeah, a bit of an asshole move from Don Fung here. <laughs> Just. Laying out all his sins to his, pa- to his future self. Redemption. Oh shit! Anime! Oh my gosh, he's afflicting those like it's nothing. Holy shit! The rising sea! Holy shit, oh my god! Holy fucking Aqu- Holy the motherfucker of Aquaman, what is this? Oh, and the drags are in the water as well, oh my god. This is so well animated. Holy shit. <laughs> Q Kingdom Hearts 1 opening. Where they're drowning in the water. Don Fung guilty of unpardonable sin. Oh shit. In light of past merit, the sentence shall be commuted to molting rebirth and eternal banishment. Why did you take this path? Hand over the transmutation, Arcana Man. The preceptors will spare your life. This? Oh Jesus. You. Ugh, everybody hates him now. <laughs> And Don Hung's dead. And you never see him again. <laughs> Starting today, you're one of the express crew. Oh. Don Hung, I'm clocking off for now. Attention! The explosives <laughs> the jump. My friends. They give me strength. My friends are my power. <laughs> My future. Holy shit, the voice work though. Oh my god, the animation. I will blaze. Holy shit. Own. This is hype. Ah. Holy shit, the animation. Oh, now I am in Biber Lune. Oh my god, that that whole fucking sequence was so well animated. Oh my god. That's almost like a map animation right there. Are so so good looking. My goodness. 
<laughs> okay, I have a new favorite trailer, everybody. <laughs> I have a brand new favorite trailer. Oh, there's our crew. <laughs> Expressionless as always. <laughs> Just reminiscing. Huh? Reminiscing? About what? <laughs> Play my companionship quest and find out. <laughs> Let him be, Marge. God. Is it me or is Don Hung like the most fleshed out character in Star Star Rail? Speaking of Star Rail. <laughs> like yeah, I feel, I feel like he has a character he's the character in this game that has like the most amount of love. Like, he has, like, a, a five-star version of himself. He has his whole backstory, like, in the Sienjo arc. And, yeah, he has his own, like, companionship quest as well, obviously. But, yeah, he's, like, related to, like, almost every single character, like, that we've seen. Like, he's friends of, like, uh, Jing Yuan. He's rivals against Blade. I think Jing Liu also knows him to, to some extent. And then, yeah, he's friends with, like, the whole Astro Express crew. So yeah, I feel like Don Hong's like the character that like gets the most amount of love in this game. And yeah, it goes to show. And yeah, no wonder a lot of people say like Don Hong's their favorite character. This is why. This is why. He's like probably like the, the most fleshed out of, out of any of the characters in Star Rail. Holy shit, so, so good. Yeah, I, who's a who's a voice actor of Don Hung? He does such a good job as him. Yeah, who's a who? What's the name of uh, Don Hung's VA? Like his English VA? Because yeah, I want to know who he is. He does a fantastic job as a uh, yeah Don Hung here. Out of all the high cloud quintet, I feel the most sympathy for Jing Yuan personally. He had to watch all his friends slowly leave over time. Oh yeah, he's like the only one who didn't like turn evil, become corrupt or anything like that, right? Yeah, he even has his own statue as well, yeah. Nicholas Young, he's amazing. Okay, I definitely gotta check him out after this. Nicholas Young. Yeah, he he impressed me with like his voice work in both the game and in this trailer. Definitely gotta check him out like sometime after this. So far he's got his chapter, March 7th, and why not the rest might get one too. No wonder Don Hung didn't join us in the past two events. Oh yeah, maybe it's because yeah, like yeah, he already has his, his whole arc out already that he doesn't really need to be like fleshed out more. I mean, we still probably will get more of him in. in... Actually, will we get him in Pinacani? Because he was not in the 2.0 trailer, was he? Yeah, will will he just stay on the express while we are on Pinacani? Like, yeah, he's like, my arc's over. I'm not joining you anymore. <laughs> Take the VA's accredited in the description now. Oh, let me go ahead and uh, see that then. Oops. Bum -bum. Oh, yeah, and there's even more lore down here. Holy shit. Okay, that's a lot of text. Don, wait, Don Fung's voiced by Young, yeah? I didn't even know that was him. What the heck? <laughs> I, I I could not tell at all. What the hell? Young Ye voice in Star Rail? I could not tell that was him at all. <laughs> but yeah, Nicholas Young is uh, Don Hung's VA. And yeah, uh, Alejandro is Jing Yuan, Jing Liu is Amelie, David Mills is Blade, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> and in typical MC fashion, the uh, <laughs> our protagonist did not speak at all. <laughs> He's still recovering after all. I guess true. After all the shit he went through, he deserves a break, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> Young, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Young actually tries to voice act. <laughs> all right, but yeah, that's uh, in Bible uh Well, yeah, his three trailers uh, done. Yeah, we've seen all of them. They're all super badass, and I, I'm so glad I pulled for him, honestly. I'm so glad I got him. Because honestly, I was contemplating skipping him for, like, Jing Liu and whatnot, but honestly, even though I did kind of uh, want Jing Liu a bit more, I, I am really, really glad I did pull for Imbiber Lune. He's so, so, yeah, good.
He, he's such a good character, both gameplay wise and design wise and story wise. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gotta check out like their live streams now. See if they're like just as good as like the Genshin VA's live streams. But alrighty, uh, let's move on to the next trailer now. Uh, Fushuan's trailer. All right. Um. Okay, I can, I can skip all these. I'm not gonna watch the Keeping Up with Star Rail ones. So yeah, we'll we'll go Fushuan's, and then 1.4, and then uh, yeah, then we'll just see where we go from there. All right, right. Open up in a new tab in a new window. Not new window, fuck. New tab. <laughs> Shoot. Wrong button. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you guys see this, right? Okay, yeah, you do. Alright, another two-minute trailer. Fushuan's trailer, alright. So now, now we're pretty much done with all the, uh, yeah, Impair Mario Lune trailers. Let's move on to Fushuan now. And, uh, okay. How do you say that? Omnesia? Omnesia spares none. Fushuan's trailer. Do y'all know what we're waiting for? Well, don't spoil what you're waiting for, because, uh, might get my hopes up. And then again, that's not a bad thing. I mean, well, some is, uh, hmm. This patch was literally the metaphor of the deadliest sword, uh, and the strongest shield, and you just have to pick one. Oh, really? No, okay. But yeah, because, yeah, Fushuan is super, is a really, really good preservation character. And honestly, I do like what I've, uh, like, based off, uh, what, it, what I saw for a character in the Trailblaze mission, yeah, I do really, really like her character, and I do want to see more of her, so. Alrighty, let's begin watching Fushuan's trailer, Omnisia Spares None. I also like that, yeah, she's a pretty much a very... <laughs> she's, like, short and feisty. I don't know why, that's, like, the aspects of her I like the most. <laughs> Ooh, okay. To be realized. Now that all elements of the past have I also do really like her design as well. And her animations are just super sick. My reach. Ooh. As clear as daylight. Whoa, okay. Music, alright. Woes of many morphed to one. Nova burst. Ooh, this music though. Yeah, there's something just so peaceful about it. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, that's super cool. Oh yeah, and that's her animations. <laughs> In-game. <laughs> Ching Chui, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Who's this little gremlin? <laughs> Into the way of the world scrutinizing the Whoa! <laughs> Even the enemies are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Though all things in the universe have their own inherent principles, the choice between real and woe lies in our own hands. Human creations! Boom! <laughs> okay, that was a pretty good trailer. <laughs> General's comments are crude. They're not the last logical. Jin Shui, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about how you just tripped into battle like that? <laughs> but what's that she said at the end there? Fire, theft, and teammates. <laughs> you vigil of three things. Fire, theft, and teammates. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Your ultimate is honestly like the coolest looking in the game. Next to Don Hungry Bibber Luna's. But yeah, the Fushan's trailer was honestly pretty good. Like, I, I like the visuals and everything, and all their animations and all. And yeah, I, I can't wait to learn more about her when I do play her companion quest, because honestly, she seems pretty interesting as a character. And yeah, also the Omnisia, like, in her head. Yeah, the, like, the third eye she has, I think it's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, the Omnisia is the thing on her head. Okay, so that's what, it, that's what it's called. Okay. It hurts her head? Oh, so I guess it like yeah hurts to have it on, I guess. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I'm really, I really, really do like like <laughs> that she's pretty much like yeah all involving like constellations and st like yeah look at all this they they animated all this just for her trailer. 
Yeah, design wise, design wise, Fushuan's just gotta be my favorite. And next to Downhead and Biber Lune, of course, but yeah, Fushuan's also really, really good as well. Uh, Jingwen warned about her teammates all betray him. Oh, okay, I see. Black Swan's ultimate looks cool as well. Uh, haven't seen Black Swan's ultimate actually. Yeah, this. <laughs> well, if it did show, then maybe I missed it. But yeah, she's in constant pain because of the amnesia. Oh, okay. I see. I'm guessing that's what her light cone's about because I have seen her light cone where she's like closing her eyes, and I think her. Amnesia is being put into her or something. But yeah, Fushuan's definitely like, yeah, the best design wise, and at least in my opinion. Eternal pain as long as she's not die. Despite giving her compitual power and future sight, gives her great pain. Ah, uh, I see. She predicted <laughs> Ching Chui showing up. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that about does it for Fushuan's demo. Um, what's up next? Okay, so yeah, we got the 1.4 trailer. The I'm not sure if I watch this developer interview. I, I think I'll skip it because unless you guys think, uh, yeah, unless you guys think um, I should watch it. Oh, and then we got another Mirit Celestia teaser as well here, and then Jing Liu's trailer, which I'm looking much very much forward to. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch the 1.4 uh, trailer. So yeah, we're, we're slowly but surely catching up to the current version. So yeah, 1.4, I believe, uh, yeah, Topaz, Guinaifen, and Jing Liu came out in this update. And Ethereum Wars as well, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and watch it then. She cries in her light cone? A coup comparison, but you can think of it as a showering gun when you use... Oh, okay, so it's essentially the showering gun. Skip the interview? Okay, yeah, I will then. I will skip the interview in that case, and yeah. So yeah, we're gonna watch. Uh, oh shit, I forgot to. <laughs> Whoops, I keep forgetting to open up in a new tab just so we don't have to scroll all over again. My apologies, guys. Actually, we don't need to sort by oldest anymore because we are coming up more in recent times, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, well, we'll just keep it like this for now. Anyway, uh, maybe I should just queue all these in order here. Yeah, well, we'll just queue all these. So we'll put this up next. I'll just be sure to pause it. Yeah, make sure it's paused just so... Yeah, we don't have all the trades playing at once now. Then we'll watch Jing Liu's next. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and pause that one as well. Yeah, I'm just going to queue all, all these uh, trailers next. Just so we uh, don't have to, like, wait in order here. Ooh, another Myriad Celestia teaser. Ooh. Definitely want to watch that one, too. The Sienjo has met with countless trials. Hold up. Jing Liu, wait, we're not watching yours just yet. Missed. Okay. Uh, I think I'll just queue those four for now and then just... Uh, actually... Okay, we have, we'll also queue up Topaz and Numfi. Not open, not open image. Open link in the tab, there we go. Alright, but yeah, we'll begin with the 1.4 trailer, then work our way over to Topaz and Numfi's uh, trailer. Oops, pause. Okay. All right, so yeah, let's begin with 1.4. Jolt is awake from a winter dream. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, I guess it didn't pause properly for some reason. Alrighty, but yeah. Okay, okay sorry for the mess. Sorry for the mess. But yeah, we will begin with 1.4, then work our way slowly down the line. All right. Uh, doesn't food... Uh, yeah, let me just read the chat here real quick before I begin. All right, yeah, okay, skip the interview. Yeah, got it, got it. All right, but yeah, now let's watch version 1.4, Jolt is Awake from a Winter Dream. So, yeah, the update for Ethereum Wars, Topaz Numfi, Jing Liu, and, uh... Oh, <laughs> I like the little freaking smile <laughs> Kalos gave us. Yeah, did this event just, uh, like, last week, I think. Ethereum Wars. God, this was this event was so much fun. My friends, join me in the dance. Let's bring this <laughs> Pokemon duel. You got this. This event was a blast to play. Bellabog might be in arrears, but and yep, yeah, Topaz was introduced in this update, <laughs> and I also pulled for her. Kill them, piggy! <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, and the whole trailblaze continuance quest. Enough. Oh yeah, <laughs> and here's Jing Liu. I returned to the La Fu so I could surrender myself to the Alliance and atone for my sins. Oh shit, I guess some people are still hunting her. This will be the last you see of me. Whoa, okay, this music. <laughs> oh my god, okay, music going in hard, all right. <laughs> Aw, isn't it? Yeah, what's her name? Bai Hung? Wait, it... Oh shit, Blade versus Jing Liu? Okay, didn't expect that that, that lineup. And yep, jolted away from a dream. And yeah, Great Knife was also in this update too. Huh, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to learn more about that. Like, maybe Jing Liu's a Blade's, like, quest. Interesting. And yeah, Ethereum Wars was also introduced in this update. Yeah, that was a really, really cool trailer. I think you missed one after Jing Liu's trailer. Okay, we'll, we'll go back and see then if I didn't miss uh, one or two. Adventurine was teased in this continuance. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Monarch Inner Edge Lord. <laughs> yeah, honestly, when I first heard it, I did not think it was Monarch at all. But then when I heard like, yeah, Monarch was voicing Jing Liu, I was like, what? There's no way. <laughs> she goes from that to to this. And just like, yeah, there's, there's no way. Just like, yeah. Okay, but then uh, after this, yeah, we have this. Yeah, we have the. Yeah, the Myriad Celestia teaser. The Jing Liu trailer. And then. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, this this other Myriad Celestia teaser. And then the Topaz and Numpy one. Um, I don't think I watch any of these ones because. These ones are just promotions for Star Rail, and I'm not gonna watch a Keeping Up with Star Rail video, so yeah. You learn more in Jing Liu's companionship mission. Okay, can't wait for that then. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't need to watch any of these, right? So yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go Jing Liu's, Mirror Celestia, then Jing Liu's trailer. Then yeah, here, then Topaz and Numpy's trailer, and then we'll be, yeah, to 1.5. So yeah, we're, we're really just blasting through these trailers now. So yeah, let's go ahead and watch, uh, yeah, the next Mirror Celestia teaser. Okay, another one. Cloud Knight Martial Doctrine on Swords. Honkai Star Real. Okay, so maybe we'll get more, like, clues about the High Cloud Quintet. Skip the others? Okay, yeah, I will skip those in that case. Okay, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and give this one a watch. Call your verse. Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? Oh, it's that well, Yanqing and Jingliu? Well, no harm in telling you. Huh. At first, it was the general stories about the previous sword champion. He told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a single blade. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. So, <laughs> it was the allure of renown. I also wanted to live up to the general's expectations and repay him for the gift. Little does Yanqing know she's talking about her. <laughs> then you wish to forge deeper ties. It's more than that. One day, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades, defending the Wafu and striking down those who threaten us. Wow, the, yeah, this, these trailers are very well animated, I gotta say. <laughs> In the end, it all comes back to fealty. What's with all the questions, miss? Hmm. Why did you choose the path of the sword? Yeah, does Yanqing not know who Jing Liu is? Shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. But in oh, the shit. end, the sword moves beyond such notions. For the sword is just a sword, an instrument determining life and death. Nothing can tarnish its essence. I really do like Jing Liu's voice, though. Like, yeah, Monarch did such a great job with her voice. <laughs> 
Holy shit, I'm... Only when you've walked the fire. She's Elsa! <laughs> every impediment. Can you understand the purpose? All the freaking eyes dry up at our feet. <laughs> Oh god, Yanchi's being nervous. Now, future sword champion. Oh shit. <laughs> to vanquish my enemies. Nothing more. <laughs> and now our battle begins. Uh Yanching, I don't think he stand a chance, my boy. Oh god. And then Yanching died that day. <laughs> Holy shit, that was insanely well animated. What the hell? Yeah, I, I do love all these freaking Myriad Celestia trailers because they're also, they, yeah, they're, they're lore dunce, but they're also insanely well, like, animated and narrated. It's just so, so good. He's late to pick up uh, on things. Yeah, answer me this, um, guys. Um, does Yanching know who Jing Liu is? Because, yeah, it, it seems like Yanjing did not know who, who he was talking to. I need the Etrisar Martyrs to add a sound pick. The Jingli's all screaming, is she go when the blindfold comes off? Honestly, I would love a mod where it's just like all Jingli's voice lines are just replaced with uh, monarchs. Like, <laughs> like her little antics. I think that'd be actually a really, really funny mod. Yanjing keeps getting to battles against the best of the best. <laughs> and yeah, he he just keeps losing over and over again for some reason. You'll see. I guess I yeah. I guess maybe I'll just find out on yeah Yanjing's quest or Jing Liu's quest. Yeah, yeah. I'll just play the game and find out. Yeah. All right, but that's another Myriad Celestia teaser down. Now we're on to uh, Jing Liu's trailer. I'm out, honestly excited for this one. 2.6 million views, also under two minutes. Jing Liu's trailer, Sword Word. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see our icy girl and see what sh what her trailer is all about. The Sienjo has met with countless trials. Ooh. The darkening mist. Ooh. Okay, that's a cool transition. Bound by I do like the blindfold though. It gives me like heavy two B from Nia Tamina vibes. <laughs> like yeah, her design's sick. What the fuck? What were those hands doing? What the hell? Is that the Marstruck consuming her? Yeah, what, what were those hands doing? Unworthy. <laughs> Unworthy. Die. Blade fodder. Oh, and they're dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, I expect this to be a bit more action packed. Honestly, like this trailer. But honestly, the music's like quite soothing. Oh, and there goes the blindfold. Holy shit, everybody's frozen. In lunar flame. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I hear that every time because of my one friend who has like E6, Jing Liu. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, okay, they're just dead. They're freaking pierced. Holy crap, that was a bit morbid. Oh, and the ice around the Staria logo? Okay. That's cool. That That's a really, really cool demo, I gotta say. Man, I so wanted to pull for Jing Liu, but uh, I had to choose between her and Imbiber Lune. And it's just like, uh, God damn it. Oh, no, no, it's not between her and Imbiber Lune. It was between her and Topaz, I think. And in the end, I decided to pull for Topaz. And Topaz, while good, I still wish I could have pulled for Jing Liu, not gonna lie. Man. Seeing the hands and thinking the Yu Gi Oh! The, the Yu -Gi -Oh meme. It should have been me. <laughs> not them. It's not fair. Uh, yeah, that's funny, honestly. Yajik's no slouch. You can kick ass, but in game, you can also be pretty ridiculous. 
Yeah, let me just go ahead and read chat here in a bit before we move on to the next one. The bodies are pierced on the ice are Jingyuan, Yanqing, etc. Wait, they are? Let me let me go back. Let me have a look at the bodies. Good lord, like yeah, that's morbid. Um wait, is is that Jingyuan? Is it? I I can't tell. Yeah, do you mean these bodies here or do you mean the ones like earlier? Because, yeah, none of these guys are, like, looking like Jing Yuan or Yanqing to me. Hmm. Yeah, the Topaz ratio combo is just too broken, honestly. As a person that's really down bad for Jing Liu, I made... I literally made two accounts and had to grind both to get Jing Liu. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got him in the end, then. Fun fact, all people Pierce in her trailer are members of the High Cloud Quintet. Really now? I'm trying to recognize who each of these ones are. Oh god, my PS5 turned off again. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, having a hard, I'm having a hard time recognizing each of them. Is this guy... Is this one Genshin? And this one's... Who's this guy? Kafka on the left? Is that Kafka? I, yeah, they're like all covered in ice, so I, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time recognizing who each and every one of them are. That's their silhouettes, okay. If you guys say so, like, because honestly I'm not recognizing each, each of them. But yeah, it's just like foreshadowing that like Jing Liu might kill them or something. Or he, or she wants them dead. Because, hmm. At this point, the game, the, the games tell you you must main ice teams. I mean, true, like, a, a lot of the ice characters are super good. Like, Pela, uh, Jepard is also pretty good. But now I think the game's, like, moving more towards, like, yeah, you should main, like, Mono Quantum and also, like, Mono Imaginary when Aventurine does come out. Jingyu has the one in front. Uh, Oops, sorry, hold up. I think my PS5 is bugging out here. Jingyuan's the one you keep pointing to in the front. Yeah, I think I can somewhat recognize that's Jingyuan. Yeah, she's kind of gone crazy, yeah. And you, you said, okay, so this one's Kafka. You said, like, this guy's, this one's Yanqing. I'm having a hard time recognizing the others, but yeah, you guys see, like, each of these guys are part of the High Club Quintet, or members, or people who are involved in the CNJ quest. I see. Definitely gonna need to watch a video later on, like, like uh, showcasing which one is which, but yeah. This was a pretty, pretty good trailer. Yeah, Jing Liu's trailer, yeah. Okay, hang on, let me stop my recording real quick, because uh, I've been recording for like three hours now. At this point, I might just get the whole live stream at this point. <laughs> Okay, but, uh... Alright, next up, we have another Myriad, uh... We have another Myriad, uh, Celestia trailer. Since we're down to Jing Liu's. Into Astral Peace Tour. Selection, Planning, and Opportunity. Okay, so I'm, get I'm guessing this one's involving Topaz and the whole IPC. I think. Fun fact, that scene, the hands on her body... It's supposedly her original design for the light cone. It looks too sus, so they changed it. I think I saw that actually from Braxphone's uh, one of his one of Braxphone's like YouTube shorts, where like yeah, those hands were initially supposed to be a part of her artwork, but it looked too lewd, so they had to change it. Yeah, I, I think I saw that actually. But alrighty, moving on to our next trailer. Uh, all right, let me just hit record here because I forgot to. But yeah, moving on to our next trailer. Uh, yeah, the Myriad Celestia trailer. Interal Astral Peace Tour. Uh, selection, planning, and opportunity. So yeah, this one, I think, is about the IPC in Topaz. So yeah, let's go ahead and give it a view. So the IPC are essentially like the the IRS of the galaxy, right? <laughs> yes, you! Oh, what the? <laughs> Wait for you. The gem build what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on to your hats. The IPC's gem identification system. Gem identification system. The hell? That's a mouthful. Do 
you have the thrill of adventure coursing through your veins? If so, our marketing development... What the? This is like a whole ass ad. Red carpet just for you. With the name of Zoswano Schneider... It is like one of those like, ads like number, companies would give you. Soon be a part to like get you to join them. If you're someone who values structure and logic, our business consolidation department offers the perfect stage for you to shine. With products twinkling like a million stars. This department has created a spectacular trade network that's measured in light. Yeah, if you showed this to me, I would not think this was a, was a Star Rail trailer. <laughs> was once science fiction is now reality. Proudly produced by the IPC. Got an idea that's nothing short of genius? Look no further. Our technology department is waiting for Oh you. god, they created Join the us. fucking Findy? The nah, I ain't joining them now. No, no way in hell. Dim before the luminous path of the Amber Lord. Know that the Building Material Logistics Department is the sanctuary for the most ardent of followers. Become the cornerstone of our operations. Every show you place with precision plays a pivotal role. Brent will form the backbone of our formidable subspace bear. Oh, holy shit. That's the Eon? The oh, yeah, that's a. Uh, and yielding yeah. in the hearts of storms? This message is for you. At the Strategic Investment Department, talent is the most precious. Oh, wait, those are gems, right? Origin, background. Yeah, her diamond, topaz, aventurine, obsidian. <laughs> Those who sit at the table will determine where the wealth falls. The talent motivation Whoa, what the hell? Who is this robot lady? Shining beacon of a pot. Top talent deserves top perks. That's I have trouble following, honestly. <laughs> I have extreme trouble Every following what's going on. The tank serves as the pioneering spark that sets Pierpoint's passion ablaze. For those seasoned in the craft and still holding on to cherished dreams, our operations are as everlasting as the sway of ocean tides along the shore. Witness the traditional project department's great supervisor. Yeah, this is like a whole ass ad. It's just like, yeah, join, join our bank. university or join our, our yeah, work company take and whatnot. Leap. Join our ranks and climb Yeah, take the leap and ice. join us. Take the destinies of myriad worlds and make the history of the galaxy your very own footnote. The mighty hammer of the Amber Lord has struck. Holy shit. The preservation wants you to join the IPC. Not really, though. We don't know what he wants. <laughs> All for the Amber Lord. Oh, wait. Oh, do the IPC follow the preservation? Okay, I didn't know that then. Interesting. Okay, so nothing about Topaz. It's just the IPC as a whole. Yeah, pretty much the IRS of the galaxy. Pretty much. Or like, like, like they govern the whole galaxy in that matter. Yeah, it's kind of like Atomic Heart. Yeah, that's what it reminds you of. Atomic Heart. Like where, like, yeah, that robot. That, uh, yeah. Klipov is the honorary CEO of the IPC. Is he now? He actually doesn't care? Sounds like a cult? Oh, please, we all know it's sus. Yeah, judging by this, the shit, like, and all the IPC NPCs I interacted with, yeah, I don't think joining the IPC sounds like a very pleasant experience. I I'm good, thanks. I, I would rather... <laughs> I choose life. I choose a, a free life over countless days of work. <laughs> Especially one in the SCU confirmed that, I that an IPC assassin, definitely not a corporation. Klopov wants to build a wall and make Nanu pay for it. <laughs> yeah, they're like a monopoly, essentially. Yeah, a monopoly. That's that's what you'd rather call it. Yeah, a monopoly. <laughs> like Disney. Yeah. <laughs> just like, hey, the, we're all fun and games here. Meanwhile, it's just like, oh, pff, behind the scenes, just, oh, but, uh, yeah, all this is just, uh, ooh, <laughs> it's a whole ass yikes moment right here. A big old yikes. Uh, they do follow the preservation in a way. They funnel a shit ton of the resources in helping Klipov build the Great Wall. Wait, are they actually building a wall, or are you guys just referencing Donald Trump? <laughs> like, I can't tell if you're serious or not. <laughs> like, like, and if Klipov wants to build a wall, what for? <laughs> but a lot of them are just greedy corp uh, corpo excess. Yeah, that's that's what I kind of picture the IPC at the moment is. It's just a bunch of greedy, like, yeah, corporations and whatnot. Looking to, like, take over planets. Yeah, and the and that's what the IPC was trying to do for the Topaz Trailblaze quest, right? They were trying to like control Eurelo Six as a whole, and they also like tried to 
control various other worlds as well. Yeah. So the IPC, while there's some good eggs in the bunch, like Topaz, overall as a company, they're like horrible. The wall is cannon? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you guys were joking about uh, <laughs> joking about Donald Trump. Uh, that's why the clip off hammers away. Okay. The walls have stopped a great calamity. Ah, okay, okay. I thought you guys were joking for a second there. I didn't know what to take you guys seriously or not, but like, okay, the Great Wall is canon. Each time he swings his hammer, is a new amber era in the IPC calendar. Okay, I see. So they actively work with the... Uh, with Klopov to build the wall, I see. To protect everyone from Nanook or... Annihility, I see. Not really to control, but to save the planet in exchange to become the IPC workers. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Yeah, now I have a better understanding of what the IPC is. <laughs> so, they're so greedy, but at least... They have, like, like, a good motivation, in a sense. Yeah. So, and they're not doing it just for, like, the sake of money or whatever. I see. Okay, so yeah, let's move on to our next trailer here. Yeah, Topaz and Numbies trailer, expert tutorial. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and line up the next uh, few trailers here. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll go. Okay, uh, how many are left? Okay, we still got quite a few to go, but we're pretty close, or somewhat getting close to the end here. So yeah, let's go ahead and watch uh, Topaz and Numbies trailer now. Uh, expert tutorial. Honestly, I don't know what to expect from Topaz and Numfi's uh, trailer. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I know too much about Topaz as a character, other than the bit we saw of her in the Trailblaze mission and the Ethereum Wars. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just watch it here and uh, see what she's and, and Numfi are all about. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Topaz from the special Dead Marshal Force. <laughs> She's sitting there like a freaking villain, patting their like cat. <laughs> Give up the chase and pay up the debts. Still not following? Then why not? Oh yeah, I like this like music around Topaz, like the violence. Yeah, is she is she essentially like a celebrity? I have Topaz and Numphy. Yeah. Oh wait, 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 why Sampo here? What a delightful surprise! Hold it. Oh, what the fuck? They can bear ulterior motives. Get fucked with Sampo. Okay, I guess Sampo had a debt to pay. Madam Herda, your account has been frozen. Oh, Herda too? Whoa! Holy shit! Chum change. Over to you, Asta. <laughs> See here, Miss Asta? <laughs> Look how fucking fast. Hold up, hold up. I, I gotta pause. First of all, S Sampo getting fucked. Like, fucked over. <laughs> yeah, he's even bending over in that fucking image. Dev collected, so. Okay, so. I thought Topaz was just like your basic generic run of the mill debt collector with like I guess like a pretty high positioning in the IPC. But I guess she's somewhat of a celebrity in the IPC, judging by like the spotlights at the beginning. She's one of the gems, i.e. their department. Okay, I see. Also, there's a bug on my table. Let me get him off. I see. Albert is a narrator for both IPC trailers. He's a talking snow owl news anchor for the IPC and hosts all the updates before 2.0. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I like this, like, Herta here. Do you, do you see how... Yeah, she got out there so fucking quick. Like, I've never seen somebody walk that quick before. And he, of course she for sass to pay the bill. Oh shit, Bronny's in danger. Holy shit! Okay, Topaz, I don't remember you having rocket launchers. So, investing in victory means playing the long game! Making friends can be beneficial to both parties. Wouldn't you agree, Supreme Guardian? Oh. Oh, that was all a presentation. That's all for today. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so Topaz was teaching students, I guess. 
Yeah, I honestly don't know what to say about that trailer. I do, I do say it's like funny that the yeah he, Herta just, yeah this is the most replay part. Yeah, Asa, you pay my bills. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm all the way out of here. Yeah, and I do like her. Her ultimate's essentially a stonks reference. Thomas is friends with Asta, and they're pretty close, according to Asta. Oh yeah, because they did like talk to each other during the Ethereum Wars event. Yeah, she's the same rank as Adventurine before being demoted after Bellowog. I see. Yeah, it it definitely seems like it's a cult. <laughs> like the IPC is looking more and more like a cult by the day. Also, this this right here, like. <laughs> yeah, Bronya, don't don't take that hand. What will Sila say about this? <laughs> like like Sila watching in the distance just freaking crying. <laughs> and then Topaz is just like, yeah, and that's how and that's how I uh, convinced the Supreme Guardian to work with me uh, in Bellabog. <laughs> That's all for today. Yeah, this whole this whole bit here is just creepy. Like Topaz, I love you, but holy shit, this how many students are watching this? Ah, ah! I'm getting chills up my spine, and they're not good ones. They're not good chills. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's it's a whole ass cult down there. Holy shit! See that got anti hard. <laughs> I mean, essentially, uh, they only need to brown nose to climb the ladder, and that's the only reason. I see. She must have to deal. She must have to deal with big deals to keep them to lay off. Yeah. All right, but yeah, that does it for Topaz and Numfi's trailer expert tutorial. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know what to say about this other than it, it's cool, it's funny. But also super, super creepy at the end here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell happened back there? But alrighty, uh, I think we're done with, yeah, 1.4 now. So now we're coming up more and more in recent times. So now we're going to watch the 1.5 trailer. Let me just uh, cue these up. Uh, yeah, cue these videos up here. Then we got another uh, Mirror Celestia teaser. Oh, I, I said pause. <laughs> Like, I click pause, and for some reason, the video doesn't pause. It just plays anyways. Yeah, uh, I think I'll just queue up these two. It'll just be a waste of time if I just keep pausing them. But yeah, we'll watch 1.5, and then all the trailers for Godling it, and then after that, 1.6, and then we should be all caught up. All factions are to Aeons are technically cults. I guess you're not wrong, wrong in that asset, yeah. Like, pretty much the Aeons are gods, and all factions following them are cults in a sense yeah they're all technically religious but i don't know the ipc religion like to the clip off is uh just somewhat creepier as compared to everybody else but alrighty, here we go the version 1.5 trailer the crypsal zone so i believe this is the update with where ho ho was introduced the fagster garden event uh came up and i think hanya and uh shui were yeah, we're in this trailer, or in this update as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give it a watch. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the hell? Another oh, Argenti, right, how can I forget about him? Universe. Yeah, he was also in 1.5. What the fuck? Is he proposing to a plant? The beauty, <laughs> I will <laughs> have to show you in a way that only a knight can. Okay, um, real quick. I know nothing about Argenti. <laughs> I know nothing about him. I haven't played, like, the the story quest involving him. So, I literally know nothing about this man, but... Another, another other than he's a knight of beauty. Yeah, what the fuck? Is he proposing to a plant? <laughs> Since you do not understand the beauty... I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. But so far, based on what I've seen of Argenti, I, I like him. He just seems like super chivalrous. What the fuck? We made it. What's happening? What's up, guys? Oh yeah, fights your garden. <laughs> yeah, the whole Helio Bay events. 
Whoa, the music changed though. Aw, yeah, look at all the details. You're finally here. <laughs> the Ghostbuster Squad. Let's go. Oh, the music changed though. <laughs> And yeah, the whole uh, trail-based quest involving this, yeah. Dude, this event was so, so good as well. We Fuck you, Cirrus. Yeah, <laughs> and I especially love that Jing Man cutscene, like, in that quest. Yeah, such a, such a good update, honestly. Okay, so yeah, Hanya did come in this update. And I believe Shui did as well. Or no, was Shui in 1.6? I forget. Yeah, so yeah, the characters on this update were Argenti, Fuxuan, and uh, Hanya. Fuxuan, what am I talking? Hua Hua. Uh, sorry, my brain went off track when I saw Fuxuan. <laughs> yeah, Argenti, Hua Hua, and Hanya. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my brain turns off when I get tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Brownie, hey, welcome to the stream. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people joining in this stream more than usual, as you can see. Yeah, Argenti's fucking... From what I've seen, he, he seems so funny, but also, he seems like a Chad, you know? Okay, yeah, Shui is in 1.6, okay. Cirrus' VA will also be Firefly, I think. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it, we, don't, we also don't know too much. Honestly, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, to the story quest where um, Argenti uh, is a part of it, because he just seems like... He just seems so funny to be around. Yeah, I can already tell he's gonna be like a really, really silly character. This event was good, uh, and the characters were also pretty good, but they had the curse of being before 2.0, and also had, also Leaky Pipes said Black Swan was coming soon. Ah, uh, so they stood no chance. Yeah, leakers, leaks can be also a good thing, but mainly they're a bad thing in my opinion, because... Yeah, <laughs> I, get, I bet you a lot of people like just saved up their jades because they did not want to spend on Argenti or Hua Hua. But alrighty, that is it for the 1.5 trailer. Now we're going to move on to the next Mary Celestia trailer. An exorcism in Fikesro Garden. So, okay, so this, this one should be revolving around Hua Hua, I think. Argenti is chat and funny, funny, perfect description. I believe uh, in an IRL event, Hoyo actually copyright a rose cultivar just for him. Really? They did that just for Argenti? I'm gonna have to look that up later. What the heck? <laughs> okay, but uh, next up, we have another uh, Myriad Celestia teaser for uh, Hua Hua, and I guess maybe all the lore involving uh, Tail. And the fight's your guard and whatnot. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play right here. Okay, this one's two minutes. When the the other ones were usually three galaxy, minutes long. Inevitably made strange beings. Oh yeah, that's tail speaking. So lots of spooky stories start with these encounters. <laughs> okay, I, I like the art style change. On one such occasion, a new Ted Lord's commission judge received a decree Aww. to subdue a demon. Ho oh, ho looks so fucking adorable in this animation. Where are ah, you creepy kid. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, this animation is adorable. Huh? A compass? Uh, it can't be. Oh. Uh, is that a tombstone? Or not a gravestone? Oh god! <laughs> Shrey, what the fuck? <laughs> Careful. I can't help but feel bad for Huo. <laughs> Ah, Hanya! <laughs> oh, <laughs> this, all this is heavily reminding me of. Have you guys seen the anime Bochi the Rock? This is heavily giving me like vibes off of that anime. <laughs> knock knock. The door is what the hell? Hold much longer. Knock knock. The door's coming down. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, pack it up, ladies and gentlemen. Ho Ho is dead. Up oh, in this, in this tail. You asked for a spooky tail to grow some guts, didn't you? Bro. This is what you faced on your first day. 
What are you shaking in your boots? <laughs> oh, come on. Not cool, Tail. Not cool. <laughs> yeah, just knocks her soul back into her. That's enough courage training for today. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? It ain't nothing yet. <laughs> Aww. I feel, I feel so bad for Hoha, honestly. She has, like, just the worst luck when it comes to everything in Star Rail, honestly. <laughs> Aww. Hanya murdered her in broad moonlight. <laughs> yeah. And, and Shui, too, to some extent. In my opinion, Hoha was a reference to Bochi the Rock, yeah. The poor girl has, like, so much anxiety <laughs> in her life that she's gonna, like, break. Yeah. Shui is supposed to be dead, but she gets time in the living world based on how many criminals she catches. Oh, I didn't know that about her. Oh. Really now? I thought I thought she was just like resurrected, but she gets like a puppet body. Hmm. Yeah, I do know Ho is like a very, very good support, but unfortunately I wasn't able to pull for her because uh, I was saving up for the for Ruan Mei, who I failed to get. And speaking of, uh, actually, no, 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 we're not, we're not to run me yet. Uh, who's the next trailer? Oh yeah, Ho Ho's trailer. All right. Also, uh, yeah, Ho Ho's trailer. All right. So yeah, we'll go Ho Ho's trailer. Should I watch this one, The Moment Among the Stars, even though it's like thirty seconds? Or do you, or do you guys want me to jump immediately to Argenti's trailer? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna watch Ho Ho's trailer in a bit here, but should I watch this Moment Among the Stars uh, trailer, even though it's like only 30 seconds, or should I just skip it? Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys let me know. Shui is a puppet. Her time in the living world is measured by the criminals she catches. I see, okay. One of the BP Lycones says, yeah, I, I, I do know Shui died and she got a puppet body, yeah. Watch it, animated trail trailer for Ho Ho. Okay, then yeah, then then yeah, I will watch uh, that trailer then uh, after Ho Ho's trailer. But already we're up to Ho Ho's trailer, Knights of Thrills. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I will watch that thirty second one, uh, thirty second trailer, like yeah, after this one. But already, uh, yeah, yeah, let's play. I'm not honestly not sure what to expect for this trailer. Other than her just getting scared twenty four seven. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> did, you, did you see how fucking fast she ran? Oh my god. You scared me. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Gwyn Effin's here too. <laughs> oh, this music though. Gwyn sick. <laughs> I love that she freaking beats enemies up with her freaking flag. Wow. <laughs> oh god, fucking Cirrus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these visuals though. Holy shit. Oh yeah, her, her ultimate. Honestly, super, super cool looking. What the fuck? Oh, oh, Tails possessing her, okay. Did you see the way she fucking dodged that freaking attack? That was super badass. Holy shit, epilepsy warning. Holy shit. <laughs> And the Star Rail logo's on fire. <laughs> Mr. Chiu, why do I feel like I've forgotten something important? You talking about that little juggling girl? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh... <laughs> uh, Grey Knife and might need your help there, <laughs> Fushuan. Okay, this is, a, this is a silly but also adorable little trailer for, for Hoa Hoa. I like how she makes her Talesman and shares the template on Twitter. 
You can make uh, her tailspin and add a face if you like. Oh, really now? Domain expansion, yeah, that, the, the freaking fingers, yeah, that's essentially her domain expansion. Hang on, let me let me go back to it here. Uh? Domain expansion! <laughs> and then, yeah, Sirius gets fucked. Well, Holy shit, <laughs> I never even realized all the freaking shit that's flying around her. <laughs> Her weapon is a white flag, represents, represents surrender. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just such a funny little detail. <laughs> I wonder if Wohoa can actually do that without Tails' help. I do wonder that too, actually. Like, yeah, can Wohoa just do all this shit by herself? Like, and, like, and she doesn't need Tail? Or, or was that all Tails doing? I wonder. She could, but she would probably be scared of all hell. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> Alrighty, but that's uh, Hohos and Tails trailer uh, done. And you guys wanted me to watch the uh, Moment Among the Stars. Hello, I'm Hoho. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, we'll watch this one next, even though it's like only 40 seconds long. Because you guys said it was like animated, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and see it, because usually these animated teasers go really, really hard, so... Alrighty, Moment Among the Stars. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hoho. 40 seconds long. No. Hello, I'm Hohua, the newly appointed judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Gosh, she's so tiny. <laughs> oh, Aww. What else should I mention? <laughs> uh, hello. Don't forget to introduce the most famous Helio bus of all. Two. Uh, this is two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was it? Oh, so it's just like, yeah, a little animated teaser for her. Holy shit, though. Does Tail really get that big? Because Tail is not this big in the game. <laughs> like, Ho Ho's Tail is not that big in game. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, Phil, welcome to stream. Welcome. Oh, this one's the one animated by Ufotable. Okay. <laughs> so I guess they saved up the... <laughs> they got Ufotable to do, like, a 40-second trailer, because if they did a three-minute one, it would be, like, more expensive or something, I guess. Sometimes I wish the box cutter was a weapon instead. Oh yeah, doesn't she like wield the box cutter sometimes? Oh yeah, she wields it in her um in her like a splash art or no no her splash art light cone, right? Yeah. Although that that would be kind of scary if her weapon was the actually the box cutter, honestly. Yeah, I kinda prefer the flag over the box cutter, I'm not gonna lie. Although it would be interesting to see, like if uh it, it would have been interesting to see her, like, replace the weapon with the box cutter, honestly. She has a talisman, yes, but Tails just does some help when needed, I see. But yeah, that was a, that was a cute little 40-second uh, trailer for Hua Hua. Okay, so next up, we have Argenti's trailer, and then... Uh, okay, then after that, we'll do one yeah, the 1.6 trailer, and then we should be pretty much all caught up uh, after we do all uh, view all these trailers. So yeah, next up, we have Argenti's uh, chiv Chivalric romance Romances. Genshin will be delayed for five years if it's any longer. <laughs> we stand against okay, uh, let me pause it here. Hang on, Argenti, let me full screen, please. All right. Okay, yeah. So next up, we have Argenti's trailer, Chivaric Romances. All right. <laughs> Silly man is here. <laughs> Young D. Look is here. We stand against ill repute. <laughs> Argenti. We champion our renown. Whoa. Okay. Blindly. Very different from the other trailers. Devoutly. The beauty is universal. She is within our grasp and beyond the expanse of the cosmos. <laughs> our genti of the honor clad swears to you. The beauty is eternal. Okay, that's a, that's a cool splash art transition. What the fuck? Legend tells of a lone beast. Deep <laughs> in the, the hell? Are they that amazing? <laughs> did you did you hear how the music just kind of died out <laughs> at the end there? Also, what the hell is he doing on the Astro he Express? Knights of beauty, are they that amazing? <laughs> Legend tells of a lone beast deep in the Act stars. Act two, chivalry of a knight. Oh, these are axe. Okay. It has scales tough as armor. Minions keen <laughs> and powerful. 
<laughs> Why is he chasing Bob Bob? Oh, what the fuck? It seems that you also have the Why do I feel like he just infiltrated the Astro Specs and it's just doing whatever the fuck he wants? <laughs> Act 3. Oh shit, bugs. It is my fate to cross the stars alone. <laughs> I, can't, I can't take this man seriously sometimes. The darkness ends here. Holy thorns! The the oh yeah, and her, his burst. Holy shit! Till I draw my last breath. For Bam! Time. Oh yeah, for Idrila. Yeah, the Ian of Beauty, right? Oh shit! More bugs. Until I see that light once more, I shall protect beauty everywhere. Act four. We shall meet again somewhere. Again, somewhere in the universe. <laughs> What was he doing here? Motion directed by Argenti, written by Argenti. Argenti, Argenti, own, the owner of evil, Pom Pom. Extras, March, Trailblazer, Honka. <laughs> Wait, even the, even the logo's different for Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> what the heck? Uninvited guests of Swarm. Extra, Don Hung, extra, Himiko, extra, Welt. <laughs> it's fucking. So this was just a whole ass play to him, essentially. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell did I just watch? Oh my god. Yeah, he, he is so goddamn extra. Our get the embody so, but you didn't do anything meme. Oh yeah. <laughs> My job here is done. But but you didn't do anything. Huzzah! <laughs> Fare thee well, Trailblazers. Do you look if his dad didn't die? <laughs> his alt's just not the most beautiful name out of all of them. I see. Oh yeah, I do know that again. Like, yeah, in a few days, we'll get an animated short of uh, Gui Naifen and uh, Su Shang for Chinese New Year. But I think I'll watch that when uh, it does come out. But like yeah, in a different uh, Star Real live stream. All right, but that's Argenti's trailer done. We're slowly but surely making our ways up to uh, where we are now. Uh, so next up, I think uh, yeah, we have the 1.6 trailer. Okay, how many do we have left? Okay, so yeah, we're up to recent, the, the, the most recent update. So yes, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and watch the 1.6 trailer. So Dr. Ratio and Ruan Mei came out in this update, and I believe Shuei came out as well. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and watch version, uh, yeah, the version 1.6 trailer, Crown of the Mundane and Divine. Alrighty. Let's uh, give it a play. I thought member four, Hoka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most Aww, of the Peppy. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, oh yeah, and also the the, whole, the event with the creations was also released in this update. Oh yeah, and the new weekly boss too. Class one clearance zone. Permission status. Madame There she is. You don't know about the space station. It's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. Honestly, she has the prettiest character design, honestly. Even though I was kind of weeded out by her in her trail based mission, I still do like her design a lot. No. A genius move. There he is. The man with the plaster head. Dr. Ratio. Look trouble. A portrait of internal turmoil. Honestly, I find Dr. Ratio a bit more funny than Argenti. I'm not sure if that's a hot take, but Dr. Ratio is just... I know, he's just hilarious with his bluntness. Oh, what the fuck? Asta, what the hell is going on? The hell is this? I, I didn't see this in the Trailways mission. Oh wait, this might be in the trailer's mission that I have not completed yet. Oh, well, spoilers. How ostentatious. Oh yeah, this also... Yeah, was uh, when Golden Gears was released as well. <laughs> Shit, okay, I don't know what's happening with Asta there, but... I guess maybe we'll find out in the next trailer's mission. Oh yeah, Shuei was releasing his update too. And also, yeah, goals and gears. Hey, that's a pretty good trailer. <laughs> Honestly, I think... <laughs> I think Dr. Rachel's just gotta be, like, my favorite character. <laughs> like, out of the, the entirety of 1.6. Because, I don't know, just his bluntness 
And just the shit he says sometimes is just so funny. He's creepy but elegant. <laughs> Dr. Veretta's Chad ratio, yeah. After seeing Dr. Ratio, I wish, I wish professors were real. Do the uh, Dr. Ratio mission, you'll get a foreshadowing for P. Akani. Yeah, I will do that, but maybe in like a separate stream. I'm not sure when I'm going to stream Honkai Star Rail again, but yeah, the next time I do play Star Rail, I will do the uh, yeah, Dr. Ratio mission. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I can't believe we got this man for free. Like, I wonder if they bring that up here. Like, yeah, you get Dr. Ratio for freaking free. Oh, yeah, and then you got all these events. I was actually, like, live in this, uh, or, like, mostly active in this update, so I did manage to do most of the events in uh, 1.6, thankfully. <laughs> Fail! Get out! <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, yeah, it's just a shitty sense in combat as well. Zero points! It's just so, so funny. Okay, but that's it for uh, version, yeah, the version 1.6 trailer. Uh, what do we have up next? Oh, okay, another Myriad Celestia teaser for Ruan Mei this time. And then we have uh, Ruan Mei's trailer. Then uh, Dr. Ratios. Then another one, uh, Scene 33. Ooh. And then, yeah, well, basically, these are the last few trailers, and then we'll be caught up with uh, present times. So, yeah, let's go ahead and begin with, uh, oops, I didn't mean that. I meant to right-click it, but oh well. Uh, hang on, let me pause here before we uh, watch this. Yeah, let me just go back. <laughs> go back to Starvio YouTube channel, because I forgot to open it in a new tab. Dr. Ratio is Sheldon if you get replace, replace the Geo... Or the geek with the chat energy. Yeah, I, I guess I do see that, yeah. Yeah, these are like the, yeah, the last few trailers we have left. Holy shit, five hours later and we're finally getting caught up with the end. Alright, let's uh, go for the final stretch here. Alright. Uh, Mirit Celestia trailer, another one. Transcend Run Tunes. Blushing May Blooms. Damn, bars. Ooh, this one's great. Okay, yeah, you guys are, uh, yeah, you guys said this trailer was really, really good, so I can't wait to see what this is all about, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give it a play. Mother, your letters are always welcome. Hmm. The plum blossoms bloom and wither, and I occasionally catch a scent of... I also do gotta say, I like Ruan May's voice as well. I am thinking back to the research in my childhood, together with you in no man's land. That comfy cabin, teeming with boundlessly joyous forms of life. Those days are unforgettable. Okay, someone for correct me if I'm wrong, but of the is Ron made from the Cien show? Because she has like the Cien show clothes on. Oh, wait, wait, is that her when she was young? Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Lamenting the process of life is the origin of my thinking. I guess that wasn't. Yeah, that's what inspired her to become a researcher or genius. Something pure. Attachment involves the insular cortex, which controls anxiety and pain. Hmm. The laws of emotion can be easily broken down. Children will become more well behaved when they receive random rewards. When I discovered how easy it was to cultivate a planet, I began to She made a whole ass planet? What the heck? I <laughs> okay, I did not know she did that. For more fundamental research. I know she's like basically becoming to like become an E on herself. But I didn't think she had the capabilities of creating a whole planet. I was terrified of its appearance. It is born of wonder, does not resist, and does not grieve. Oh, that's her. It is the closest thing to the feeling I had when I was <laughs> Yeah, that's Ron made screw them, right? And she's just ignoring them. It asked me. Whoa, beach drop. Life is so colorful, but it has nothing to do with me. I explore the mysteries of the universe. What the hell? Deeper answers. I have nothing to lose. And nothing to gain. If life is cultivated and reproduced, whoa, you can dissect remembrance, control equilibrium, deconstruct beauty, and reproduce permanence. Okay, yeah, she essentially wants to become an eon. Understand life and 
touch on these conceptions. And perhaps I too can become an eon. You become an eon, yep. I don't know why it was censored. <laughs> Hey, look, she's watching us play Star Rail. Oh, wow, she's watching us get wrecked by the fucking swarm disaster. Oh, that's where the Ruan May Blessing come to play. I see. Yeah, because I know you can randomly stumble upon them. Uh, oh, wow, they, wow, are they just doing this every time? They're just going to change a logo for every character demo? Because honestly, that that <laughs> that's cool. Yes, she basically wants to become an Eon, I see. And that's, yeah, that's just an insane ambition. My goodness. I wonder if she, I wonder if she will be able to, like, like, like accomplish her goal. And if she does, like, like, yeah, will we get, like, a six-star version of her or something? She's playing Simi Universe, I see. I have yet to get that Ruan Mei occurrence, especially part one. She's training us with rewards to assist her, I see. They changed the HSR logo, but Topaz didn't get one. Oh yeah, Topaz's logo did not change. <laughs> I wonder what's up with that. I wonder why only certain characters get a logo change in their trailers. That is interesting, yeah. Ronmei's basically yeah, playing God. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, they changed logos for everyone after Jing Liu, but for, for some reason, Topaz didn't get one. I wonder why that's the case. I, I guess they couldn't come up with a logo for Topaz and Numphy. <laughs> okay, but uh, that is Ruan Mei's uh, Myriad Celestia trailer done. And now we're going to move on to more Ruan Mei with her character trailer. In all does life flow. Okay, another, another trailer, and then, oops, pause. And then how many do we have left? Uh, yeah, which are the ones I want to watch? Okay, Dr. Ratio's trailer is one. The Myriad Celestia trailer is another one. Do I want to watch, like, these two? The promotion cartoon and the uh, Sweet Dreams preview? Because if that's so, then we only have, like, four trailers to go after this one. Watch the Game Wars trailer? Oh, wait, the Game Wars trailer, where is it? Where? Wait, which one? Oh, this one. Oh, are you saying I should watch this one? The uh, TGA uh, Candid City. Those ones are great. Watch them. All right. Uh, but one of you guys are saying watch this one right here. Uh, yeah, the TGA Candid City video. A story that never grows dull. Hmm. Watch. Yeah, should I watch the, the Game Awards one as well? Watch Clocky and Tatalov. Both are great contexts of Pinaconi. Okay, yeah then, yeah, then I will watch them. Okay, you guys seem to also want me to watch the Game Awards one as well, so... Yeah, alright, yeah, yeah, I'll watch that one after I watch uh, Ruan Mei's trailer here. But alrighty, Ruan Mei's trailer now. In all does life flow. Alright, <laughs> let's get into this... Uh... Let's get more of this crazy scientist, or this crazy wannabe god. Spring. A joyous mood does it bring. Whoa, what is this place? A chilly wake whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> blossom in a mess. Where is the home I miss? Only remembered in drunken bliss. Rhymes. Oh, looks like it's tea time. Ooh. Oh, the guitar though! The Holy shit! We'll always weather. A never ending cycle of melody. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll you guys answered this, but is it's she from the Skien Show? Because a lot about her just screams like Chinese aesthetics. <laughs> and the little creations as well. Waiting around is also a change. Whoa, uh, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that you're pretty much 
keeping bugs <laughs> in the space station. God, why are all the beautiful women of, uh, of Star Rail crazy? <laughs> Every petal in life's garden will meet a day when it... Oh, pfft, lag. Oh, God. <laughs> by the wind's call, for it not. Oh, God, I'm not sure why it's lagging now, but... Value. Okay. Uh, yeah, she also gets a logo change. But, well, no, she got a logo change in the previous trailer, too, but... Yeah, I don't, don't know why Topaz didn't get one. Yeah, why are all the beautiful women of Star Rail also crazy? What, we have Kafka, Jing Liu, and now Ruan Mei. Why are they all freaking insane in their own ways? Ruan Mei so OP in Simon University, literally one shots. Okay, okay, she isn't part of Sienjo. Okay, I just thought she has like a Chinese dress on, so I thought she was part of Sienjo, never mind. I wanted to play Freebird solo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what, what, what the like is, like, all about. Holy shit, 100 viewers! Hi, everybody! Welcome to the stream, welcome! We're about to finish up all the trailers of Honkai Star Rail. Uh, and yeah, the next one uh, you guys want me to watch is, uh... Yeah, the, the Game Awards one, so yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and watch that one next. But yeah, hi, my name is Space Edge, and uh, yeah, I'm very much new to Star Rail. Well, new is a, a very generous term. I've been playing Star Rail for a good while now, but I've never really dived super deep into it because I was, I'm was i busy with like Genshin and whatnot. But yes, as of right now, I've done the most, yeah, the Ruan Mage Freyblaze mission and none of the command ship quests. And yeah, right now I'm going back to the very beginning of Star Rail and watching all the trailers up till now. Yeah, to see the uh, to see that yeah from the beginning till the present times before Pika and it comes out. But alright, you guys wanted me to watch uh yeah this one, the the game awards uh video. A story that never grows dull. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and watch this one as well. There's a reason saying don't stick your dick in crazy. She was also listening to Chinese opera in the Mirror Celestia uh trailer, which is very interesting. Yeah, I wonder why is that? She isn't in for who knows, she might be from a Japanese adjacent planet, or Chinese clothes and Japanese are very similar. True, true. She embodies classic Chinese beauty, yeah. Which is why I'm surprised she's not part of Sienjo. Or, yeah, anything like close to it. But alrighty, next uh, trailer up. TGA Candidacity video. Story that never grows dull. So you guys said this one also teases a uh, peanut connie. Which is I'm very, very curious about, because, yeah, that is coming up in the uh, in next update, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and give it a view. Do you still remember oh, Black Swan is here. Fables about the stars. Its stories tell of what is and what was. Its pages will oh, always me. reveal something Well, Kalos. The journey begins with Bellabog. <laughs> Aw, they, they, they reuse the hook animation at the end of Ethereum Wars. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so funny seeing Brawny do the peace pose. Oh yeah, Argenti. Okay, so this is pretty much like the summary of like the journey so far. Like, kind of trailer, yeah. Suffering and joy will both be added to the final draft of the story. Yeah, this is, yeah, the journey so far, essentially. Oh, dude, this music, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Die, foul bug. The path of the trailblaze will continue. Perhaps, on one of these pages, I'll appear in your story, too. Uh, yeah, you're, you're appearing- oh, yeah! Yeah, okay, I saw this trail live, actually. Young lady, may I ask your name? Acheron. Yeah. The Galaxy Ranger. I actually did saw this- this trail live when I was watching the Game Awards of 2023. I guess I just kind of forgot about it till now. And yeah, just didn't know Pinacane was a thing up till I- yeah, up till this live stream. I see, and yeah, so that was like the very first, like, yeah, showing of, uh, of Acheron. 
Stream lag? Wait, we're all good now? Okay, okay. Then I'll just continue for, forward then. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, but yeah, that does it for the Game Awards trailer. And uh, yeah, the reveal of Acheron and also Black Swan. And yeah, the teasing of Pinaconi for the very first time. Okay, so now where are we up to now? Okay, we're all good? Okay, nice. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're at the final stretch here, folks. We're at the final few trailers. I didn't think we'd take a whole five hours to watch all these, but... Yeah, um, the last ones we got to do is Dr. Ratio's trailer, the Myriad Celestia trailer, the cartoon, uh, Tatalov, and then, you want know for the sake of it, yeah, we will watch the version 2.0 trailer again, why don't we? But alrighty, yeah, let's uh, bring out Dr. Ratio's uh, trailer here. <laughs> I'm very curious to see what his one's all about. Because honestly, from the little bit we've seen of Dr. Ratio so far, I already love him. He's already like my favorite Knowledge character. Oh shoot! Hey, pause. Okay, okay, I'm ready now. All right, let's uh, full screen this as well. That award show earned us a free education. <laughs> but alrighty, Doctor Ratio's trailer, supreme idiocy. <laughs> All right, watching now. Knowledge is as vast as the universe itself. Ooh, I like the music playing right and now. Within the Intelligentsia Guild, there is a also, who's speaking right now? That's not Ratio, right? Maverick. <laughs> Luminary. <laughs> every action I love this man so much. A quiet. Hey, yo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the? Ignorance is a malady that okay. <laughs> I am Veritas Ratio. Pause. What the fuck? <laughs> A quiet grand. Hey, yo! <laughs> okay, I, 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 I know his light cone is him in a bathtub, but I don't, I don't think they actually show him in a bathtub. What, what the fuck? <laughs> Ignorance is a malady that must be cured. I am Veritas Ratio. Is that actually in the game? <laughs> Do I actually get to see Dr. Ratio in a bathtub in-game? Should your mind exhibit symptoms of <laughs> What the hell? I was not expecting that. Free to give the doctor a call. What the shit? You learn to know yourself. Oh yeah, and his freaking statues. <laughs> enemy. But it can still require encouragement. I'm not sure what that- Zero what's that he's chasing. Points. Next. <laughs> zero points, zero points. Negative one, negative two. Oh shit, is that a Heliobi? <laughs> Not bad. Five points. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, now die. <laughs> Whoa, this music though. Copying others rarely leads to improving <laughs> results. I like his voice as well. Let's test your knowledge. Like whoever does the voice work for you Dr. Ratio run. is Yes, yeah, superb. Success. Just as my calculations predict, Patient breed success. Did you really need to say it like that? Of intellect. <laughs> does he, there's even bubbles in everywhere around the Staria logo. What the hell is this trailer? <laughs> L plus ratio. Ratio's full of JoJo references. Yeah, I saw like through all the all those statues as well. Somewhere in Hoyo's office is a naked ratio model. <laughs> yeah, we gotta break into Hoyo, folks. We gotta bring it's like breaking into Area 51 to get like the aliens. We gotta break into Hoyo headquarters to get the naked Dr. Ratio model. <laughs> we must get that model. It's part of a story quest? Oh. Oh shit. Well, now I'm tempted to play Dr. Ratio story quest now. <laughs> okay, but that. <laughs> but that's it for uh, Dr. Ratio's uh, trailer. God, though. <laughs> Patient. Patience breeds success. No need to rush. Patience breeds success. They they know what they're fucking doing with it. Hoya knows what the what the hell what they're doing with that goddamn line. Good lord. <laughs> There's a ratio statue in Hoyo headquarters? Is there? I need to look that up <laughs> as soon as I can after this live stream's over.
Oh yeah, drip marketing. Right, right, right. Drip marketing for Genshin. Yeah, we'll do that after we're done with Star Rail, though. Yeah, we'll we'll look at the Hoya Twitter to see if they drip marketed anything um for four point five. Yeah. Also, why does he have an obsession with, with ducks? <laughs> like, why is there a rubber ducky in in his logo? Test of intellect. Man loves bathing, unlike most uh, Genshin players. The logo's under his bathtub. Oh, is it? Oh, I guess it is, yeah, because it's like underwater and everything, I see. <laughs> Can't help but be jealous for the bathtub. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I cannot wait to play the uh, the, the next Trailblaze mission, like the last one I have. And yeah, see more of Dr. Ratio. I love this man too much. He's, he's, he's so funny. <laughs> okay, but now... It's time we go ahead and get a move on to what's probably like the next, the most interesting trailers next. So we got the Myriad Celestia trailer. I, I know everybody was like raving about this one. And then we also have the Pinakani uh, cartoon and then also the Great Tatalov. So yeah, these are like the last three ones I have not seen yet. So we'll begin with this one. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the last Myriad Celestia teaser before uh, Pinakani comes out. Panacone. Panacone, right. That's how, I'm, uh, that's how I'm pronouncing it, right. I, I'm sorry if I've been mispronouncing Panacone this whole time. I keep calling it Panacone. It's Panacone. Gotta ingrain that in my brain. Panacone, right. Hello, I am patient. Are you success? <laughs> you goddamn simps, I swear to God. You don't have a rubber ducky when you bathe? I, I bathe in a shower. Like, I have a shower. I don't have a bathtub. My house can't fit a bathtub, unfortunately. <laughs> don't forget the in-game assignments, character materials, and quotes for materials. And then the Brawny CEO thing. Okay, yeah, I will remember that for, like... Yeah, for when we are done with all the, uh... Done with all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a funny Dr. Ratio song, song in the 2024 Hoyo Fair. Really, now? Yeah, I gotta look all of these up when I, uh... Yeah, when I'm done watching all these trailers. Insert the barking now! <laughs> okay, enough simping for now. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's watch this... Yeah, a Celestia... Or Myriad Celestia trailer. A Night of Everflame, scene 33. Alright. planet of festivities. Who the fuck? Cradle, drowning, and dreams Who? Are are these new characters? The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. The golden blood will flow from the destruction. As oh. Them, Ooh, what the? Are they sacrificing a goat? This marks your rite of passage. A <laughs> large Eyeball, no. Eyes and showed you music of the string. <laughs> this trailer is like creepy. The harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Father? Oh. Do Apple. I set your former light and taught you mass. Okay, real, real creepy trailer so far. Temper it with sulfur. Made the elation and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, Father. Father? Who, who are these characters speaking? Katarina? Who are all these characters talking? And Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pentecone's midnight hour, oh, away all the are these like the villains for Pentecone? Whoa, okay, that is <laughs> hello, Satan. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Whoa, who's who, who are these? Who are these guys? Pessimism might be wise. What if we all end up dead? Oh god, okay, these guys are evil, all right. <laughs> Since when have those on the path of destruction? Hello, big cello man, what the heck? Still, it 
is wise to plan ahead, Father. Who are these guys? What the fuck? She, she is she a puppet? Back if things become perilous. What the shit? Back. Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is brave and heroic to cling. I like these guys' character designs. Holy shit. These guys have killer character designs, honestly. See for its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. This is this is someone giving me vibes of like the Harbinger's trailer for Genshin. Duke Inferno. Is that this guy's name? Oh. Yeah, are these guys the villains of Pina Connie? Hey, who are these guys? I, I, then let me read the description. Maybe I can learn a bit more about them. The Everflame Mission Destruction. The Blazing Inferno Speaks. Oh, these are their names. Duke Inferno. Akash the Tuner. Dubra the Scribe. Katarina the Shacklebound. Constance the Dahlia. Wait, Jennifer Losey is voicing Dahlia? <laughs> That's Yoimiya's VA, is it not? Okay, I guess I recognize the VA from somewhere. Oh, Kaylee, and Kaylee Millis is uh, Kaching's VA, is it not? Who, who, who were these guys? The Everflame Mansion, the members of the Annihilation Gang. Oh! Yeah, we heard about that earlier in one of the earlier trailers, right? Huh. Notice how his clothes are the same as the Duke Relic set. Ooh. Also, like, the Relic set that um, in Flagstar Garden. Okay, so maybe I can learn a bit more about him if I... Yeah, if I um read the relic descriptions. The blazing inferno speaks. The sweetest dreams have burned my flowers and brought my demise. And yeah, they were like talking. Uh, yeah, scene thirty three. Is Elio seeing like predicting the scene as well, or hmm, what's that all about? We currently assume these villains are for Pinaconi. Yeah, honestly, all these character designs look super badass. Hold on, let me, let me go back to each and every one of them. Uh, full screen. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Yeah, this chick, it's like... It's kind of like... She's giving me, like, Beto vibes, but she's evil. Katarina, a little pessimism might be... Oh, right. her name's Katarina, the, the red hair chick. we all end up dead? Oh god, yeah, she she's evil. <laughs> Since when have those on the path? And then we have this this yeah, this freaking guy with a cello. Still, and this what are this puppet lady? Yeah, uh, that's creepy. And then this like ghost possessing her or something. And then Duke Infer Inferno, this guy in the middle. Holy shit, his his design looks badass. F a fucking flaming skull, like well, yeah, like a like a moose skull with like a freaking crown, a burning crown over his head. Holy shit, th these are some badass designs. Holy what? Yeah, this is like reminding me of like the Harbingers trailer for Genshin, where we like got introduced to like all uh, eleven Harbingers. Scene 47 sets up scene 33. Okay, so so are they so they're responsible for what burning the planet we saw in that Kafka trailer? Interesting. Int interior part of the script writing format. Oh. It's all probably part of Elio's scripts. Hmm. The Japela Brotherhood and Everflame Mansion are two factions in the gang. Oh. Each child of Inferno are assigned to a faction at Pinaconi. Okay, so we're probably not going to be able to see all of them, but maybe one of these guys will show up in Pinaconi. Akash Harmony Family. Dubra Alation Sparkle. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Katarina Preservation Adventurine. Huh. She looks like... Uh, Lady Demetress, uh, slash Albedo from Overlord. Yeah, um, this chick right here is giving me, like, yeah, Lady Demetresque vibes. Although she's, like, not as tall as Lady Demetresque. 
But yeah, the horns around her head? The the white dress? The long ass hair? Yeah, heavy, heavy, like Lady Demetress vibes, yeah. They're just mad Nanook never noticed them. I yeah, I, I really gotta look into this. Um what are they called again? Uh let me scroll up. Oh, you mean Shui, right, right, right. Yeah, the the annihilation gang. Yeah, I really gotta look into these guys now, cause what the hell? <laughs> they all look super badass. Yeah, I'm gonna I wanna know more about them. Oh, it means their targets are Pinaconi. Oh, they're hunting. Oh, okay, so Akash is hunting the family. Dubra's hunting Sparkle. Katarina's hunting Aventurine. Constance is hunting Black Swan. Ooh. Interesting. So each of these guys in Pinaconi has, has like a target on their back, essentially. Oh. Okay, so we might see like one of these guys kill one of those characters in Pinaconi. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. Uh, which, uh, which one is named which one now? So I, okay, so red hair girl is named Katarina. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, Duke Inferno is the... Yeah, Duke Inferno is, uh... The, the 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 guy with the flaming skull, Akash, the tuner. Okay, I'm I'm guessing Akash is the guy with the giant cello, and Kat. Okay, uh, okay. Which one's Katarina? Which one's Dubra? Like, yeah, the 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 lady Demetress looking girl. Um, her. Uh, wh what's her name? Is is she Dubra or is she Katarina? Do Dr. Rachel's quest, you get foreshadowing for them. Okay, I see. She has a tail. I'm guessing she's a demon of some sort. Yeah, I noticed that as well. She has like a burning tail over here. Yeah, that, that's legit like a demon's tail. Hmm. I'm guessing she's... She's Constance? Alright, yeah, Katarina is the red-haired girl. I'm guessing... Akash is the giant cello man, and... Dubra is the puppet girl? They basically made a community post with all the names. Okay, then I will look up that community post, like, maybe later on. Akash is a guy, Dubra is a puppet, Katarina is a red-haired lady, Constance is a black-haired lady. Okay, I see. So this is, yeah, alright, got it. Holy shit, though. Okay, so, that means I guess we're gonna see these guys in, a. Uh, yeah, in, in, in Pinaconi, hunting each of these targets down. Ooh, <laughs> then the stakes are like, yeah, truly, truly high in uh, 2.0. Oh, I cannot wait, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait for 2.0 now, now that I know th that these guys are going to be a part of it. Holy shit. <laughs> but already, that uh, concludes the Merit's uh, Celestia trailer. The last one until... um. 2.0 comes out, and that leaves us with uh, two more trailers. Uh, yeah, the cartoon uh, and the Great Tatalov. Okay, so yeah, we'll watch this cartoon first, because I think one of my viewers told me it's, um... Oh, what the... What's, what's with this aspect ratio? What the heck? Okay, this is certainly a weird aspect ratio for a Hoyo trailer. Okay. Do press reverse Clara. <laughs> Maybe rewatch with new context now. I think. Well, considering I only have like an like basically like half an hour left to stream, I don't think I can go back and rewatch. But maybe I'll rewatch like 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 uh, in my own time. Do press the puppet. Okay. Katharina, yeah, the red hair girl. Yeah. Okay, but uh, yeah, one of my viewers told me that this. It's pretty much a cartoon that uh, shows Clocky, the clock um, um, mascot that we saw in the 2.0 trailer. And yeah, you guys set to watch this, so I'll yeah I'll watch it right now. Pinaconi travel promotion cartoon TikTok. Come dream of us in Pinaconi. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's watch this one as well. And yeah, oh, what the. Yeah, this is like Mickey Mouse, <laughs> like, like, like Disney, like uh, old cartoons. What the hell? I don't know what that says. Oh my god, he even sounds like Mickey. 
What the heck? He even has Mickey Mouse's laugh. Let's see all the wonders Panacone has to offer. Oh, okay, Clocky. I don't know what that says. <laughs> I don't read whatever language that is. You can see the busiest street in town. Blocks Avenue. So, I kind of like this, actually. This little cartoon. This place is number one for that Hoyo made? Just for Pinacone? Oh, Panacone. Panacone. That's how you say it. Get to hammer that into my brain. I don't know why. For some reason, I, I don't trust Clocky here. He seems innocent. He seems like a fun little mascot, but I... I know. Have you guys seen Loki? Like, the Loki TV show? Yeah, there's also, like, a mascot that, like, is evil in, the, in, uh, in Loki. And I don't know why Clocky here is giving me off that character's vibes. Yeah, I don't know why. I just don't trust Clocky. There's just something... something off about him. Oh. Don't know what that says. <laughs> Tick tock! Delicious! You can't leave Pinacone until you've tried a sip of Soul Glad. It's the beverage of your dreams! <laughs> yeah, this is the yeah, give me like this would be like a cartoon you would see like in the nineties, eighties or something. I really do appreciate like the yeah, the effort Hoy goes through to like imitate the style. <laughs> and the guy behind us all wet all over again. Yeah, holy shit, how how hard did they go with the animation here? Okay, what's this place now? Lock Studios theme park. Lock Studios place theme park. <laughs> yeah, totally not Disneyland. For entertainment. You might even run into my buddies. Oh, what the heck? Hamster ball night and Hanu. <laughs> Hamster ball night Hanu, not Donald and Goofy. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, they even have like the, the the static that most TVs would have in back at that time. Holy shit! I'm very impressed with this animation. And yeah, how similar it is to like old like Mickey Mouse cartoons and whatnot. The soda is very sus. Acid soda. Yeah, judging by the fact that they talk about the soda a lot, there's got to be like something off about it, right? Like, yeah, they, they really emphasize on the, on the soda a lot, so I wonder if it's, like, infused, like, drugs or something. Nobody trusts Clocky? Yeah, he's just very, very sus. I know he seems innocent enough to be, like, a Mickey Mouse kind of character, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, uh, something about him just, uh, it's very off-putting. It's like Destiny and Fallout had a creepy cult baby. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, because yeah, Fallout does animations like this, too, doesn't it? Yeah. He seems like a cult leader. He does seem like that, yeah. Okay, man, but yeah, that was a really, really good trailer. Holy shit. Like, yeah, I was curious why the aspect ratio changed. This is why. To fit, like, the old cartoons. Because, yeah, this is what the aspect ratio of, uh, uh, that they were watching, right? Back in those days. Yeah, I'm very, very much impressed with this animation. Holy shit. Yeah, thumbs up just for the animation alone. They they really went above and beyond with that. Holy shit. So glad Soda you can buy in the Sienjo. Oh. Yeah, it's like it's like Hawkeye Soda is Fanta. Or Fanta in Genshin terms. Alrighty, but uh now that we're done with the uh, promotion cartoon, that leaves us uh, one last trailer. Uh, the one I haven't seen. I don't. I think I'll skip out on the live, uh, live action dance music video because, uh, I think I can. Yeah, I can just leave that off for like my own time. All right, but yeah, the last trailer I have not seen in Star Rail, uh, Sweet Dreams, The Great Tatalov. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, just open here. Just try my best not to look at the preview. Open up, please. There we go. 
Uh, knowing it's written by... Have you heard nope. of Tatalov? Hang on. Uh, let me just back it up there. Knowing it's written by Elysian Realm, expect the unexpected. Hmm. Yeah, cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, cannot wait for Pinaconi, honestly. I'm, I'm as just as hype as all of you guys are. But I have so much to catch up on. It's, it's kind of insane, actually. Reminds me of Cuphead on how smooth it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it reminds you of. I was... Like, trying to think, like, what does this remind me of? Yeah, it reminds me of Cuphead. Yeah, with, like, the old animation styles and everything. Yeah, it's, like, super, super clean. The shitpost trailer? Here we go. Shitpost trailer? Okay. <laughs> now that you say that, I'm kind of curious to see what this trailer is all about. 1 minute 30 seconds long. Sweet Dreams preview the Great Tatalov. Okay. Alright. This is our very last trailer until, uh, we have to... Yeah, that, that's... Until we're, like, all caught up with Star Rail. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, hit play. Have you heard of Tatalov, the Garbage King? The One Garbage King? Oh, this is where the... This is where the garbage enemies were first shown? As well as the Sampo, what all the fuck? The waste in this world. Fortune, Why was Sampo fame, giant? Status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands. Yeah. He uplifts <laughs> trash cans that are humble and suppresses. Yeah, I did not know about these trash can enemies until the 2.0 trailer. That you know in across the cosmos, those with a dream flock to pay. Yeah, what the fuck, oh, yo. <laughs> Eventually, they took the trash meme to a serious new lengths. Oh, that's uh, Firefly, right? That's her name. However. Since the yeah, she's king adorable from looking. beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, oh. Tatalov's eyes have been blinded. Sampo? What the f- why, why is this trail focus on him? I oh, who are these guys? I don't know their names. To the trash bags. What? Then we'll be able to launch a Restore peace to the trash bags. Oh, all right. Oh, Acheron. Uh, oh, and Swan. Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Yeah, why is Sampo is all over this trailer? This is too much to bear. We must force the Garbage King to mend his ways under the banner of Skyfire. It's a great hey, Tatalov. What? what kind of nonsense is this? What the f- <laughs> I felt like I was on an, on an acid trip that whole trailer. Okay, so one, why are there trash can enemies? And two, why, why the hell is Sampo? Oh, wait, isn't that- <laughs> That's a Yamcha. <laughs> yeah, that's a Yamcha pose. <laughs> the the infamous freaking yeah pose of Yamcha dying <laughs> or not dying but getting knocked out in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Pina Coney, right, right, right. R remind me to say it right because God, my my brain is just so integrated with Panacone that I yeah, it's Pina Coney, right, right, right. I keep forgetting. Sunday and Robin. Oh, the, were, is that the names of these two guys? Hang on. Uh, play? YouTube? Is that their names now? However, since the thing from beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, Tatalov's eyes have been... Blinded. Yeah, what's going on with Sampo here? Okay, so... This is... Sunday and Robin. Okay, I'm guessing they're like siblings or something. Wow, they, they have really pretty designs. I like the little... Like, yeah, I like their hair jobs and also... Is, is that wings in their hair? Yeah, it, are those... Yeah, are these wings in their hair? Huh. And also like the, yeah, the little, I guess, crown or something that's on them? Yeah, that's a Dragon Ball reference. Yeah. <laughs> the Yamcha death pose. <laughs> Now you get why I say why I called this a chip post trailer? Yeah, I definitely see why that's the case. <laughs> Trey Wizard's trash cat's dreams come true. We should be able to date them. <laughs> Panacon, Panacani. Right, right, right. Panacani. I'm gonna hammer that into my brain the next time we I stream Star Rail. Panacani. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Watch Honkai Third Everlasting Flame? I, I think we watched that, like, earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, they're siblings? Okay. So I was right, then. <laughs> the Kami Sato siblings in Pentagon here. Yeah. 
They're angels? Oh, I, I, guess, I guess that explains the uh, little wings in their hair and everything. I see. Yeah, what is going on with Sampo here? Don't actually answer that. Maybe if it's answered in the game. And yeah, why are we with Acheron and Black Swan? Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Yeah, is, is Sample gonna appear in the. Uh, in, in Panacani? Is, is that what this trailer is saying? That Sampo is gonna be part of Panacani, even though he was on the Arena 6. The disgrace is too much to bear. Yeah. <laughs> and all we these freaking trash the beings. Mend his ways under the <laughs> I'm really not sure what they're all about. <laughs> February 6th. Uh, oh, yeah, isn't that the release date of uh, 2.0 as well? Yeah, is this all part of like the Trailblazer's dreams or something? Like all the trash bass become like all the trash kids become like sentient. Trash can good companionship quest when <laughs> Sapo does the Itachi thing to Trailblazer before uh, the Yamcha pose. Oh yeah, the little flick of their. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's uh, I haven't watched like Naruto in its full, so I guess I didn't get that at first. Tatalov's eyes have been blinded. Yeah, the little flick of the head. Oh, yeah, what's going on with Sampo here? Why why is his eyes like that? Why is his eyes like that? Hmm. In Trailblazer's dream? Okay, but if this is Trailblazer's dream, why is Sampo here? <laughs> Unless the tra the Trailblazer secretly sips for Sampo and we just don't know about it. It's a world of dreams, so we're not sure if this is real or if it's just a dream, to be honest. Oh, okay. So for all we know, the trash can and the trash can enemies could just be a figment of the yeah, the trailblazer's imagination. I see. What do you watch was Return to Not Everlasting Flame? Oh, okay. Um I think I may leave off all those other like uh yeah, videos for like another time because we, we're plenty stacked as is when it comes to videos. But hey, I think uh, with that, yeah, we're pretty much done in terms of, yeah, in terms of catching up with all of the Star Rail videos. And then we also have the version 2.0 music video. And you know what? Fuck it. Let me go ahead and play it because it's, it's a banger video. Hold up. Hey, YouTube, full screen. YouTube. Hey. Okay, there we go. <laughs> But yeah, any other videos you guys want me to watch, I think I'll watch like maybe in a different video or a different live stream or something. Because yeah, uh, I think I've um, streamed for like long enough and I may want to like continue this like on my next Honkai Star Real stream. But yeah, what we will watch last and foremost is the, yeah, the 2.0 uh, trailer. Like, yeah, you guys want to watch it one more time just for <laughs> just for the sake of it, even though I've already seen it. Sampo might or might not be there. Hmm. We took acid in, in Panacani and are finding out why people don't take acid. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll leave off the Honkai Impact stuff for, the, for another day. Yeah, the two-point height is so, so real. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and play White Knight one more time because why not? It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing trailer anyways. God, I... I was not expecting a music video when I tuned into the special program. But god, this is absolutely fucking fire! Okay, so yeah, now I know them. Yeah, Sunday and Robin. Misha... I... Uh... I forgot his name. Sparkle. Yeah, and Black Swan. Dude, this... This music's just so banger. God, I, I swear to God, nothing bad better happen to Firefly. <laughs> She's too adorable to have anything happen to her. Uh, and then Firefly just falls off. <laughs> yeah, this this opening, <laughs> this is essentially an anime opening. It's so fire. Oh yeah, and yeah, Akron and Sam are fighting apparently. I, I think that's what it is, anyways. Oh wait, that's the exact same. Yeah. 
Also, yeah, this part right here. Why is... Okay, uh, yeah, Sampo's here too in the version 2.0 trailer, fighting a giant trash can. <laughs> yeah, I really, really wonder what that's all about. Oh, God. 2.0 can't come soon enough. If one dreams at midnight. Oh, my God. Yeah, the 2.0 hype is so, so real. Gala Gallagher, right. That's that's his name. Also, correct me if I'm saying his name wrong. Uh, Yeah, Gallagher. Right, right, right. Run your CEO. Yes, 3 million views already, which is freaking insane. Yeah, the, the hype for 2.0 is so, so real right now. And yeah, I do love that, yeah, Aventurine and Kalos just dance together <laughs> with, like, their Michael Jackson poses and whatnot. It's so, it's so, so good. But alrighty, that is the very last um, trailer that is on the Honkai Star Radio YouTube channel. We're finally all caught up uh, six hours later. Holy shit. Yeah, I absolutely cannot wait for 2.0 to come out uh, for Honkai Star Rail. I do got to do the Genshin 4.4 stuff first, but once I'm done with Genshin, I will jump to Star Rail and I yeah, cannot wait to see what uh, 2.0 has. Uh, yeah, what, what, what's in 2.0? Especially the story. Like, yeah, I'm very, very much excited for what the story has in store for us. Acheron is crying at the end? Is she? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're talking about that. Okay, yeah, she is crying. I wonder why, though. Oh, goodness. Uh, Panacani's gonna hit us like a bag of bricks, I can already tell. But yeah, th th thanks for, uh, yeah, let me know, guys. But yeah, holy shit, this all releases on what? February 6th? Oh, goodness, I gotta, like, check my schedule to see if I can stream that. Yeah, there's so much I do want to do, like, in this one month in February. Because there's, like... Gadget 4.4 coming out in like two days. There's Persona 3 Reload, which is coming out on Friday, which I do want to stream on Twitch. There's also Hawkeye Star Rail 2.0. It's just like so much good stuff coming out like this month that I <laughs> that I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. February, okay. Okay, so then maybe February 7th I'll be streaming yeah, two, the 2.0 update. Hopefully, anyways. Yeah, if I if I can make time to stream the Dr. Ratio, um uh mission i will yeah try and play 2.0 on the 7th of february so if you guys want to catch me playing the 2.0 update be sure you subscribe and yeah turn on those notifications so you know when my streams go live and know when to catch me when i'm playing yeah genshin and star rail and also follow me on my twitch channel if you want to catch me playing persona 3 below which comes out within a few days from now yeah february 6th right 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 okay but uh yeah, and also Sam singing the shadows. So yeah, that's a super cool, cool detail as well. I really want to know about Sam. I, I want to know, like, why is he in all this armor and whatnot? Yeah, that could mean anything for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, to be honest. But yeah, cannot wait for Panacani to come out. Okay, and then moving on to Genshin. For those, uh, for those of you who are my Genshin viewers here. Uh, yeah, the 4.5 trailer uh, characters were just teased. Uh... Okay, okay, so it seems like it's just Chiori. But hey, there she is. Yep, she was introduced uh, in the in the 4.3, and here she is, Chiori. Uh, what's her element? That's the one thing I do want to know. Oh, she, oh, yeah, she's Geo, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, we, we already knew she was Geo. Duh. <laughs> right. But yeah, look at that splash shot, though. Wait, does she have a... Is she... Oh, oh she's wielding a sword, but it looks like it's like a pickaxe at the end there. What the hell? <laughs> And he, wait, wait, yeah, she wields two swords. Yeah, she like a double, is she dual wielding swords? Uh, like, is she gonna be a dual uh, sword wielder? In 4.5? Oh man. But yeah, I, I'm guessing, yeah, uh, I'm guessing Chiori is gonna be a four star, then we're, probably, we're pretty much not gonna get any five stars for 4.5. Yeah, it seems like only Chiori is strip rocketed for 4.5, and uh, yeah, that's all we're getting. No five stars. Well, maybe maybe she was a five star for all I know, but yeah, I'm getting a four star vibes from from her. But yeah, that is uh, the 4.5 drip marketing, and then tomorrow there should be the release of Sienyun's demo, which I will make a video about. Subscribe if you want to catch a video. And yeah, also like the stream if you enjoyed my reactions to all of the uh, Honkai Star Rail trailers. Oh my god, yeah, we're finally caught up. I honestly didn't expect 
to take six hours or almost six hours to catch up to all the star real videos but yeah this was fun this was super super fun and i'm glad all of you guys uh decided to yeah watch my reaction alongside with me yeah i feel like chiwa is gonna be like good double katana just like el hitam is and yeah all that's left is uh arla kino yeah clorand emil and cedrine honestly i i i was hoping that clorand would release in 4.5 but I guess we're gonna have to wait even longer for them. Oh well. <laughs> She's a seamstress, so the katana probably looks like scissors. Ooh, a scissors katana. That that would be quite interesting indeed. But alrighty, that is where we're gonna leave it off for today. Oh yeah, you guys wanted me to search up what Bronya CEO and some other stuff CEO Mihoyo. <laughs> Okay, so that way getting fired, what's this all about? <laughs> Why is there just a dead expression on its face? <laughs> is it, oh, isn't this the music that plays in like what, uh... <laughs> there was... <laughs> They're actually mocking them, her as a new CEO. <laughs> the look on Dawei's face. <laughs> okay, so this is what you guys were referring to when Dawei was getting fired. Okay. <laughs> that is funny. Then That is super, super funny. <laughs> Alrighty, but I think, uh, yeah, that about does it for our watch party of all the uh, trailers in Honkai Star Rail. But alrighty, fellas, I think that is where I'm going to draw things to a close for today's stream, everybody. Holy shit, we, we watched a lot. I honestly thought, like, we would, like, get this done within, like, three hours or so. Nah, nah. We got it done within, like, six hours. It took, like, way, way longer than I initially thought. But yes, that draws the end for today's Hawkeye Star Rail reaction to every single trailer for today. But yeah, thank you all so much for coming out. We hit, like like a hundred like live viewers today and honestly that's like never have for before for me and yeah thank you all for coming out leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it subscribe to me if you want to see some more genjin or star real videos from me and yeah follow my twitch channel if you want to see me play some other games uh yeah other than genjin and star real but yeah that is where i'm gonna draw the stream to a close thank you all for coming out today it yeah honestly yeah it's it's just insane like how many of you Not like came right. out to, to watch today? Uh, I honestly can't believe we hit a hundred like viewers, live viewers in today's stream. It's that right yeah, that's now. just insane to me. But yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna draw this outro out any longer. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Truly, it, it means a lot to me. And yeah, I hope to see you guys again in the next uh, in the next one. I think tomorrow will be the release of. Uh, um, Sien Yun's character demo, and I'll make a video about that. Wednesday, I'll be streaming Gadget 4.4. Friday, I'll be playing Persona 3 Reload on my Twitch channel. Link in the description. And then Monday... Uh, Monday, I'll be doing the Doctor Ratio Trailblaze mission. And then Wednesday will be the release of 2.0. And then may maybe I'll do a stream on Saturday as well. Like this Saturday, if I have the time. I'll let you guys know in the YouTube community tab, so pay attention to that if I ever do do a live stream on Saturday. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and hope to see you guys again in the next one. Take care, and have a good night. And yeah, good luck with your um, Black Swan or Spark of Pulse for Honkai Star Rail 2.0. Bye-bye. See ya. Tea.